Good morning, jewellery maker. It's raining. I was absolutely yeah. bucketing down when I left this morning. It, it needed start, it to. It started though, at didn't ten it? past two this morning. It needed and it's to. Still, yeah. it's still raining. I'm oh. quite glad. I am as well. Our garden desperately needs some water. Yeah. That's I'm quite glad, stuff. and it saves us a job, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Water in the bath. <laughs> Look who's with me today. Hello. This is a treat. I know. We've done a few swaps this week, you we, presenters. Yes, yeah. we have. So yeah. it was a while ago, Carol said, mm. oh, she, I think she needed today and tomorrow mm. off. I was like, yeah, no biggie, just swap. So you've got me for the next five, five days. Five days, though. Five days. But it also <laughs> means that I get to work with Mark. It's amazing. Because otherwise I'd have missed you. And it's I? Wall of Fame draw today, which I never get to do the Wall of Fame draw. Oh, well, you, so that's you can really do it really good. So really pleased. You can literally draw the winner yes, and the runner-up today, then. Oh, no, no. I'll do one of them. No. You do the other one. No, no. Do it's both. It's all good. It's all good. Do both. How was the wedding? Oh, it was so lovely. It was lovely, was it? So saw your, lovely. Saw your pictures. The girls looked very cute. That, yeah. Yeah. Well, Tiggy was complaining from the moment she put it on, though. She was like, I don't want to wear this. I'm oh. going to fall over. Tiggy, you're wearing it. You look really cute. <laughs> <laughs> she did, yeah, we went to our friend's wedding, full, beautiful, yeah. traditional Indian wedding. Um, yeah. Loved the fact that, that, that you meet up for breakfast, so it's very early start, and we had samosas for breakfast. Wow. I can totally get on board with samosas for breakfast. You just ate all day. Pretty, pretty much, much, yeah. Delicious wow. food, just absolutely mm. delicious food. Oh, um, amazing. Yeah, I was very glad to get the outfit off though because it was very heavy <laughs> and hot. But yeah, it was lovely. Thank you. Very, good, very good, nice. How have you been? Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. All good. Been, um, yeah, not enough hours in the day. Yeah. They've got me working so hard, JM, yeah. at the moment. They That's really because you're have. so amazing. That's why. Oh, no, it's all worth it. That's it's all what, good. Um, it's all good. Well, we've got the Wall of Fame, but I'm mm. looking around you, Mark, and I was watching your video as well the other day. Which I love the fact that your video, it's like, oh, is he going to be on a mountain? I is know, he? It could be <laughs> he could be anywhere. I was trying to work it. You literally look like you're in the middle of a, a jungle. In a safari. Jungle. That's our back garden. Was it? That's our back garden. We just go out from a walk and I still have my ridiculous silly hat on. So apologies That's for that. That's all good. Yeah, but I just forgot I had it on. I like no, it. That's all good. Hat. Yeah, so it's a bit of a, a Mark Smith themed. Yes, so I'm here. accident. We didn't plan this at all. So, nine o'clock, we've got. Can you believe we've got chips and nuggets? But um, which you, is amazing. It's the combination of gemstones in this, Incredible. In this project. Incredible. No, absolutely. Amber. Amber. Botswana. Botswana agate. We've got um, the most beautiful opal. And I don't think I've worked with opal rounds in a project kit before that come with. Look at this look. Look at the opal. It comes with no, little tiny little nuggets as well, which are absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. Can I just say that's an mm. outstanding recording, by the way. It's incredible. Uh, yeah. Amazing recording. It's amazing. Um, right. So, well, should we? Do you want to talk mm. about? Because obviously, Neary, I know you do things a different way around to us. Should we show mm. what's coming up on today's show and also get the eight o'clock hour open? Because remember yes. that these are um, on a timeline. So, if you go to all the w's at jewelrymaker.com, if you click watch live and scroll down, you'll see all the items that are coming up in this hour including your early birds which is all about elasticity um and we've got some amazing some amazing findings which we're going to talk through as well as your early birds we've got a double early bird today but loads of goodies on there some are at their price some will go even lower um some of them are limited some of them are more abundant so if there's anything that you desperately want do check out um everybody pays the final low price um irrespective of when you actually make your confirmations and remember you can combine your order it's one post and packaging all day so it's going to be a cracker of a wednesday um wow. yeah those tea bars i was eyeing those up they're coming up in your eight o'clock hour lovely very very nice very nice got some amazing pearls as well coming up so do have a little look on the website jewelry makers um and can i just quickly show you your deal of the day you know given the opportunity i would always put a piece of jewelry wow. on um so your deal of the day today jewelry makers and we've got it in the silver is one of the most beautiful statement bracelets big investment of sterling silver within this as well um is anybody else christmas shopping yet uh, are you christmas shopping yet oh i've started christmas shopping months ago months ago i mean imagine that in one of your beautiful boxes that we brought you say on yeah. what day was it tuesday i love this and then you could dismantle it if you wanted to couldn't you yeah 
You could. You could yeah. deconstruct it. You could yeah. turn them into earrings. You could you yeah. could extend it if you get two, turn it into a necklace. Put little gemstones in between each segment. Oh, very, nice. yeah. very nice. Very um, nice. So this is coming up at 10 o'clock today. But first, shall we make some of our lovely jewellery maker customers a little bit richer? I think we should. Yes. Shall we? Yes. Have you got some of them? No, no, no. You have them. Oh. You have, apparently. Apparently have. Ah. While we sort that out, it's your wall of fame. We haven't sorted it out. <laughs> okay. got, that was Michael gave me this morning. Oh, I right. So you passed you. them yeah. to me, yeah, did yeah. you? Yeah. Michael's just stood there like, well, what, 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 what? I had two. I two, two, two. Right. Okay, I've got, I've got them here then. Oh, okay. So starting us off this morning, 262 comes from Anne Clark. Hello, Anne. Um, hi, Ola Jewelry Maker. This is my first attempt at using Gallery Wire. Well, what an amazing attempt. That's fantastic. Um, I soldered the edges to make the bail and put a jump ring through the chain. The gemstone uh, I've had for many years is a cognac quartz um, with the yin yang cut on it. It was so difficult to get uh, to get the colour um, in along with the gallery wire details too. And that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I see what you mean. You couldn't get the yin yang on the photograph. Um, 262, that's absolutely beautiful. And good luck to you. Over to you, Mark. So... These are in no particular order. I love these little um, affirmations that we get here. This is from Barry. And Barry says, now I didn't know that Barry and Tracy were husband and wife. Oh! Tracy got... Austin, yes. Oh yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, Barry Austin. Hi all to JM Maker family. I'm hoping my entry makes it for this Wednesday's Wall of Fame draw. They're a sneaky present for my wonderful wife, Tracy. Ah. A pair of sterling silver shepherd hook mother of pearl lattice earrings. All components from yourselves and made with love. Hoping you are all well. Stay safe, everyone. Keep oh, smiling. Beautiful. Thank you, Barry. Tracy will love those. She certainly will. Yeah, thank I you. I don't know many ladies who wouldn't. No, no. Um, I have number 263, and this is from Ange Smith. Hello, Ange. This is beautiful. And says, hi everybody, this week's entry to the WAF is a necklace wow. made with shell pearls and crystals and lucite flower drops. As usual, all components are from Jewelry Maker. Need some more crystal fire line, guys? Yes. Do you know Tell me about it. Weirdly, I was talking about that the other day. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we will yes. sow the seed. Yes. Um, running out fast. Thanks, for, um, thanks, and she says, in anticipation. And they're absolutely beautiful. Good luck, you're 262. Sorry, 263. 259 is from Katura. Hello at JM. I hope you are enjoying the beautiful weather. <laughs> it probably was beautiful when rain. you sent the email. Yeah. Attached is my entry for this <coughs> wall of fame. A pair of earrings using Mayuki, 110 gold and 15 purple seed beads, 3mm fire polish and 6mm hematite bead. Hope you like it. All items from JM. Hoping for a win, but good luck to all my fellow waffers. Oh, Thank you, Katura. Katura. They're beautiful. Very, very nice. Yeah, the rain's beautiful as well. If we I didn't have it, rain. our country wouldn't be as lush and green Absolutely. as it is. Uh, number 264 is from Karen Forbes. Hello to you, Karen. This is absolutely amazing. Um, hi, one and all, here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A rose quartz tree of life embedded with rose quartz stones. She allows her branches to move um, and entwine uh, with each other so that they are all sparkling in the sunshine. Um, her roots are embedded around a stone protecting its heart chakra. Good luck to one and all. Karen, that's lovely. Oh, Very beautiful. So much thought involved, isn't there? Yeah. That's lovely. 264. Yeah. 260 is from Julie. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. My entry for this week is a pair of lapis lazuli gold-plated copper earrings that I've just finished to wear on my birthday on Tuesday. Happy birthday for yesterday, Happy Julie. Birthday. Absolutely everything is from Jewelry Maker as always. Good luck, waffers, but best wishes to everyone. Ah, oh, happy birthday. They're amazing. Look at those. Very pretty. Thank you, Julie. I have number 265 from Jane oh. Milestone. Hello, Jane. Very pretty. Look at that. Um, hi, my entry this week uh, for the WAF is a necklace, earring and wired bangle set I made over the weekend. My gemstones are plain rounds and pear-shaped neon appetite together with clear quartz bicones and faceted rondelles. Finished off with silver magnetic clasp, all from Jewelry Maker, of course. Good luck to everybody in the drawer and take care, she says. Jane, that's absolutely gorgeous. You're number 265. 
261 is from Jade, and Jade says, Hi JM, my entry for this week is an amethyst and lilac shell pearl necklace. Everything from my JM stash. Good luck everyone, thank you. And I'm gonna make a shameless, a non-shameless plug. Jade, shell pearl, 12 o'clock. This is your tutorial necklace. Ooh, yes. Today. Very nice. Lilac, yeah. shell pearl, four and six mil, and seed beads, you get everything. You make. love a bit of you love yep. a bit of shell pearl, don't you? Certainly do. That's why I said it's a bit of a Mark Smith day. It is. Chips and nuggets and shell pearl all yep. in one show. All it's in amazing. one amazing yep. show. Thank you, um, Jade. Last but by no means least is from Barry Harvey. Hello to you, Barry. You're number 266. Hi, gang. Here is the uh, my entry to the WAF this week. It's an agate raw bib necklace that Azataza brought to air recently. Um, it wasn't easy and took some time, but it probably would have been quicker and easier if I had read the instructions properly. Oh, that I do that as well, Barry. Uh, lesson learned, love and magic to all. Barry, that's absolutely gorgeous. You've done an amazing job. That's number, your 266. And my last entry is from Michelle. And Michelle is posing a <laughs> question to us. Oh, okay. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame, and I could do with some advice. I made this necklace well before COVID and Pearl Mania kicked in. I didn't knot it and was very heavy on the pearls. They are natural peach, fresh water, six to seven millimeter pearls and quite beautiful. Should I take it apart and knot them and perhaps use less pearls or keep it as it is? Good luck to all in the draw. Um, mm, I like them as they are. It's, it's gorgeous mm. as it is. Um, mm. I'm, I'm more yeah. thinking now, do you say Michelle? Mm. Yeah. Is it gonna add value by doing that, knotting mm. it? I don't know if it would, to be honest. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, I mean, it's traditional most certainly, but yeah. I don't know if it would, but yeah. then if you want to retain the your pearls, then yes. Yeah, absolutely. Because you would be able to yeah. take some of them out of there. But it's beautiful. It's a lovely piece of jewelry mm. as it is, and I don't know if, mm. <coughs> It, the knotting process is necessarily going to add more value no. but you can retain more pearls I suppose by yes. knotting it and it would so. make it slightly longer as well wouldn't it with all the knots in between as well yes. so again it would look differently being worn so. yeah yeah mm. I think it's beautiful as is Michelle yeah. thank you Michelle um, we're fond of that one thank you gorgeous right then in fact Michael <laughs> I think we need to pass this to uh, to to, to Mark boy. yeah because uh Monkey boy, did he call me? <laughs> he what did, did he yeah. call me? Marky boy. Oh, Marky boy. Yeah. Uh, what did you monkey boy. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Thank you, Michael. He didn't say that. Go on, Mark, uh, Mark, you can make our... Are you sure? Both, yes. both, yeah. Yeah, do the winner and the runner-up. Winner first? Winner first. Yes. So the winner Receive of it. £100 is this week is number... Dun, dun, dun. 263. Oh, we had that today. That's Angie Smith. Oh, oh did well we? done. Yeah, you, you had Ange, Ange Smith. Ange, yeah. Ange Smith, yay! Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, well done, done, Ange. Congratulations. £100 being credited to your Joy Maker account. And the runner up. Receive him. £50 is number 252. Beryl Sloan. Well Beryl done, Beryl. Sloan. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, I like well done, the Wall everyone. of Fame. Just literally dishing nice. out jewelry makers. We've given money. out hundreds of thousands of hundreds pounds. Hundreds of thousands. Six figures, yeah. Yeah. Six Amazing, figures. Because we've been Amazing. doing it since, well, week one. Since week one. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Honestly. Did you just stab yourself I in did. the eye? <laughs> stab yourself in the eye. Live on air, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> right then, should we get cracking, jewellery makers? Don't forget your early bird, all these amazing, in fact, I feel like I need to show you. Um, they're your pliers there, Mark. Oh. Um, all of this elasticity with the big eye needles as well, that's your early bird, do shop ahead. Last of stock opportunities and notice you've got different colours. And then don't forget as well, your little double whammy, you've got those amazing findings, brand new findings, which we'll talk through when we bring them to air. 
Hello, Paula in London saying all entries for Waffa, stunning and inspirational yeah, yeah. pieces. Absolutely. Absolutely. We always say that, Paula. Yeah, yeah. The fact, you know, they are <laughs> they are truly, truly inspiring for us as well. Um, do keep your messages coming through. Right, let's just quickly show that photograph, Neary. I think we should, because this is your, your double early bird today. It's a new finding that I don't think we've ever done before. No, never. Um, so it's a crimp. And at first, let's be honest, Mark, we couldn't figure it out, could we? No, no, no. No. We looked and we were like, I uh, don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, and then Mark did a bit of uh, research and Kate saw this photo. So you put your beading thread through and through. And then there's like a peg. Can you see the peg on the first photo? You push that up with your pliers and it crimps it in place. Genius. Amazing. Don't Never you seen wish, it before. I wish I invented mm. things like that. I'm not that clever. Incredible, isn't it? They Amazing. So well. do shop ahead on those. Okay, Neary, what would you like me to start with? 42, 42. I can do that. Hang on a minute. Uh, Morse code, sterling silver spaces. I love this. You just wear that as, a, as yeah. it is, wouldn't you? Yeah. You can put your own little hidden message in there. That's beautiful. Now, um, I think I had the privilege of launching these. They're already been uh, shopped ahead on. Twelve ninety nine today, just because they're last of stock opportunities. They are nine two five sterling silver. Um, you can sue quick Google, and that'll tell you the sort of arrangement of your dots and dashes for Morse code. Um, so that if you want to put, like for example, I made my husband a bracelet that says "I love you." Oh, well, I'm a big softy. I did a Morse code necklace on two shows ago, and it said "Sunshine and Showers." Ah, yeah. is that for Andrew? No. What? Oh, he likes gardening, doesn't no, he? No, no, no. It was made with diamond tubing. Oh. Not, Sunshine not really and showers are good. Yeah. Very good. Um, oh, wow. There are loads of you there. So, what was that, sorry? <coughs> Apparently the early bird wasn't showing on the app, but we've oh. just looked at it and it's showing on ours. So, mm. do a quick refresher um, I'm sure. Yeah, and it's on our website right now. So, perhaps refresh your screen, see if that works because um, <clears throat> yeah we can see it on our web and we can see it on our app as well I really so. don't think that that elasticity and the needles are going to be here for when we bring them to air no probably not I'm just going to no probably not it's not a big enough quantity mm. well done mm. um, if you love that but you're more of a gold wearer like myself then here we go don't worry we're not excluding you look I'd be getting some of these should we do a low seven price bar? I think we should let's do it let's That's do amazing. it amazing absolutely gorgeous three grams of sterling silver straight away we've got collectors multi buying lowest ever price for you as well lots of on and gone opportunities today and i yeah, love yeah. that texturing tom hasn't got dots in his name he's all dashes mm. your name is literally all dashes mm. <laughs> well that's very easy might not be if ever we need to use morse code to say does anyone know where tom is dash dash dash, dash is dash. that tom If you're asking for an MOT on Morse code, I shouldn't imagine that's something that will ever be. Yeah, is that, and, <laughs> is that Stardust? They are Stardust, yeah. No. Uh, lowest ever price. Yeah, we're gonna clear How it out often the vault. Do we get gold Stardust? Hardly true, ever. True. Hardly ever. And you don't have to do the Morse code, do you? No, They're nice I, shapes as anyway. It is. I love that as it is. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, wow. How many do we have, Neary? eight left oh, no. so you need to be checking out we're over allocated on this so well done well done let's move on because if you love your silver if you love your gold but you also love oh, very yeah. carty inspired the rose then we've got That's the rose lovely. gold look how pretty yeah you could like just that. literally turn those all into stretchy bracelets bracelets especially with your early bird today um because you even got coordinating oh. elastic how good's that and again very cartier vibes Brand new lowest ever price for you this morning, folks. Um, do get your text messages in. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine wow. pence only. How many have we got? Ten, yeah. just ten. We've had some um, funny conversations this morning, haven't we? You crumbled a biscuit into your ice cream last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That worked. And weirdly, yeah. my husband did it with his yogurt. So he buys like Farge yogurt because it's good for you. Farge. Faj, yogurt, and he crumbled a, um, a custard cream, cream in there. Ingenious. Yeah, he said it was delicious mm. actually. The hobnobs in vanilla ice cream, lovely, really nice. Give it yeah. a try. 
give it a try text in um moving on to oh that's this side let's have a little look ah oh, gorgeous bicones uh not just any bicones uh, type A jadeite bicones and also look at that price that's ridiculous I mean that should be have a one in front of it shouldn't it it's a very wasteful cut of bicone you have to obviously remove quite a, a bulk of the carrot weight well, that's why it's rare to see jadeite in such shapes you're looking around um, <laughs> yeah how many do we have how many do we have two so oh, no. samantha and paula if you check out oh no samantha wants to so i would check out we've only got two available that's an absolute cracking deal you're right neary quid. amazing well done well done wow. um cracking deal oh this this is a bit of mark chris oh okay. early bird the other day when i joined you neary wasn't it saturday yeah yeah no not that day I've definitely, no. I've definitely seen this trend. Um, it wasn't with me. <coughs> I replayed them after that. No, and we've got 12 left. Yeah, what? for Aquamarine. Well, it's, it's a bit of you, isn't it, that? A little bit of you. Oh, gosh. What number? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I thought you said moving on. <laughs> There's only nine left, though. Yeah, I mean, they wow. are huge, aren't they? And look at that perfect azure blue. Perfect, perfect azure blue. Elaine, Paula in Midlothian, getting two. Paula in London, well done. Sharon, Tracy, Susie, London maker. Uh, 9 99 for Aquamarie. We always call it the number six. Mm. Number six of the big, of the big five. Was That's the amazing. number one. It was the gemstone of engagement. 20 seconds to move on from this auction opportunity. They're massive Aquamarine. And, they, and I always say this. And, um, top quality Aquamarine should look like a summer's day sky. Oh. Um, and you can definitely see that here. There are tons of you there. It's going to sell out for sure. Um, and it's natural. Not even a little whisper of heat treatment. I've got four left and loads of you with it in your basket. Type oh. A Night sold out. Aquamarine, head in that direction. How about some oh. nice pearls? Oh, that would be a lovely combination. The jadeite, the aquamarine, and the rice pearls. Put them all together. Look at these. These are pretty, aren't they? When was the last time, Mark, uh, that you saw some peacock pearls? I had some rounds a couple of weeks ago. Did you? I've not seen rice. I don't think I've ever seen peacock rice pearls before. It's like oil on water, isn't it? Beautiful. If you're a fan of a Tahitian pearl, then you most definitely would be a fan of the peacock pearl. Genuine cultured pearls. Um, as Mark was just saying, a beautiful rice shape, which means that you're going to get some lovely elongated, very elegant, but also notice some, that's a very perfect drop yeah. that I see just there. Even that on its own for $49.99 elsewhere would be absolutely unbelievable. Not your price, we're going even lower. It's your early bird hour, so anything can happen. Quite literally, anything can happen. Those last chance, crazy, mad low deals. $34.99. Incredible. That's amazing. <clears throat> As we've mentioned, pearl mania, because mm. the world has gone yeah, crazy for pearls. Yeah. Um, prior to that, we wouldn't have been able to bring you peacock no. pearls for no, thirty four ninety nine. So now, in particular, um, how many we got? Fourteen. Oh, wow. Linda in Cambridge, she's on it this morning. As is Alan and Samantha and Angela. Well done. Make sure you're checking out everybody. Um, so you don't miss out on these opportunities. Don't forget your lovely early birds as well. I mean, you could just literally pop one of those, couldn't you, on a peg bale. There's your pearl necklace. That's it. Job done. Just Matching ones. earrings. Yeah. yeah. Really simple makes. You don't, you don't need to faff with these, do you? No. Because they're so beautiful. Yeah, the pearls do all the, yeah, yeah. All the talking, don't they? Um, keep those messages coming through as well. Tell us what you're up to. What shall our texting topic be this morning? What do you reckon? Weird food combinations is a good one, isn't it? Weird food combinations. We were, we were yeah, I always about, like that one. We we're all talking about, um, yeah. Because, uh, it, uh, yeah, because we mentioned Dua Lipa, the, the singer. She was talking about the fact, yeah, she is beautiful, Dua Lipa. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Um, did you say 14? No. You did, you did, you did. Mm. Um, yeah, she's, she, she's heavily uh, um, pitching, would that be the right mm -hmm. word? Uh, vanilla ice cream with olive oil and sea salt. 
Oh no, really? Yeah. That'd be a bit claggy, wouldn't it? Oh no, I couldn't. Cope I'm with not that. sure. I'll get. I will give it. I would give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not really sure. I quite like vanilla ice cream as it is. Yeah. yeah. But apparently, apparently, it's really mm. good. Um, Michael's saying, you know, if Dua Lipa says to give it a try, he is definitely going to give it a try. He'll do anything he tells, you do anything he tells that, him about yeah. me. Are you no. a big Dua Lipa fan? Yeah, of course. Mm. Are most, are most mm. men Dua Lipa fans? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. She is, she is a goddess, isn't she? Mm. Um, <laughs> um, how about your beautiful chrysoprase wow. in the clover cut? Um, often referred to as Australian Jade. I'm not saying it is Jade, but they refer to it quite fondly that way. Um, because it has, if you look at it, it has look actually got that, that imperial colour, that wonderful translucency. That is a mad price. Chrysoprase is not an inexpensive gemstone. You've also got uh, designers like Dior, like uh, Tiffany's & Co, like Harry Winston, all choosing to work with this. Um, it is not an inexpensive gemstone, particularly when we're talking about such a complex cut. We can't have many of these, Neary. 10, yeah, I didn't wow. think there'd be many of them available. I and mean, we imagine that pop a colour on like an, um, maybe with your Dina the yeah. Day chains. Well, just three rosary linked in earrings. I oh. think they'd look spectacular, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, gorgeous. You don't need much yeah. in your chrysoprase because it really does pack a punch, doesn't it? I would put the, the dots from the Morse code bracelet yeah. you've just bought, the gold, just one of the rounds in between. Nice. With that stardust, I think it would look amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. It's that strength of colour that does it. Um, lots and lots and lots of you have got it in your baskets. Make sure you uh, check them out to guarantee your success. Um, it was quite a late addition, I think, the Chrysoprase Clovers. Um, I'd imagine probably down to the complexity of A, sourcing the gemstone, B, actually faceting the gemstone. Um, that's a clock to close, jewellery makers. So make sure you are checking them out. £29.99. pence. I can't see your names, but I know there's lots of you there. Yeah, that's my call screen gone. Oh, there you oh, are. Oh, hello. There you are. Hi, Ken. Hello, Samantha. Hello to you, Tina. Hello to you, Yorkshire. Thank you very much. Uh, Michael Wood for the coffee. Mm. Abiola and Ken and West Yorkshire and Mary and Tracy and London, you're there as well. Mm. You've done that the wrong way round, I think. Hey. I had one of them. He's found one. He's, give, he's gifted me one. one. Where's my one. other one then? Back in your bag. Ah, oh. sorry. If you're thinking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry. Stop me. <laughs> <coughs> Michael's delivered coffee, and I'm like, I don't think that's my cup, but it is. It's a spare cup. He's gifted me this one. I see. He You've found one. Yes. Um, right, opening near um, somewhere in the Cotswolds is a very oh, lovely yes. tea room. We met and in there, had lunch. Did you? Yes. And decided to start a business together. Yes, we did. <laughs> Running a little tea shop <laughs> in the Burford High Street. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the proprietors are... I think, I think are, we went on safari as well that day. Did you? I think we did. You went yeah. on safari? Yeah, we went on safari as well. So you're the proprietors yeah. of a tea room. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Can I just say, actually, you, you, yeah. you suit oh, yeah, each yeah, yeah. other. Yeah. You suit yeah. each other. I showed her how to make those hanging baskets. <laughs> She's green-fingered as well. <laughs> <laughs> She made those hanging baskets. I She's taught her very everything she fingered. knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please, could I see the Doolong Jade strands, please? Um, yes, we can show the Doolong, can't we? Um, we could do that. Very last stock opportunity. You've lost, you've lost Neary for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, beautiful Doolong Jade. Doolong is, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's some of the known and recognised as being some of the finest water content with some of the most am amazing imperial green colour. I should point out that this is totally and utterly natural. Um, Doolong, it was not, it's not too far away from um, <coughs> the Burmese mine, once was, so historically, we 
Doolong probably isn't isn't new to us. Is my point. Um, it probably has been marketed um, and sold, but under the Burmese umbrella. But now, of course, that location is closed. Now you haven't got just any old gemstone in between there. You've also got Nan Hong Agate, which is completely and utterly natural and is completely mined out as well. Seriously, at ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence, Amazing. that's an absolutely unbelievable. That's your Christmas deal. Day necklace there. Yeah, straight. Oh yeah, perfect. Mm. With yeah. those spaces. Yeah. 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 With the Stardust Spacers. Not oh. your price. Crazy no. deal. Considering they are both irreplaceable, by the way. That That's, that's <laughs> madness. Complete and utter madness. Wow. You'd just get two, wouldn't you, if you bought yeah. one at 99? And not it. Be rude not to. 16 quid, look. That's crazy. Take home. How, when you say it's last of stock, how many? Oh, one. Oh, that's okay, so it. That's the one. This is the one. This is the one oh. you're going to be getting. Sally, Samantha, Anne and Suja, you're all there, but one of you needs... Oh, oh Anna, call her on the phones. Ooh, it's oh, it's tense. It's tense. It's tense. Who's going to get that one at 49.99? Suja did. Well done, Suja. Okay, don't panic if you missed out. Neary's got an alternative. Imagine being that poor lady or gentleman on the call centre. They're in the middle of a call for somebody wanting to purchase that strand. And while they're talking, somebody comes in and nabs it. You have to say, oh, I'm really sorry. sorry about that. Uh, oh, it's gone. Sorry I about that. Do, I couldn't do a call centre. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah. I know. Oh, this is nice. This is like, if you're ah. on the phone, maybe like, hold on a minute. Yeah. Ellen and Mark say there's an alternative. Yeah. This is beautiful. Is that amethyst as well, is it? So that's black jadeite. No. So you've got Doolong <laughs> with natural type A black jade in between in your very wow. elegant rice shape. Uh, 99 pounds and 99 pence. I mean, oh, these should be two separate strands, shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got your Morse code there again, haven't you? Oh yeah, good point. Yeah. So again, you could be incorporating, I'm gonna bring it in. Oh yeah, definitely, perfect. Incorporating some of those in there. I've got 10 of them left. 30 seconds and we're going to do another crazy deal. Again, t certified totally and utterly natural, both the Doulon Green and also the Type A Black Jadeite. Um, in 22 seconds, we're going to take it to one of those closeout deal prices. So just be ready. Just be ready. Be poised. Make sure you're in the right place to make sure you don't miss out on this opportunity. Doulon Jade, um, <clears throat> the, like... We were talking, Stanley Stanley was talking about Doolong Jade, how the fact that people are now recognising that location, it's not just coming under the Burmese umbrella. It's much smaller in terms of its uh, supply um, to what Burmese uh, Jade was. But again, totally natural. And you can see that the difference, it's got a really high water content. Um, so recognised for its fine translucency. Goodness me, that's so low. Neary, that's really naughty. Naughty, naughty at 49.99. I've only got seven left though. I only got seven of them available. And it's a full wow. 38 centimeter strand, not even just 20 centimeters. Um, Alan, not leaving anything to chance. Well done, Alan. Check it out straight wow. away. Uh, this strand to mix with my large bead oh. strand I received yesterday, says Suja. Oh, well done. Well done. Yeah, that'd be absolutely gorgeous. I'm, a, I'm assuming Sue just talking about the previous one that she managed to get hold of. Uh, Samantha, Anne, Alan, well done. I've got a maker on the phone lines having that conversation. You should be all right at the moment. You should be okay. Just about. Just about. So is Doolong a place or a... It's a place. It's a place. Right. It's a place, a very small location mm. that's just um, sort of... It, it's not far away from uh, the Burmese jadeite mine. Okay, right. So we probably have for centuries been looking at Doolong jade, but it was always just sold under right. Burmese jadeite. Right. Now, of course, the Burmese mine is closed. We are seeing do uh, it labeled correctly as Doolong. And Stanley yeah. was, uh, Stanley Chu was actually talking about the fact that, you know, actually it's some of the finest grade because you mm. have that wonderful translucency and that amazing imperial green color. So. Uh, mm. <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're starting to hear do long a lot more now. Right. Um, it shouldn't have been at that price. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Wow. Congratulations. Don't forget your early bird as well, all your elasticities. Um, would you say an essential? Without a doubt. Those needles, definitely. They, they're so good, aren't they? <clears throat> amazing. Um, yeah. So you've got all of those different colours of elasticity. 
Um, and I think I'm right in saying you've got different measurements. Yeah, you've got different thicknesses of your elastic, plus the big eye needles, which are a revolution. Um, amazing. So, and don't also forget that that lovely brand new finding. This one. allow me to compose myself for a second firstly look how they arrive you know something special's inside don't wow. you oh my goodness me there are five in the world and I know I say this every single time and I do apologize but what's inside is our greatest strength here at Jewelry Maker the quality of our pearls are on par with the finest pearl suppliers in the world the pearl, pearl jewelers so this is why, sorry, we should be selling gold. These are ripple pearls, which absolutely erupted on the jewelry maker scene, not that long ago in actual fact. So think Baroque, think Keshis, think Biwas, they're like that, but a little bit more uh, voluminous for want of a better description. Not these were silk, put them on 18 karat gold clasp, you have an heirloom piece of jewellery without shadow of a doubt. Now there are five available in the world, that's it. With ripple pearls they are known and celebrated because of the abundance of nacre, they're celebrated to have the finest quality luster, mirror-like luster. And of your five virtues, luster is the most important. These are totally and utterly natural. You've got some of the most intense, vibrant ultraviolet purples, some of the most uh, metallic bronzes and golds and silvers. You can see flashes of greens, um, beautiful wow. sunshine yellows, on, and, and, it's, and it forms literally naturally. What we've got to remember when we're talking about ripple pearls, that'll be one pearl per oyster. So to actually harvest enough and remember these like little lottery wins, you can't say, right, okay, I want a ripple pearl, I want it to have an abundance of nacre, the oyster will do its own individual thing. That's so low, so, so, so low at 249. Um, but that's not your closing price. Now, wait one second, because if you are a pearl lover, I've got, listen, I've got so many pearl strands, some of which I've, I haven't even done anything with as of yet. It doesn't matter, I, I'm the custodian of those pearls. At some point, maybe, if I can part with them, at some point, they're going to be knotted they're going to be put on 18 karat gold class and then i will approach your jewelers we had messages and it was a real eye, eye opener because i worked with neary on saturday and uh, neary showed me some messages from customers i'd not seen these before because i always feel like i'm i'm talking about it and it was lovely to actually see the feedback mm, yeah, yeah. from the customers as well that have bought pearls from us have taken them to a jewelers off their own back and said, okay, I want to either have them valued or I'm looking for a gold class to go alongside it. Um, and the jewelry shop themselves have actually offered to buy them for thousands yeah, of pounds. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me though, Mark. You know, I mm. know, I've got a friend who still works down in Hatton Garden. Um, gosh, she's been there probably 30 odd years. Um, we became friends when part of my job was actually sort of to and fro in from the jewelers that I worked at down to Hatton Gar yeah. Garden. Um, Anyway, so, and I spoke to her about our pearls and she was saying thousands of pounds, she literally cannot get her head around the price that jewelry maker bring our pearls to her for. Literally can't understand it. So be bold enough to approach these jewelers. If you want, want to sell pearls, do it. Approach the high quality jewelers because I'm absolutely certain if they're looking to replace their pearls that they've already got within their vault, mm. they will do. As Jane said in Lancashire, yeah. Lancashire said, hello, Jane, if you're watching, she says, I took my metallic ripple pearls. They're exactly these then um, to the jewelers to find a gold class to match. Offered two and a half thousand pounds for them. No deal. They're mine. She says, oh, by the way, I paid one four nine. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? And that's every every atom of my being tells me that these pearls are not a three-figured strand <laughs> they really 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 are not if you knot them if you put them on clasp, even if you don't but you know, especially if you sort of knot them and put them on an 18 karat gold clasp the quality of the pearls justifies that um, and you can see that natural color have they sold out 
Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Now, if you missed out on that, I do have, what number? Okay, can I ask for the gold bust, please? You know, you know that the pearls are special if I ask for the gold bust. <laughs> Likewise with these. I didn't take them out, thank you. I didn't take them out of that box because they look beautiful in that box. But you know that pearls are special if I ask for this bust. I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you it's a star buy. I've got how many? Who wants the most perfect spherical pearls? Wow. Who wants luxurious pearls without the luxurious price tag? They're coming up, I've got 20, <laughs> and they are a star buy. I want you to think, imagine for a second, and I was watching The Crown a, Crown a few months ago, got completely glued to that. Think about like an iconic pearl necklace, whether that be something that the royal family has adorned or whether it's in um, one of those really expensive jewelers where they've got the security on the, on the front door and you walk past and you see these amazing, perfectly spherical pearls in the classic pure white and they just reflect all the sunlight and luster and, and, and colours of their surroundings. Imagine those. Imagine them in a classic, very traditional design, which is usually knotted and usually with just a simple box clasp. Now imagine the price tag. I remember my dad years ago when I worked in the jewelers, well it was, I, I worked in the jewelers 25 years ago. And I remember my dad coming in, it was an, a special year for them. I can't remember if it was their wedding, to do with their wedding anniversary or something like that. And he said, I want to get your mum a pearl necklace. I said, okay. So over to the cabinet. These are the pearls that we have. We had a mixture of your fresh water, your Akoyas and your Tahitians. So dad bought mum, and a, uh, I think it was a koi, I can't really remember, but they're perfectly spherical, far smaller than these, by the way. And I'm sure you wouldn't mind me telling you this, it was 3,000 pounds, okay. with staff then, with staff and discount. Staff. Right, gosh. And they're smaller than these. I've still got the pearl necklace. These are extraordinary. They're perfection. They? Yeah. They're absolute perfection. That perfect size as well, so not too small, but you know you really have to look for them not too big they're too heavy to wear this i mean mark you could imagine th imagine this on our late queen yeah, couldn't absolutely. you yeah wow look at that luster complete crisp mirror like luster remember the five virtues so we talk size these are in terms of size nine to ten which is huge for rounds then we start talking about shape a spherical pearl is still the most expensive pearl out there. Every pearl that is cultured, the, the aim is to make a perfectly spherical pearl. Then we start talking about um, colour. And you can see this is that classic crisp white pearl. Then we start talking about nacre. Now nacre is that rare precious material that produces your pearl. Now you want to have a smooth nacre surface which you definitely have here. And nacre perfectly leads into your fifth and most important virtue in my, in my opinion, luster. Can you see the reflection of the studio surrounding so on each of these pearl surfaces? If it's crisp and sharp, then you have fine quality pearls. These are perfection. Goodness me, add a zero to the end of that in my head. That would be, that, if I would not be surprised if I saw these pearls knotted with a gold clasp, which you can pick up for about 50, 60 quid, by the way, um, from, from a competitor of ours. Knot it with a gold clasp, 18 karat gold clasp, yeah, 
add zeros to it. Um, they are absolutely exemplary quality. If you're looking for that, look, this is this is the thing. With Jewelry Maker, we can bring you all of the quirky pearls, you know, your ripples, we can bring you Baroque pearls, we can bring you fireball pearls, we can bring you Keshis and Bewas. But if you're looking for that classic, perfect spherical pearl, like the one that you sometimes see around the decolletage of Audrey Hepburn. Um, I mean, look at that. That's amazing, Nia. I've never seen that photograph before. That necklace was uh, um, went to auction in 2023. But look at those pearls. Spherical, wow. crisp white pearls. Now look at yours. Shows you the quality of the pearls that you get here. They're not faux. They're not simulant pearls. Genuine, cultured, freshwater pearls. And at £299, that's an absolutely unbelievable price tag. No, I have got... Do you mean it's not here? Okay. I'm going to repeat what producer Neary's just said in my ear. L, do you know what these go to? I was like, I, I'm assuming by that statement this isn't it. What do they go to? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Actually, that's in... Okay, this is... It's my job to do this then. No reflection of the true value or worth. No reflection of the true value or worth. Frankly, is it any wonder that certain high-end jewellers aren't that bigger fans of us here at Jewelry Maker mm. and Gemporia? Because we bring you the best quality and we bring it to you at a double-figure price tag. It's absolutely ridiculous. I think I know who launched these. Who? I think it was producer Rachel. Really? <coughs> oh. mm. excuse me well Rachel took them for and actually I expect Rachel to know better because mm. she yeah. buys pearls yeah Neary wow. oh, I'm going to get some of these do you know what I, do you know what I would do with these though because of the price I'd probably get two strands and go for a longer line no. yeah yeah absolutely and then don't bother with the clasp just have an over the head knotted complete over the top of the head this is this is ridiculous if they don't sell out i'm definitely getting oh that's mad that's one of the that's one of the lowest deals i've ever seen on fine quality pearls yeah mm. and that size shape quality of nacre with that brightness of luster they should not be anywhere near this price tag i was happy at 299 were you there's 10 left well done melanie well done elizabeth well done pauline well done judith Renfusha, Manchester, Lynn, Merseyside, Christine, Laurel, Anne, Maker, Maker, Heather, Wendy, Diana. You have to check out. There is loads. Of, look at the split pay. It is actually quite insulting to find quality pearls, that price tag. Mm. Um, unbelievable. Well done. If you don't, I definitely will. Come the top of this hour. What have we got? Just over 10 minutes. I was saying to, um, to Carol last time I worked with her that we've got two high street jewellers and uh, quite a few independent jewellers in Whitney yeah and um, one of them in the main shopping precinct they've always had pearls they've always had pearls in their windows and I've noticed a couple last couple of times I've passed by no pearls in the window anyway they've put a sign in the window now saying due to stock restraints we will no longer be stocking pearls so it's already hitting the high street and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this now imagine mm, walking yeah. these into said jewellers yeah I bet you they would offer, offer you these. offer to buy yeah, them bite your hand off wouldn't they yeah you could charge what you wanted. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's, it's That's. Sort of, I mean, yeah, it's out there. It's it 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 is going to be more and more and more yeah. obvious. Yeah. It's just we're lucky here at Jewelry Maker because you kind of get that information before the high street does. Yeah. You know, before the, the those jewelers actually do. So, um, absolutely amazing. Wow. If they don't sell out, that would be complete madness. To be truthful, there's loads of you there. Um, well done. We're super over allocated on that one. Amazing quality pearls at that price. Crazy, crazy, crazy low. Wow. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, is it time? It's time for our early bird jewelry makers. How about a whole heap of elasticity? Arguably one of the best elastics that you can get for your right stretchy bracelet. There I you agree. go. Thumbs yeah. up from yeah. yours truly. And we've got them in the two thicknesses as well, which we'll talk some more about. And those big eye needles. Can I just 
just say if we had 200 of those pills, mm. they would have sold out. Yeah. What? There's I told five you, left. I told you. Yeah. It's amazing. And those needles are. We were talking about earlier about wanting to invent a product we have on the show. I think this would be me as well. One this would these. be the one that you'd want to invent. Yeah. Do you know, I've, I've used it elasticity, elasticity yeah. since we launched it. Really? And I've had one snappage. That's and that it. Was, and that was due to a Swarovski. Oh. Because <laughs> that's quite sharp, the internal holes in Swarovski yes. crystals. But um, the, this is so strong. It's amazing. Now, really? the price is set. We're actually matching the price from 2022. No. You know, the price oh, of everything no. else has gone up these days, isn't it? In 2022, we had 500. We got the auction history. March 2022, 500 sold at that price. And we haven't had it back until today, but there's only a handful of them left now. No, no. Five. So you get these wonderful big eye needles. Go they on. are genius, absolute genius. And if I flip them over, you get the idea of how they work. And I like the fact you've got two sizes as well for smaller and larger bracelets. Oh, yes. Which is brilliant. Yeah. So this one here is the, um, it says eight inch, and this one's 10. Hmm. Well, 10 inch. you don't have to go up to that size, but yeah, no, it's brilliant. Amazing. So literally feed all your beads on. And yeah, you're not going to fall hook, off. hook it onto the elastic and then just drag all the drag beads all back through. through. So clever. So clever. So clever. Yeah. I've only got two of them. Oh, no, I haven't. It's sold out. <laughs> right, good well job. Done. We've got a double whammy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, amazing. So who knows? It might be another two years until we see that again. Wow. Right then. So when we... I'm, I'm go yeah, I speak the truth. When we stepped into the studio, we all had this <laughs> look on our faces. Uh, As in, we were very confused. Don't get it. Don't get it. Mark did a little bit of research, mm. and then we established. It took a long time. Very clever. Mm. That yeah. these amazing and they're down as crimps, aren't they? Yeah. Is our graphic say crimps? Yeah, flat crimps. Flat crimps. Yeah. We were like, what do you mean flat crimps? So yeah. if I show you the photograph that Mark um, found, so can you see first photo? As you would do a normal beaded yep, bracelet so you see, So there's a hole that goes from side to side. Yeah. And you take your beading thread through, you attach yep. it onto your French wire or your clasp, and then you take it back through as you would a conventional crimp yep. bead. Yeah. That's the last conventional thing that there is about this little product. Very true. Mm -hmm. Because if I show you in the tweezers, they've got this little kind of little, little added bit on the bottom. Yeah. And we were like, what's that for? Because it's closed. I was mm. expecting it to have a hole through the centre, but it doesn't. So you're like, what do you do? But you squeeze it with your pliers. Uh, please see picture number two. Yeah, you squeeze it in between your pliers and that little thing plugs up inside. It grabs hold of your, of your wires. It's, it's incredible. It's, it's seamless. And then you do exactly the same the other end. That's um, brilliant. Can we have more of these, please? Because that is absolutely genius. It's genius, isn't it? No more messing around with crimp covers. No, no. It's all encased yeah. inside. It's how incredible. clever. Now, how many do we have, Neary No. How many? Oh. 250. You don't just get the one, though. You get a pair. So there's your bracelet. There's your necklace. And they're decorative as well. Decorative. <laughs> now... We've got 250 of these um, available jewelry makers. To my knowledge, anyway, this is the first time we've ever done this I've never finding. Seen them before. So clever. I've never seen them before. No. Yeah. I don't blame you, Suzanne, for getting four or Linda for getting three. I'd be multi buying too. So, so that means you don't have to have a separate crimp. You don't have to have a, a crimp cover. No. Nope. It's all in there. It's all in there. All in there. And yeah. who struggles with crimp covers? Me. Yeah. <laughs> They are Bane quite, of my life, I they tell are, you. They are quite fiddly, aren't they? <laughs> it's all done for you. Just basically squeeze that little pin upwards, basically, into the square detail, and it's done. How about £9 each? £9. An amazing deal, but it's not your price tag. Brand new to our jewellery maker screens. How's about this? £14.99. The pattern going here. Seven pound fifty. 
seven pound fifty that's very good and they're decorative yeah. too suzanne just added six durham yeah has got six kent's got four yorkshire suzanne in yorkshire says i'll have ten of these thank you very much i reckon we need to get more of these in different designs different shapes different sizes i tell you what there's a whole heap of multi-buying and i don't blame you for that we best make sure we do the most unbelievable early bird deal then neary we've got 250 of them i don't think we've seen anything like this before no, no. again it's one of those products you think oh i wish i invented that what a clever idea because what we first did meant thought was that you threaded the thread through the hole and that was a little pin that you would pop a hard yeah. drilled pearl or yeah. something. Which you could do in effect. You could do that. that little you could mouth do that. We're like, I don't yeah. get it. I don't get it. Yeah, maybe it's for a, a peg for like yeah. a but no. You could Mark, use it as a peg rail. You could. Yeah. You absolutely yeah. could. Why not? In eight seconds, Mark, we're going even lower. Look at all the multi buyers. Durham's got six. Well done. Angela's multi bought. Linda's multi bought. Renfusha's multi bought. Wendy's multi bought. Um, there are tons of you getting involved. 250 all of a sudden doesn't last that long when you've got the multi buyers that were, wow, wow. Do you know, and, and I've been sort of put off making certain pieces of jewelry because of crimp covers mm. and you, I, I can never do it the first time. No. And I've, I've never been able to use crimp, crimp cover pliers. No. Just don't get it at all. No. So that's, if there's a definite no. knack to it, if you've got that knack, mm. fantastic. Yeah. But you might also just think, well, hang on a minute. It means I haven't got lots of different findings. It's all in one. Yeah. Yeah. It's all done in one. Um, nine pounds and 99 pence only. That's five pounds each. And it's engineering, isn't it? Absolute craftsmanship. Unbelievable. Suzanne's got 20. Well done, Suzanne. Gloucestershire's multi bought. Robert's multi bought. Catherine's got three. Sue's got two. Sharon's got two. Patricia's got two. Everybody's multi buying, actually. I can't see a single person that's just got one. Um, I don't blame you at all. 9.99. Oh, goodness me, Neary. I was expecting that to be a red clock. Negative. It's going to sell out. Uh, two, yeah, 250 of these is not going to hang around. First time ever. What do you think, jewelry makers? We need more of these. I think we do. Very clever. Yeah. Very, very clever. $7.99. Unbelievable. It's a decorative bead. Wow. Decorative bead. So basically, we've, here's, here's how they work. So basically, you do your normal traditional beading, yeah? So you, you, instead of it being a crimp, you, there's, a, there's a hole through the center. If I turn it this way, you can see better. Can you see, you bead through here. Imagine that's your crimp. So you loop and back through again, yeah? And then if you see the photograph number two, with your pliers, you squeeze that peg up into um into the actual sort of box bead and that crimps it effectively and then you carry on as usual how clever is that genius genius revolutionary revolutionary i want to see more of these definitely well done um okay clock to close because there's loads of you there this doesn't just close out your early bird it closes out everything that we've brought you so far those amazing uh, those amazing pearls those ripple pearls the dulong you're not here on the 27th are you no i shall be in cape verde yeah okay i have been talking to wayne though and i'm not gonna lie he has filled me with a little bit of anxiety about cape verde oh no so on the 27th yes we've got back in stock yeah. i don't know how they managed to find them but we've got memory wire cutters ah back in stock mm -hmm. oh, that's like gold dust yeah. that is yeah. no it's not me unfortunately no, no. i'll be tuning in i'll be tuning in from my sun lounger yeah. to get my memory <laughs> wire because i do actually need some of those um yeah uh <laughs> 
Unbelievable. Yeah. If you've been to Cape Verde, can you message in? Because Wayne, they, Wayne, Wayne, it might just be the hotel. You wasn't they, impressed. There was a, no, there was no. just a few incidents, shall we say, with delicate tummies. Oh. But isn't that just, you know, that's, generally if you go abroad. Rich, different rich food, isn't yeah. it? And, yeah. yeah, it's all good. Yeah. yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. It's mm. just make sure you take all the medication. I was like, yeah, I will. Mm. I always do anyway. I'm yeah. a proper mum when I go on holiday. <laughs> got the plasters, got the antiseptic. Yeah, got 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 all, got all the Imodium. Got the opposite of Imodium. <laughs> all of the above. Oh. Uh, the, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Neary's saying that when he went on holiday to a Tenerife, he bought sun cream ahead because it's cheaper to do it that way, yeah. um, not realising it was tinted. So, what, oh did you no. have a nice glow on day one, did you? Was it a bit glittery? <laughs> was it, yeah, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. Um, yeah, an ex, something similar. I've got yeah. a similar story. When I went on holiday with an ex of mine and I did that, I bought the sun creams ahead and I didn't realise that one of them had like a glitter in it. So no. he was really glittery. Oh, he was. He was really... <laughs> I was like, it's fine. It's fine. You're on holiday. It doesn't really matter. So he was all really glittery. And then, um, and I wouldn't normally buy glittery sun cream, by the way. But then he got a bit of a reaction to it. So he got, he was glittery and also... Blotchy. A bit blotchy, yeah. Oh, so, no. yeah, oops. Um, anyway, <laughs> don't go anywhere, jewelry makers, because coming up after the break, you've got the most amazing projects with Mark. I mean, look at this for a combination. Amazing. I'm going to throw this yeah. one out there, Mark. This is like old school. Old school jewelry yeah, maker. Probably. Lovely gemstone combinations. You've got gorgeous Ethiopian opal in rounds and nuggets, and then you've got amber teamed with Botswana. Um, so again, don't go anywhere, jewelry makers. Um, make sure you check out your baskets. We'll see you after this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. It looks like I'm on safari, doesn't it? I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Wednesday, the 14th of August, where I'm going to be joining lovely Eleanor, Tom and the team. It's a bit of a Mark Smith theme day. In the nine o'clock hour, I've been given the most incredible chip and nugget strands to work with. We've got Botswana, amber, incredible opal strands. So I'm really looking forward to making some pieces with this. And then, as I mentioned, it's a bit of a Mark Smith day. At 12 o'clock, shell pearl, four millimeter and six millimeter bundles. In the demonstration on the show, I'm going to be showing you how to make this incredible Alhambra inspired necklace. But also, we've got these incredible four millimeter gray and green seed beads. We've got the most incredible spiral necklace, and this is going to be the tutorial that you'll pick up when you purchase any of the bundles in that hour. And then this incredible flat spiral bracelet. So that's all coming up this Wednesday, 14th of August. Join myself, Eleanor, from eight o'clock. Hope you can join us. jewelry makers Yvonne here just popping in to tell you that I'll be back in the studio uh, on Thursday the 15th of August with Carol Tom and the team uh, and I'm bringing some beautiful pearls at nine o'clock um, I've had the luxury of um, using these look at the beautiful case before we even get in there look at these metallic multicolored pearls how delightful are those absolutely gorgeous so we then in the 12 o'clock hour have um, a shot plate I've had the time of my life with this um, it's got four little uh, symbols on it and they're all very generic so they this one will suit everyone it has um, two different stars on it a heart and a smiley little sun and I've put them all on one necklace there. I have made other pieces of jewellery but I'll show you those on Thursday. Hope you can join us. See you then. Bye. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, 
which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. everyone I'm back on Friday the 16th of August and I have this amazing strand of faceted jadeite and I'm really excited to share it with you I also have these amazing sterling silver panther heads I'm really excited to be back and I can't wait to see you then bye Welcome back, everybody. We've just been talking about beautiful people. And their other halves. And Sometimes their other halves. they're quite quite ordinary. Quite unusual. Yeah. 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 Combinations. You were saying Jewel Leapers are the half, you wouldn't put them together. No. No. Just like, ah. just like, <laughs> they're quite ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think's the most yeah. beautiful man and woman on this planet? Okay. I think men. Yeah. It's a toss up between Hugh Jackman or Ricky Martin. Yes. And okay. there's only one woman for me. Who? And I think she is a goddess. Um, are you going to say Kylie? No, 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 no. Oh. No. No. Who? No, no, no. Who? I've completely forgotten her name. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Okay, I'll come to you. Um, Liz Elizabeth Hurley. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. She's, a, she's Elizabeth incredible. Hurley, yeah. She does rock a swimming costume. She, d yeah. Oh, yeah, she's amazing, yeah. Stunning. Son's a bit old. Her son? Yeah. Is he? A bit old. Oh. Find a picture of Liz Hurley with her son. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I think mm. Amanda Holden is one of the most beautiful women. I think she's uh, breathtakingly beautiful. Right. Maybe not quite so natural, <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> I uh, listen. It's all. Oh, I think she's stunning. Yeah. I think she's absolutely. All those stunning. sad pictures of Katie Price <laughs> over the weekend. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Bless her. It's it's yeah, like she leave be. Mm. But yeah, well anyway, that's just maybe a yeah. conversation for another day. Yeah. Um, text in. Who do you think's the world's most mm. beautiful man? I think Bradley Cooper's Actually, up there. Actually, I'm going to change my mind now. Go on. I'm going to say Henry Cavill. Oh yes, he is. Yes. No. Yes. Why not? Yes, yes, Michael. Why not Henry Cavill? Yeah. Um, I think Gerard Butler. Few years ago, maybe. No, I like his ruggedness. No, I like I, Gerald Butler for me is the most beautiful man, other than my right. husband, obviously. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, speaking of beautiful things, <laughs> <laughs> back to the show. <laughs> Let's bring it before we get ourselves into hot water. Um, oh my goodness me, Mark. These are literally like stepping back in They're time. They're amazing. But I they was are. So they would be thrilled. A boutique kit, wouldn't mm, they? Because you yeah. didn't find amber in kits very often. No. You certainly didn't find Ethiopian opal. No, no, no. no so no, no. what a treat, Mark. Absolutely lovely. My goodness me, you get absolutely masses. Yeah, three so, amazing bundles we've got today. Do you want to talk us through your designs and then we'll show everybody yeah, the, so, the choices? Um, the first piece I made was this big necklace, which is the one that you get the tutorial for. And it's called Safari Sunrise. Wow. And it's, it's wire work, it's rosary linking, it's twisting, it's all lots of different techniques. And you even get that little tassel at the bottom. So you can see just how far you get. You, so you wait, can go this with isn't it. sea beading or anything no, like that? No, no, no. Oh, look, no this, is, this is what you get in the kit. So you get a double, Beautiful. how often do we see a double length strand of chips? When was the last time you uttered those words? <laughs> Chip, chips and nuggets are really expensive they right are. now. They are massively expensive, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Neil was saying about um, on, on Shay makes you saw a tree of life. It wasn't the tree of life that we showed this morning, was it? I bet it, I bet it was. Mm. I bet it was. Yeah, so that was the, and then you get the most amazing agate alongside yeah. it, which is which a perfect really match. Which really compliments. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's I beautiful. think that's a Sakura agate. 
I think we need to check that because Do I you? think, Mark, you've got Sakura Agate with Botswana Agate in that project. Because look, there's blooms. Ah. I might oh. be wrong, but to me that looks like a Sakura. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. An eye agate. agate. So that's a yeah. bloom. They've got yeah. like blossoms, blooms, inside. blossoms and blooms. Yeah, I interrupted, carry on. Yeah. And then I had, and then I worked with the amber, which we've got the most amazing quartz kits as well. These. I'm going to demo those because you, you, can, you can do seed bead techniques with chips and nuggets and I, they're, they're just... Oh, ace, Mark, they? they are gorgeous. They're, so, yeah. they're a bit of me, those. So in the Botswana kit, you get some tiger's eye beading thread. And then in the other two bundles, so this one and the next one, which is the opal, you get our, our basic threading packs. You get them on all these words that we haven't said for years. Monofilament, elastic, yep. beading thread in the little bundles. Back in so, stock. Yeah, so it's just lovely. And then um, last but not least, we've got the most amazing opal. So I've done some micro rosary linking right at the end on the necklace there. With some yeah, that's little, so pretty. Yeah, um, with some earrings there. So that's really cute. You could literally wear that on a daily basis, Easily. couldn't you? Yeah, it's that's so, so pretty. pretty. You can see the colours from here on yep. the screen, can't you? In our studios. Yeah, and that's saying something. Um, okay, so we've got three different projects, but they are all very different projects. Massively I think. different, yes. Yeah. Um, should yeah. we start with the opal? Oh, okay. Now, uh, uh, the reason why I'm, I'm so excited about this opportunity is because opal especially given the fact that it's all over our tv screens at the moment my husband's got back into watching it again opal hunters i've never seen it have you not i don't think i've got the right channel very addictive yeah, right very 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 addictive um and whether they're in kuba pd wherever it might wello whichever location or ethiopian opal so it's really cool so um so the reason why I mention that is because obviously the population is it, it's raising the awareness of the gemstone mm. once again. We saw it with Amalite with Kate Winslet's film. We saw it with Amber with Jurassic Park. Yeah, yes, um, yeah. So with with sort of the public sort of knowledge of this gemstone comes the desirability of this gemstone. But if you cast your minds back to when we were in Ivy House five years ago, mm. a strand like this. Oh yeah. 129, 149. Thank you. It would have been. <laughs> yeah. A strand like this round one Those would have been three amazing. figures. Yeah. Easily. Now, here in the studio, we have floodlights above us. It does opal no favours. No, no. We'll show you a recording of what it will look like in real life. You don't just get the rounds. You also get a full strand of the opal nuggets. I don't think I've ever seen two strands with more red as this. Which is the most. There's is the rarest more red color. than green in these strands. The red is the rarest colour. Mm. One of the things, the terminologies that they use um, on sort of opal hunters is they go, oh my gosh, there's colour everywhere. Colour, colour, colour. That's what they call it. They don't call it play of colour. They just go, oh, oh. there's colour everywhere. And I mean, that's exactly what we're seeing right now. All that performance, which comes from basically ancient water. The alignment of the silica spheres, it is yeah. absolutely fascinating. As Mark mentioned as well, you get your classic threading packs as well, your beading thread, your monofilament and your clear elastic as well. Um, again, cast your mind back. Jewelry makers that have been with us for a period of time, you'll remember strands like this would have had come under a three figure price tag. How many do we have of this project? 50, okay. So I knew it was uh. gonna be uh, more, ex more limited. That necklace, for example, as we've been talking about jewellers, if you, people know Opal, mm. they know Opal, the um, younger generation are loving Opal as well at the moment. Um, I was in a coffee shop the other day and there was probably, I, I don't know, the girl that served me, very lovely, very polite. She was probably in her early 20s wearing a beautiful Opal necklace. Wow. You know, so people recognise Opal, um, but it doesn't come at an inexpensive price tag. We've got a jewellers not too far away from the studio in Stratford-upon-Avon um, and clearly the proprietors are big fans of Ethiopian opal, in particular Ethiopian opal. Um, and again, nothing comes at less than three figures. No, no. I and that's, the window. It's a yeah, lovely window. It is beautiful, isn't mm. it? Now, I've got 50 straight away. We've got collectors making <coughs> their confirmations, trusting the process, absolutely knowing that jewellery maker will bring the most unbelievable deal. Look at that incredible quality even with the flood uh, flood lit studio which does opal absolutely no favors we're going to start at a closing price that we used to do regularly 
for one of those strands. In my wow. head, the rounds alone, three, four years ago, from ourselves, never mind comparing elsewhere, would have been £149. I'm just going to try and roll this towards you. Hello, Liz, saying I love all opal, and the Ethiopian opal is my favourite, mine too. Oh, look. Um, the look of <laughs> astonishment on my client's face is wonderful. It is. Wow. It is. A, it's a jaw-dropping gemstone. I mean, look at that. Now, bear in mind, 10 years ago, we wouldn't be able to see any of that colour with the lighting. Our no. quality is getting so impressive. And we also used to cover it and we hide it under the desk and all sorts of things. But you can see all of the colours now. It's the reds for me in this one. Even under floodlights. Yeah. yeah, incredible. If you think it looks amazing on your screen right now, wait till you see it in person. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness me, I've just heard what this project goes to. It's unbelievable, Neary. Are they brand new strands as well? Right. Look at wow. that quality. Look, yeah. Look at the quality of the Ethiopian opal. And I'm only showing you one strand. You also get those gorgeous nuggets which you rarely ever see. Nope. Two nope. strands. It's just easier to roll. <sighs> Look at that. Gosh. Oh my word. They're otherworldly, aren't they? Yeah, red is actually the rarest colour to get an Ethiopian mm. opal, and that's because of the distance it has to travel um, to wow. the observer, aka you and I, with white light. So it's the rarest colour to actually get. One of the joys of Ethiopian opal, because you can get opal from a few different locations around the world, but Ethiopian opal, um, and the reason why I love it so much, I'm sure Liz will probably say the same, is you actually get more translucency. So it's not just on the surface, you can see the play performance internally as well. Um, yeah, uh, let's read that because wow. um, this is a presentation. I uh, Look, this is an old presentation that I put together years ago. That goes to show how long ago, how long it's been since <laughs> I brought Ethiopian opal to it. Um, Ethiopian opals are not only beautiful, but they generally cost less than similarly quality opal from Australia certainly was the case not the case anymore people now go uh, to the store looking for wellow opal or ethiopian opals they also use the internet and search for these opals by name this surge of public awareness that we've already spoken about has developed in just a few years without any mi major mining company or jewelry brand spending millions of dollars to promote them um, you think about Tanzanite with, with Tiffany's and Co. Millions mm. of dollars to promote yeah, yeah. that gemstone. Yeah. This didn't need any of that. This popularity has been driven by the beauty of Ethiopia, uh, Ethiopian opals and their current attractive prices. But I have to say, the prices now of Ethiopian opal are really matching Australian opal. Can I show those faceted ones? Just because, I mean, look at that. Here we go. Many translucent to transparent pieces of Ethiopian opal are faceted, such as these, but it's not really the shape I'm showing. Look at the performance yeah. of colour. Um, and I see that in your rounds, jewellery makers. I see the quality in your rounds. You want to see it on strands? I'm going to say yours beats all of Oof. those. Yeah, the photograph <laughs> I'm about to show you, yeah. yours are better quality than all of those. Do you agree? Wow. By a stretch. Gosh. And you don't just get one. Even, those, even those nuggets, the colour is incredible, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it's a long strand too. I'm just going to kind of twist them together <coughs> so you can see them all. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. So Mark, actually, £50 a strand of Ethiopian opal, mm. that's insane, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, is. it? it is. That's already a fantastic price. Globally recognised. No. Some months ago, producer Neary says, I brought a strand of Ethiopian opal rounds to wear. And I brought that strand to wear for £69.99. That was a crazy deal. They went absolutely bananas. Sold out. You're not just getting the rounds, you're actually getting the nuggets and you're getting all of our beading thread and you're getting the knowledge and inspiration from lovely Mark. We've got 50, so they are extremely limited. Lovely jewellery makers. This is not your price. If you don't, I'm definitely getting involved. Imagine these with those pearls that we had earlier on. Oh, gosh. Ethiopian yeah. opal with, pearl, uh, with, with those beautiful round pearls. <laughs> £49.99. pence. Literally three, four years ago, you'd have been talking about 149 for one, and that would be an amazing price. That's not me sort of... Uh, um, 
being derogatory to the pricing that we used to do that was the going rate for ethiopian opal and it hasn't gone down it's just we're able right. to buy as part of the gemporia partnership now jewelry makers so that's how you get these better deals and that's 25 pound a strand mark it's just crazy right. isn't it yeah. Absolutely crazy. What are the instructions on this? This one. Oh, so the Safari yeah, Sunrise. So you yeah, can yeah. use this alongside. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's unbelievable. Because I for the necklace on the left hand side there, I use 0.4 wire. Okay. So you can do exactly the same, but a smaller version, and and make groups of your little chip sections, and then twist them together if you wanted to incorporate the rounds as well. If you if if you were selling still, Mark, if you had mm. the time to do that, mm. what kind of price would you put for on for that, that necklace? Yeah. 85 90 pounds gosh that's good that'd be a really affordable mm. price tag for mm. ethiopian opal it would fly at that price yeah. even the earrings at the end I've only, I've only used three of the rounds they're really cute yeah they're gorgeous Just opal earrings and we're, heading, and we're heading we're quickly heading towards october as well aren't we so oh yeah try and get hold of opal yeah. during the month of october <laughs> Okay, jewellery makers, there yeah. are loads of you there. Yeah. Vela Glamorgan, Deborah, Linda, yeah. Angela, Susan, Laurel, Leslie, Davinia, Leicestershire, Kent, Chris, Sharon, Ronald, new customers, Norman, Renata, Oxfordshire. We are still not done, believe it or not, but you will need to get a little bit of a wriggle on to guarantee your success now. Those earrings alone, even if you sold those earrings on their own, which is what, six rounds, 50 pounds all day long, because people recognize Opal, yeah, they, they have that, it has that immediate perceived value. Um, yeah, and it's a gemstone, this location, which has been written about um, across um, lots of different publications. The, there is a real public awareness for Ethiopian Opal, and I do think the TV program's got a lot to do with that as well. Unlike Australian Opals, which are formed in ancient seabeds, Ethiopian Opals are a result of a volcanic activity. Um, um, with the stones formed in nodules within the volcanic ash. Volcanic opals are known as hydrophane opals um, from the Greek word for water loving because of their ability to absorb water. Um, if ever you notice, by the way, this is just a little bit of a tip. If you've got opals um, in your stash or if you've got opals in your jewelry collection and you start to see them maybe looking just a little bit because mm, they can sometimes just go a little bit mm. subdued, just pop them on the, on the windowsill in your bathroom. Oh. So they can oh, absorb. The humidity. Yeah. So they oh, can absorb. Clever. Don't submerge them, but literally let them. Let let. Oh. Although saying that, if you go to mm. a gem fair, that's how they sell opals right. in submerged in water. Um, but yeah, just literally pop them on your windowsill in your bathroom, and they'll absorb some oh, the water. That's a top tip. Um, and all that play of colour will come back to life. Um, amazing. When wet, the stones become transparent before returning to their opaque colour. The vivid colours. Um, that is not dissimilar to a magical northern light. Uh, that's absolutely all day long, um, Ethiopian Opal. Personally, I'm with you. They are my favourite location. Um, and to be bringing it to you at £25 strand is amazing. Um, anyway, it's wow. time. I love this next project. I think that's a gorgeous combination. Mm, it's lovely, isn't it? You have so many ambers on that strand as well. <sighs> Mark, this jewellery. I'm loving these earrings, Mark. If I was to walk past, if there was an artisanal market and I was to see those earrings, mm. I'd be like, oh, Amber, with that just gorgeous turquoise. It's the perfect combination. Oh, it's stunning. Perfect combination. What a lovely project mm. this is. The first time that I worked with Amber on the show, I put it with turquoise. It was quite a sad story. I made a, a suite of jewellery for presenter Zena to go to a funeral. And the family of the, of, the, of the person that had passed away wanted it to be bright colours. Mm. And um, so I made a, a, a turquoise and amber necklace and earring set. Oh. That was the first time I'd ever seen and worked. And, and I still remember that, that first shock of lifting your first amber yeah. strand for the first time. You think, what? Where, where is it? <laughs> where is it? Yeah, because yeah, it literally will float Bizarre. in salt water. Yeah. So again, you have your little uh, threading pack. So your monofilament, your clear elastic, mm. um, and your beading thread. So you get that. You get a beautiful strand of clear quartz. I'm loving that cut. But then you get a full, long strand. It's round. Of cognac amber. How stunning mm. are these? Beautiful. Yeah, amber, is, it will float in salt water. So it's extremely lightweight. I should mention as well, please be mindful where you source. If you do source gemstones from elsewhere, that's absolutely fine. Um, who am I to tell you otherwise? But be careful because amber is um, much synthesized mm. because you can literally make resin. Um, 
so yeah be careful what if you source it elsewhere you know that ours is all gem lab certified well you've met the gentleman who actually um supplies us that lovely marius marius yeah now how many do you have of this project 80 oh, okay God. Oh, again no. comes with the project so you could do same techniques rosary linking I mean, seriously, the strand of... I think you're buying uh, your amber and you're getting everything else for yes, free because it's not yeah. a short strand, is it? No, 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 no. I said it's absolutely rammed. And they're rondelles as well, little wheels. So they've crammed a lot on the strand. Again, if you think about... Mm. Similar to our conversation with the... Oh, wouldn't it be lovely with the opal? Mm. But with little to no gem knowledge, people recognise amber, don't they? Yeah, completely. And they know that it comes at a higher price tag. We have 80. Really? What? We're not stopping there, but I'm going to, uh, I'm not surprised I've got makers wanting five of these. Because they're very, I mean, you could literally just, just beat yeah. these, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Really good drill holes as well. So you, you could probably get 0.6 oh. or even 0.8. I've used the beading thread here with. That's so pretty. <gasps> oh, God. You're getting a discount on your amber because it's not a 20 centimeter strand no. and you're getting the clear quartz and you're getting the beading thread and the instructions all for free. Crazy deals this morning. And it's your original cognac as well. Yeah, which is my favorite. Mm, mine as well, yeah. I like the lemons, I like the greens, yeah. but I always yeah. gravitate back to the classic cognac color. We had 80. Deborah, Pauline, Vela Glamorgan, Lynn. What, do you notice that we also haven't had Amber Days in quite a while? No. Amber Weekends. Amber Weekends, yeah. 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 Can't do it. Similar to Tan's Night. We can't do them anymore. We don't have the supply. Even with us being very good friends with Marius, we've got his picture on the wall. You know, I brought the girls in. Uh, what day was it? Monday. I had to pop in to get a piece of paper, basically. Mm. And, of course, they come and gate crash the show, don't they? But they're walking down, there's a corridor in our, in, in our building. They're like, Mummy, where's your picture? It's like, I'm not important oh. enough. Not important <laughs> enough. So you've got Marius, you've got Steve, you've got Jay, you've got Dave, you've got Charlie Barron. Mm. Yeah. There's no photos of us, is there? No. 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 Should we do our own little wall? Yeah. <laughs> 29.99. Okay, I'm buying this project. This with the Ethiopian Opal, I think team those two together. That's Can I hold amazing. them together? It's an unbelievable deal. Absolutely unbel unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. Really? That's amazing, isn't it? Imagine those together. How incredible that piece of jewellery would be. Mark, these are absolutely stunning. We had 80, well over half the stock's gone and we've got people multi-buying. You know it's a great deal when people multi-buying projects. You haven't just bought the amber and got the rest for free. You've got a discount the quartz on the is amber. That's stunning as well. That's true. I love those quartz nuggets. I mean, they're huge again. Well, that's a good they're point, beautiful. Mark. And they work so well with the amber. They really do. If oh, we did a showcase um, of clear quartz mm. and I yeah, brought yes. these, the regular yes. cuts, they actually, would be twenty nine ninety nine, wouldn't yeah. they? The clear, yeah, yeah. So actually, yes, you're buying the clear quartz. You're getting what would be what eighty, ninety pound strand of amber, and the beading thread and the instructions and it's going lower does this mean what does this mean what does I that mean what does that mean mic drop oh still none the wiser what's a mic drop drop that oh, mic. not michael the microphone. microphone oh as in really confused right um obama did it didn't he when he was oh right Ah, right. Mic okay. drop. Yeah, mic drop. That's ridiculous. That's no. actually ridiculous. When have we ever done a project <laughs> of amber for twenty four ninety nine? That's probably one of the best amber oh. pro deal prices, full stop, I've ever seen. You are definitely, in my head, buying the clear quartz strand because they're huge, they're pristine, they're, they're pure, beautiful. they're white. Ready they're for winter. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then you're getting a full 38 centimetre strand. It's yes. got to be. Yeah, yeah. And all your beading thread and the instructions for free. That's generally one of the best amber deals I've seen. What would that be on launch show of an, when we launched amber? How much would that have been on the. 80, 90 yeah, pounds? Yeah, I thought that. 
Fascinating. Because it's not a short strand, is it? No, no. I think so. I think that would be an eighty, ninety pound strand. I, d I, I'm certain I've brought you amber of similar size at as at like eighty, ninety pounds. Wow. How long is the strand? Thirty-eight centimeters. Yeah. Five by six millimeters. Mr. Newy's deals are the best, says Liz. <laughs> made you made him happy now, Liz. Yeah, it's a 38 oh, centimetre strand, five to six millimetre beautiful rondelles. Unbelievable. I've got another project to bring you. Ooh. And then we've got a couple of other replays and obviously your demos. I'm going to pop them down there. I'll take them my side. Thank you. These, this next project's a bit lush, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Hang on. Double strand, eh? I can't remember the last time I bought a double strander to wear. There's your be there, there's oh, it's all beading yeah, thread. Yeah, all beading thread. Yeah. All beading thread. That's a nice colour. It's lovely, isn't it? Like an antique antique gold, isn't it? Yeah. Vintage gold. It's lovely. Then you get. I'm going to show you the eye agate. You'll see where it gets its name from. So. It's amazing. That's it does lovely. look like Sakura. You are right. Oh, they're gorgeous. Are they natural? <coughs> they look natural. Uh, is there treatment to it? Okay, it's all good. Most agate is, but look how lovely that is. I thought it was natural. They, they look, look natural. very Sakura. Yeah, I yeah. can't... But wait, you don't just get that. A double strand of natural, the king of all agates. One of our favourites. Botswana. Are you the king of agates? Along with Botswana? I wouldn't mind. I'll be up for that. <laughs> I spent so much money on the show yesterday. Did you? Yeah, we had some of the Alashan. It is beautiful though. Multicolour strands graduated yesterday. It was beautiful. It, uh, agates bring you so much variety mm. don't they um neary no can you have a little look in my uh file because botswana is something that i recently relaunched mm. because did yes. you notice there yeah. was a period of time where we had none no, absolutely it disappeared didn't it all for together years. for years ages and ages yeah. and ages oh, now if you've it. never seen Botswana agate this is what it looks like oh. um, it's absolutely breathtaking you get these one it's, it's literally mother nature's story isn't it beautiful absolutely um, beautiful. and that's all natural Botswana is totally natural but um, what is I, I learned something when I was actually researching for the relaunch um, Botswana agate is a stunning stone known for its rich earthy tones and intricate patterns um, making it a popular choice for jewelry makers and crystal enthusiasts alike but botswana agate isn't just a pretty face it also has a rich history and a variety of fascinating properties that make it a valuable addition to any collection botswana is also known sunset stone um, it's a special kind of agate that's really popular and valuable. It has beautiful bands of white, black, grey and blue colours. What makes it even more special is that it can only be found in the Bobanong district of Botswana, wow. making it rare. Do you know all these years I've spoken admired Botswana agate, I never knew it was one locational. Never did. For thousands of years, People have been using banded agates in carvings, beautiful designs called cameos and intaglios. The layers of different colours in an agate are important for creating the design. Among the variety of agates, Botswana is highly valued because of its fine bands of white, black, shades of grey and occasional pinks and salmon hues. These special stones have been used as talismans and amulets since ancient times and the Greeks were one of the first civilizations to, to appreciate Ooh. the beauty of its durability. In archaeological sites dating back around around 1500 BC uh, such as the grave of Griffin warrior both plain and carved Botswana agates have been discovered Wow! so we have admired this gemstone for thousands upon thousands of years 
we're bringing you a double strand because it is like a I'd, I, only because I'm probably going to get the question would you say that's about 80 centimetres yes yeah it is 80 yeah. good, good, good. there we are wow. that's a good guess yeah. isn't it? 80 centimetres of natural Botswana a full strand of your beautiful eye agate the instructions to make this amazing necklace and the beading thread Whoa. just to get our wheels in motion mark we're starting at 49.99 oh, okay oh gosh right that's a lot of gemstones mm. isn't it love that necklace stunning and it's so wearable i'm not able to make it very often why because like, of the nuggets because we never have the nuggets no no and nuggets are yeah. very expensive now i think those those uh, so oh, yeah. those gorgeous <laughs> and raw shapes i suppose yeah the matching earrings oh this one's like a little ladybird yes 80 centimeter strand of botswana agate okay uh, again oh. for botswana agate i i started my jewelry maker journey making projects mark you'll remember those days won't you mm -hmm. and i knew that as soon as i dropped botswana agate into any kit it bumped the price massively massive yeah, yeah. It, they, wow. botswana agate projects were not generally speaking 29.99 yeah, look at these prices. You could literally just bead Botswana agate. I know which which necklace I'd prefer out of the two. I definitely gravitate towards Marks. One hundred and seventy-five pounds for that, and it's just simple, plain rounds. It's the value of the gemstone. We're gonna put a clock on screen and go even lower. <coughs> How many have we got? Is there many? Oh, 99, that's good. Gosh. For Botswana Agate, we don't normally have quantities like that. Plus, don't forget, you get Mark's amazing instructions, which is just a casual... Uh, 24, I think. 24 steps, mm. yeah. No, it's more than that. I don't think Michael's printed it all off. More than that. Um, and it's not just the actual design, Mark. You learn lots of techniques, don't you? Yeah, so how to use your chips and nuggets, how to do size graduations. We've got the twist, we've got the rosary linking, we've got, uh, yeah, it's all packed. how to do the tassel, everything. Yeah, Botswana Rygate is not an under £20. Under £20 gemstone. Yeah, the beading thread is... That's true, that's about... What do you reckon? Ten Six or seven quid, I think, something like that. Yeah. Six ninety nine, I think those three are. What about the eye eye gate? Yeah. So what, what what about if we say you're buying your beading thread in the eye eye gate and yeah. then you're getting a full <coughs> eighty centimetre strand of natural Botswana eye gate, mm. the king wow. of eye gates, for free. And Mark's in, um, instructions. Unbelievable. We had ninety nine, but you are flying in for this one, wonderful jewelry makers. Tiny Wear, Rupal, Jenny, oh. Mary, Susan, Senga's got two, Elaine, Sylvia, Cheryl, Andrew, Jeanette, Susan, Carol, Deborah, Shirley, Maker Maker, Norfolk, Maureen, Heather, June, Zara, hello to you. Mary in Yorkshire wants two. Maker Norman, Barry and Marion, Susan. I can't keep up with you all. Um uh, ninety nine might seem like loads. The rounds are ten mil. Um, Brazilian, the rounds, and then Botswana, uh, Botswana Agate is, as I've learned, mm. like I said, from Botswana. Mm -hmm. Because often, you might be thinking, well, obviously they're one locational. Sometimes gemstones can be named a location, but not just be from that one no. location. No. Um, but yeah, it is one locational. That's cool, isn't it? Now, what we're going to do, jewellery makers, I'll keep you updated on the quantity because they are absolutely flying. Um, we're going to dive into Mark's amazing demo, and then we have got a repeat of those beautiful mm. diamonds they went crazy they last did. time we brought they them really to air yeah, yeah. so keep checking out your baskets 99 is not going to be enough to go around i can say that for certain um and likewise with the earlier kits as well so mark what are you going to show us those yeah, i'm going to show you the earrings I love those and the reason earrings. i'm going to show you the earrings is these are the um ambers that i've got left from the strand after i made all of the jewelry and any chip and nugget you can do this technique with you don't have to have a round to do this the spiral technique okay so any chip and nugget you've got you can do this exact technique with could that be a pendant as well could be a pendant or a necklace or all sorts yeah Gorgeous. it's amazing so this necklace here if i bring this across see how different that's exactly the same technique 
the necklace. Oh, really? Just continuing yep. instead yeah, of right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So where I've put the pearl, the pearls in here, you just pop in a chip or a nugget. So you could do it with the Botswana if you wanted to. You could do it with the, with the opal nuggets. Oh, no, just, just treat the nugget as a as a as a bead. Ah, oh, and in the yeah. earrings, they'd be fantastic because they're yeah. not going to be heavy. No, absolutely not. No, Beautiful. No, no, it's really simple. So all you're going to need extra are two sizes of your seed bead. You're going to need a 50, um, an 11 o, which I've gone for the blue, and an 8 o, which are the gold. Okay, so turquoise and the gold. So first of all, I'm going to, because they're earrings, you need a couple of feet of your thread, a size 10 needle. So we're going to pick up an 11 o, which I'm purely going to use as a stopper bead. And because we're making earrings, I don't want the stopper bead to come off. I want to, to keep it on there right to the very end. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my needle back round and come back up the seed bead. And normally we would only do it once because then we'd slide the stopper bead off at the end. But I'm going to go through that bead as many times as I can before it gets really hard to get the needle through. And then at the end of the I've, at the end of the necklace, all you would do then is you would just cut the excess tail off and that seed bead would stay at the bottom of your earring. So that's five and let's see if I can get six. Yeah, just, I can just get six up through there. Okay, so that's now nice and tight. So all you do is you just cut the tail off at the end so you'd have a nice neat finish. So people have seen this technique before. It's one of my favourites. It's one of the most easiest techniques but I think the most effective called the simple spiral and there are two sections in the simple spiral there's the core which runs up through the center which is perfectly hidden in the earrings there mm -hmm. and then you have the the spiral around the outside are called the arcs okay and you do you never do the same um, you don't add an arc and a core um, at the beginning it's just the core okay so first of all you need to decide how many beads you want your core start to be and I've worked out the numbers for you, so you need to pop on five. Okay, so five of your eight O's. And the reason we go for an eight O is because there's going to be lots of multiple passes, so you need that space yeah. inside. So we're going to slide those down. That's the only time we're going to add more than one core bead at a time now. Okay, it's only at the beginning where you add your original five. So we need to then make our combination of bees to make our arcs. And that combination will stay the same throughout your design. So what I'd roughly recommend doing is just laying out your combination on the top of your bead mat for reference all the way through. It's not going to change. It's going to stay the same. And what you want to do, you want to go small to large to small. And your largest bead will go in the center. So we've got our five beads there. So that's going to be my arc. Okay. So I'm going to hold that core section in my hand and I'm going to pick up my first arc. So 11, 8, then one of our ambers, then an 8, and then an 11. Okay, so that's our group of five. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go round the back and up through that core section there. So then we, when you pull, you can see now that we've got our core going down the centre and our arc on the right-hand side. What we need to do to start the spiral off is we need to flip the arc around to the left-hand side. Okay, so from now on, this is what we're going to do. Every single move until we've completed either the earring, the bracelet, or a full necklace, is we're going to pick up one core bead, and we're going to slide it just off the needle. Then we're going to pick up our arc, exactly the same combination. So... 11, 8, then our amber or our Botswana or any other nugget, then an 8 and then an 11. And do you remember when we did this section, we took our needle up through five core beads. Okay. Yeah. So every move, we take our needle up through five, but the first one is the core bead that we've just added. So you count, that's number one, two, three, four, five. So we're not going to go up through that bottom. So we're going to go up through the four. We're going to pull nice and tight. So you can see now that we've got our core going up the center and then that's the core bead we've just added. So all we're going to do is pop our needle in and then we're going to pull it nice and tight. So you can now see that we've got two arcs, one either side. So to get the spiral going, we take the arc we've just made and we just pop it round to the left-hand side so it sits alongside its partner. Now I've only done two there and you can see the spiral already. You see yeah. that starting to form. 
Okay, so hold that in your hand. Next section, so we pick up one arc, one core bead, slide off the needle. Then 111, 118, one of our ambers, 118 and 111 Again, we count the last five, so that's the first I've just added. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go up through those four. Then we're going to pull the thread. We get the arc on the right hand side. There's our core bead that we need to add. So I'm going to take my needle, pop it in, pop it on the top, and I'm going to take that arc we've just made around to the left and pull tight. Your tension has to be quite tight for this, so I, I normally go in and just hold on to the thread and just push down with my index finger. And you can already see it starting to build up. So I'll do, I'll do one more. So picking up our core bead, then an 11, an 8, an amber. Oops. Got a message from Jenny in Bristol. Oh. Good morning, Al, Mark, and crew. Morning. I'm thinking that this spiral could make a lovely Christmas decoration with, say, oh, ABC yeah. sea beads and quartz. Amazing idea. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Okay, so we've done our next arc. So we're going to take our needle up through one, two, three, four. Take the needle up through. There we go. Pull it nice and tight. And then we've got, as you can see, we've got our core and we've got that, that 8 -o that we've just added. So we're going to pick that up, pop it on the top, turn that arc around so it meets its partners, pull nice and tight. And you can see that spiral already starting. It does it all itself by magic. So all I've done for the earrings is I've just, I've made 15 sections all together. So you have 15 ambers in each earring. And then when you get to the end, you just tie on your shepherd's hook, which I've done on the right little picture you can see on the right hand side. And because we did that multiple move with our stopper bead, all you do is you just take the thread off like so. That's a nice neat finish. It's, that bead's not going to go anywhere. So all I've done is when you get to the last arc, can you see the core ends with an eight? So all I do, because I like to have symmetry, is I pop on an 11 -0. So slide it down. And then, as I said, you then take your shepherd's hook or your jump ring or your, your clasp if you're turning it into a necklace, and then you're just attaching it to your, to your finding. And you can see that they tessellate and they sit so beautifully. And as I said, this would work with your Botswana agate, okay, with any chips and nuggets, even the opal. You could do the micro version with 15s and 11s if you wanted to as well. It's giving me Harry yeah. Winston vibes. Has it? Yeah, because Harry Winston does this um, quite an iconic ring now, actually. It's relatively new, I think, mm. where it has, I can't remember which way round it is, but it has Sleeping Beauty turquoise with specotite. Oh, my word. And it's that colour combination. Yeah, yeah, you just can't beat gorgeous. it. It's just lovely. No, those it's lovely. E I love those earrings, Mark. I go as far as saying they're probably one of my favourite pairs of earrings. They just pop, don't they, the colours. And I just like the way the ambers all sit together. And uh, no, it's lovely. Gorgeous. Absolutely love those. Um, and you've definitely, I mean, you could do that same technique with the amber. You could do it with, the, obviously, the amber. And yeah, um, yeah. with the opal. Absolutely. You yeah. do it with the Botswana, why Yeah, not? for the opal, I would go down a size. So go for a size 12 needle. Yeah. And then use 11 O's as your core. And then yeah. incorporate 15 O's, then an 11, then an opal. What kind of, what kind of seed beads? Um, what seed um, beads would you go? Gosh, I think gunmetal. Oh, nice really make the opal pop. I think that would look, yeah. look so beautiful, wouldn't it? That'd Shadow it ever so slightly, yeah. wouldn't it, as yeah. well? be lovely. Amazing. Lovely. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, oh, Michael. There that. it is. Wow. See what I mean? It's giving me Harry Winston yeah. vibes. Gosh. Which, by the way, that's a five-figure piece of jewellery, that. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Specitite garnet. Very fetching. But Gosh. if you've got that wonderful orangey colour from the yeah, ambers. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. So these projects have absolutely flown, jewelry makers, no surprise whatsoever. There's still quite a few of you with it in your basket. So for the Ethiopian Opal, if you're Maria, Nicola, Joanne, Janet, Karen, Zara, Daniel, Anne, Jane, Patricia, Sharon, Norman, Renata, Oxygen, those names I can see, check out your basket because that's getting very, very wow. limited. Um, the Amber project, is that limited now as well? 
Yeah, and the Botswana as well. Okay, let's do some replays. And I have to say, Mark. These were great fun, weren't they? We, I remember us launching these together. And I remember very vividly us getting really excited about the rondelles. Yeah, look at these. Because these are, yeah, these have got, I mean, you would buy these rondelles individually, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. But They're lovely, aren't they? You don't just get that. If I hold this strand out, so you have all these multiple colours in these wonderful CZ rondelles, but they just casually put between some lovely I pearls. I know. Yeah, as you do. That's a full strand of pearls. 38 centimetre strand. We launched these, and I remember it going completely crazy, Mark. So yeah, you can't have many of these left, Leary. 24, yeah. yeah. And the green, and when we did a green and blue mermaid version, yes. that, that sold out live on the show. We've just got a few of these left, yeah. So Neary's just saying he would have expected these projects to be at this price. Let's not forget they are genuine cultured pearls. Yeah. Genuine yep, pearls, genuine. all those rondelles that you might expect mm. to buy in a pack of 10. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You get memory wire. <laughs> And you get oodles two meters of your diamond yeah. tubing. Mm -hmm. It's ace, isn't it? I love this project. They went crazy. Certain colorways sold out. Mm. Um, just wow. think about it this way: you've got cultured pearls, you've got the diamond tubing, you've got the memory wire, and you've also got all those CZ rondelles. Sixty-nine ninety-nine. We brought you the we brought you a strand of pearls earlier on today at sixty nine ninety nine. Now these are more sort of your nugget like shapes, I suppose. But yeah, see, I haven't said that. Mm. There's some really beautiful spherical ones in amongst mm. that strand. Yeah, potatoes. I'm going to wish you all the best of luck because twenty four of these is not going to be enough. They went crazy on the launch. I can't remember. Yeah, that's madness, isn't it? I'd pay that for the rondelles. Oh. I'd pay that for the CZ rondelles. You're getting your culture pearls, your diamond tubing, and your memory wire. And is this something, I mean, look at all the lovely jewellery that Mark's created. Is this something that, you know, anybody can have a go at? Absolutely anybody, yeah. And you get a tutorial with this as well to make a, a, oh, yeah? a, a version similar to this of a necklace here. Cutting the, the diamond tubing into little sections and uh, popping in the rondelles. And, but that memory wire bracelet, I love that bracelet. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you yeah. get masses of yeah. it as well. You just literally yeah. cut it with normal. Yep. Yeah. And, all, and uh, so, yeah, just scissors where you can cut your diamond tubing. It's all acrylic. It's not metal or no. glass or anything like that. Nice it's just, and it's soft. Lovely. So the first thing I did was I, I took everything off the strand and, and then separated the um, rondelles. I think there are six or seven different colours <coughs> in this strand and then decide what you want to do from then on. Yeah, because straight away I can see there's two different colours of pinks. You've kind of got like a tourmaline-like colour. You've got yep. blues. You've yep. got like a greeny colour. Yep. Unbelievable. Yep. £29.99. pence. Well done, everybody. Now, if you love this project, you're going to absolutely mm. adore the next one yeah. because this is your classic, isn't it? Yep, yep. It's amazing. Um, there's, a, there's a famous print song, isn't there? Diamonds and pearls. That's what this is. How this many is of you are singing it when you see it? <laughs> There's your memory wire. This was so, there can't be many of this one left. This was really popular. I, I'm surprised we're actually replaying it, to be honest, Mark. Mm. We had a lot, though, I think, on the oh, initial launch. Oh, did we? Yeah. Just that clear, that's just lovely. No. I don't think we'll have any left after today. Look at that. This oh. is getting ready for your Christmas festive pieces, isn't it? In oh, winter. yeah. New Year's Eve. Christmas Day. Mm. Two meters of your diamond tubing. This is your classic CZ crisp colorless diamonds in your rondelles with genuine pearls. Not faux, genuine pearls. How many do we have available? 29, okay. Mm. Those it's earrings, though. Well, yeah. those earrings alone you'd tell for that price, surely. Yeah. yeah. I love this. <laughs> Mad. See what I mean? Can I just do a little canteroonie of the rondelles that you're getting in this? 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. 44 rondelles. Whoa. And you get the pearls, and you get the diamond tubing, and you get the memory wire, and you get the instructions. Seriously, that's amazing. And or, the boat bracelet. yeah, that's, I mean, so cool. And this one. Yeah. Oh, that simple one. So, all, I, all I've done here is I've cut the diamond tubing into two row. You can, it, as I said, it's so easy to cut and then just thread it onto elastic. And it looks like you've got, they look, they look glass, don't they? They look like CZ and nobody would know that it's acrylic and it's so light and easy wear. Beautiful. Or just pop it onto memory wire. Yeah, like, wow. Like Statement just, pieces yeah, for sure. Yeah unbelievable well done um yeah i think they're going to sell out today so congratulations wow. i've only got nine of them left so good luck to you london julie northamptonshire maker abiola well done to you as well um wow wow now you had elephant day the other day didn't you yes um we had had oh. lion day apparently we're in the middle of national allotment week are we yeah i only found that out last night yeah. Yeah. Um, and is 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 what do you do in a national allotment week? Just celebrate your sure, allotment. I'm not sure really. I'm not sure really. And I can't remember. I think it might be Good Friday. It's one of the Easter days. It's Naturist Garden Day, where What's you have that to mean? garden. You have to garden in the nude. Oh, I've, I've, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Michael does that anyway on a daily basis. Oh, out there with your hose. Oh. Yeah. Just <laughs> literally watering the flowers. Yeah. I'm not sure I could do that. No, really. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. No, because no. uh, if they wanted to, my neighbours could look into our garden. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the front garden. No. Morning. <laughs> Can you imagine? Morning. Out there with your lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I mean. Each to their own. You do you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, but I like the fact that there's days for everything, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Um, but National Lion Day. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it is illegal. <laughs> Maybe not in your garden, but out the front, probably. 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 Yeah, I would imagine. Um, anyway, National Lion Day, and we were talking about the fact that the, the lion. I mean, certainly one of the most majestic um, creatures but symbolic of courage, bravery, independence. <laughs> well, <laughs> International Lion Day or National Lion Day? I don't know. Um, I don't know, I said international, didn't I? I'm which sure. No, international's good, but you can't have National Lion Day because lions aren't native to this country. True, I think it's so international. That it must be international, yeah. Must be. I fancy lions being wild. Oh, yeah, word. and I was talking. Natalie was saying that she she can on some days she can hear the lions because she's got a oh she's got a safari park safari close park to her, her hasn't yeah. She? yeah, and sometimes you can hear the ooh because they do make that they do noise, that funny they? noise. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I can't do a lion's roar very well, as you can tell. <laughs> wow! They when they, yeah, and they can run. They can run. Yeah, over fifty mile an hour for short intervals. Gosh. Yeah. And then again, there's a presentation somewhere. Um, they can jump some like obscene levels of feet in the air. Let's do a crazy deal. These are like two dimensional lions as well. So you've got his gorgeous mane. You know, um, I have a little, I have, well, I say a little lion. I've got a sort of lion, I don't know what, ornament that goes mm -hmm. on the wall just as you leave the door. Right. Yeah. A sconce. I think they call uh, it. Is that what they are? Mm. Yeah, I've got one of those. Um, that's been there for years. But if I turn it side profile, you can see that there's a big amount of sterling silver invested into this. Um, you get the two as well, nine pounds and 99 pence. So, oh, yes. I mean, I, I was looking at it thinking, you know, what a lovely bracelet this would yeah. be maybe for something like uh, Father's Day that's or nice, it? It on like an anniversary. It's like a Victorian door knocker, doesn't it? From Scrooge yes. from Christmas Carol, something like that. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you always used to have lions on the front yeah. door, didn't you? Yeah, to ward off evil spirits. Evil spirits, yeah, because yeah, they're very protective, yeah. aren't they? They're beautiful. And it also talks about some, like, ah. like the harmony as well, because in the pride of lions, um, everyone's got their role. You know, the, the males kind of rule the roost, mm. um, but they're the protectors, aren't they? Whereas the, the females are the hunter-gatherers. 
Amazing. Five wow. pounds each. Well Amazing. done, everybody. Do not go anywhere, jewelry makers, because if you love your sterling silver, then you're going to absolutely adore your dealer day today. All about beautiful statement jewelry. I've got a big investment of 925 sterling silver in a very Tiffany's inspired link, which we'll talk some more about during uh, the presentation. Do we have one thing I don't know, Neri, is the quantity of these? Ah, we've got about 200 of these, both in the silver and also in the gold. Um, we've also got some really uh, lovely letter charms that you could put on your deal of the day for that added personalization. Um, so do not go anywhere, jewelry makers. We've got lots and lots and lots of treats to bring you. More amazing inspiration from Mark in the 12 o'clock hour as well as we step towards the, the gorgeous shell, shell pearls, pearl. Yeah. Back in stock by very popular demand. So we'll see you after this. <laughs> Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi jewellery makers, Yvonne here. Just popping in to tell you that I'll be back in the studio uh, on Thursday the 15th of August with Carol, Tom and the team uh, and I'm bringing some beautiful pearls at nine o'clock. Um, I've had the luxury of um, using these. Look at the beautiful case before we even get in there. Look at these. Metallic multicoloured pearls. How delightful are those? absolutely gorgeous so we then in the 12 o'clock hour have um, a shot plate I've had the time of my life with this um, it's got four little uh, symbols on it and they're all very generic so they this one will suit everyone it has um, two different stars on it a heart and a smiley little sun and I've put them all on one necklace there I have made other pieces of jewelry but I'll show you those on Thursday hope you can join us see you then bye hi everyone I'm back on Friday the 16th of August and I have this amazing strand of a faceted jadeite and I'm really excited to share it with you. Also have these amazing sterling silver panther heads. I'm really excited to be back and I can't wait to see you then, bye. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. It looks like I'm on safari, doesn't it? I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Wednesday, the 14th of August, where I'm going to be joining lovely Eleanor, Tom and the team. It's a bit of a Mark Smith theme day. In the nine o'clock hour, I've been given the most incredible chip and nugget strands to work with. We've got Botswana, amber, incredible opal strands. So I'm really looking forward to making some pieces with this. And then, as I mentioned, it's a bit of a Mark Smith day. At 12 o'clock, shell pearl four millimeter and six millimeter bundles. In the demonstration on the show, I'm going to be showing you how to make this incredible Alhambra inspired necklace. But also we've got these incredible four millimeter gray and green seed beads. We've got the most incredible spiral necklace. And this is going to be the tutorial that you'll pick up when you purchase any of the bundles in that hour. And then this incredible flat spiral bracelet. So that's all coming up 
this Wednesday, 14th of August. Join myself, Eleanor, from 8 o'clock. Hope you can join us. <laughs>
these statement designs are sort of exaggerated links for example they go say um statement bracelets are where boldness meets beauty these chunky eye-catching pieces are set to make a big impact in 2024 think oversized links tick exact extravagant charms tick vibrant gemstones yeah we can do that and dem that demand attention statement bracelets are not just accessories they're co uh, con conversation starters whether you choose an opulent gem encrusted piece or a chunky chain bracelet these bold beauties add a touch of drama to any outfit again it makes me think oh thank goodness i went for jewelry maker because some of those are sounding very expensive aren't yeah. they so I went on to actually start researching prices of said statement bracelets, obviously with the precious metal. Now, this one is not precious metal. Um, it's on ASOS. It's Swarovski encrusted, £149. That's base metal, by the way. Gold tone plated. Base metal. Because I've also noticed designers like, a lot of designers, some of which I'll mention, um, I always assumed because of the price tag that they were all got all silver or gold some of the no. gold plated base no. metal but they just don't mention it so I actually had to do one of those live robot chats to discover it with I'm gonna say it with Masoma and they were like oh I was like gold plated what and they were like ba base metal eventually I got that out of them um, how about Tiffany's and Co? You got to think about Tiffany's when we're talking statement bracelets. This is one of their most successful launches. The hardware collection, twenty-four thousand pounds. By the way, if you want that bracelet, it is solid gold. It's absolutely beautiful, but twenty-four grand. That's but a again, car. yeah, exactly. It's a very nice <laughs> car too. Yeah. Uh, moving on, you've got um, Oak and Luna chunky paperclip bracelet with engraving gold vermeil. So again, Basically. I would ask the question: mm. What vermeil? What? Yeah. What is it? Probably base metal, two hundred and nine pounds. Because if that that wouldn't be silver at that price, no way. Uh, moving on, you've got there it is, Masoma enamel byline uh, link chunky chain bracelet, one hundred and eighty nine pounds. That's base metal jewelry makes. It's not nine two five sterling silver. Um, then you've got this one is uh, large silver rounded link bracelet, five hundred and eighty pounds of the gram weight of the precious metal but again it's that statement look so it's actually yeah it's you know it's three figures but that's the same silver as you've got there yeah same 925 <laughs> um i like this one so yeah. uh large oval link chunky chain 925 sterling silver bracelet at 289 pounds which i actually don't think is too bad a price mm. i don't know if that's like an artisanal jewelers i can't remember but 289 or let's call it 290 shall we um and then something as simple as this that link chain bracelet in silver 1195 euros that is the one which is most similar to your deal of the day today nice. jewelry makers and i can guarantee that yours is not going to be a four-figure price tag now as I said earlier on, we can bring you the amazing gemstones, but we also are incredibly, and I'm a, this is the team upstairs, obviously, they're fantastic at negotiating some of the best sterling silver deals for you as well. Um, you think how much that is going to be in someone like Ernest Jones. You think how much that's going to be in someone like Beaver Brooks. Here's another example, very similar to, uh, to our design, silver round link chain. Now, again, I would ask the question, is that 925 silver? Because mm. if why wouldn't they put it on there? Yeah. Um, $364. David Yerman. David Yerman, large oval link bracelet, 500 pounds. Very similar to yours, jewelry makers today, but yours is not going to be 500 pounds. Now, I don't know about you. I know it's uh, sort of, what, we're mid-August. Um, we're mid-August think about your circle of friends and loved ones family nearest and dearest I bet whatever age generation style everybody would love this bracelet I think gents could wear this absolutely yeah right if you have a smaller wrist you can still wear it because you just literally if I turn this round move the last statement bolt ring clasp further along and then you actually have a cascade 
Don't forget as well, jewelry makers, we've actually got coming up, and I'll quickly show you this because we've got all letters of the alphabet, something that would go beautifully on this bracelet. And I'm almost inclined oh. to put actually on the clasp as well. Look how lovely that is. Funny enough, oh. there it is on it. It's like a carabiner link. So can you see it's on and offable? How beautiful is that? It's cute. If you are thinking Christmas birthdays just because, then today is going to be a fantastic day for your uh, budget. Are you ready, jewelry makers? We're going to start. I've got the gold as well. I've been wearing the gold. Here we go. Sorry, I've got it tucked up in my, my bracelet. There you go. So we've got the gold one to bring you as well. I'd layer the two together. I think they'd be absolutely amazing. We have 200 available. Let's do a clock to graphic, shall we? Um, I think there's, I'm just try, trying to hint without giving, um, you know, spoiling the surprise. I think people are going to be multi-buying on this. Because it's such a giftable mm. item, Mark, isn't it? It's, and it's not over the top, is it? It's, it's quite contemporary. It's modern. It's not too heavy it's not nope. too big it's not too blingy it's, it's a nice nice safe design I it think. is it yeah is, it's and, and it's not yeah. 500 pounds no no or 300 pounds or the four figure prices that we've actually seen for mm. 925 sterling silver or not might even be um base metal straight away jewelry makers i know there is going to be a re reaction on the web and on the phone lines um I've seen some beautiful designs around the world with sterling silver. I think I think the hardware collection probably being one of the, my, my favorites at the moment from Tiffany's and Co. And you can buy, by the way, a sterling silver hardware collection bracelet from them. I'm usually wearing it actually, because yes, you asked yes. me about it this morning, but I took it off for the wedding and I keep forgetting to put it back on. But they do this in silver. It's a thousand pounds, a Tiffany's and Co hardware bracelet, a thousand pounds. Their 925 sterling silver is literally no different to ours. You get, you get yeah, that same luxury yeah. look for significantly less. So I don't know about you, jewelry makers, but I have definitely, that's it. I've definitely, definitely got my uh, gifting hat on as well. Make sure you uh, secure yourself one too. So here it is, look. And like, and you know, we said earlier on that it covers, you know, it gents, ladies, all generations. Um, there's, oh, I've actually got, if you look at the industrial collection, um, I can't remember, there's a celebrity that's wearing one of these. We've got a chap wearing Beyonce, this bracelet. Oh, oh Beyonce. Beyonce, but there was a chap. Yeah. Oh, right. I think it's Justin Timberlake. Really? Justin Timberlake oh. wears this one. How much is it? £985 for that same bracelet. Gosh. Wow. Deborah in Buckinghamshire, the Vale of Glamorgan, Angela, Anne and Durham, you're there already. You can get your charms if you want to further um, embellish it, I guess. Um, Personalise it. And it is a simple carabiner link that's coming your way. Have you found it? Yeah, that's it. Hard, okay, hardware collection. Well, that's, the Tiffany's & Co is, is, is called hardware collection. We, How much is that necklace she's wearing? Oh, about... about I can't remember. Tens of thousands of pounds. Yeah. Wow. It's gold, so tens of thousands. They're diamonds, yeah. But you're a fan of Dua Lipa, as we've been speaking about Dua Lipa. She's got one of these. She wears um, the hardware design. Drawing on design from 1962, the hardware collection is an expression of love's transformative strength. Um, like New York, the city in which it was born, the collection embodies an enduring resilience uh, and an ability to be free. <laughs> intricately engineered to form continuous free-flowing lines this necklace reflects on the shape of utilita utilitarian hardware um, and you can see there's the New York, uh, New York behind the lights I can't remember Hudson, was it Hudson Bridge or something like that Hudson River um, what are Tiffany's and Co hardware link earrings and why are celebs so, so obsessed with them well just look it's absolutely gorgeous isn't it they don't have to pay for them that's why yeah they get given them basically um, yeah, you can see it, it's everywhere at the moment. They're literally writing about it, blogging about it. You see celebrities all wearing it as well. There's that bracelet that we just showed you at nine, uh, 985 pounds. Again, the nine, same 925 sterling silver that you have. Um, a nod to strength spirit of the modern woman, they say in another article. Um, I love this photography though. I think it's absolutely beautiful against the sort of the Tiffany blue. 
It looks like some kind of window of some description, but it's cool, isn't it? Um, there's the wraparound bracelet. If you want that one, it's two and a half grand. Two and a half grand. Um, you want the necklace? 3,925 pounds. Solid 925 sterling silver. It's lovely. I love it. The earrings? I don't understand this. 1,500 quid for the earrings. But look how beautiful they are. I love this look and it's very on trend at the moment. Like I said, it's being blogged about. Let's go, let's skip to the celebrities, shall we? Just because it's always good to look at celebrities. There they are. So, yep, yeah, Beyonce. Queen Bee. Then you've got Lady Gaga. It really suits her, I think. Yeah. Gorgeous. Scarlett Johansson. Margot Robbie. Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz. Uh, she's off House of Cards. Uh, Reese Witherspoon. Oh, that's one of the Kardashians, isn't it? I'm Kendall. Sure which Kendall. One. Jenner. Yeah. Or... Anna from Frozen. Yeah. Oh, Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum. Can't remember. <laughs> Dua Lipa. There she is, just, just to make the gallery happy. So um, we now know how much her earrings are. We now know how much those earrings are. They cost her 1,500 quid, those earrings. Or nothing. She probably got gifted them. This is her. Uh, that was her at Glastonbury. Ah. Her at Glastonbury because she headlined at Glastonbury. And you've also got Olivia Wilde wearing hers as well. Amazing. So it is everywhere. Statement jewellery. It's not a gemstone encrusted. It's all about the silver. Um, Zendaya. Yeah. Yeah. She's bound to wear it. I think she's stunning, Zendaya absolutely stunning yeah she's like literally perfectly yeah her hair is perfect her, her eyebrows look how perfect they are there he is jt oh it is him <clears throat> jt wearing his hardware right then the graphics are live and you're already jumping ahead and shopping on this jewelry makers i do not blame you um yeah oh 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 he was from saltburn what was his name the actor from Saltburn. I can't, I can't, he's a very handsome chap. British actor. Can't remember his name now. Text in if you know. Um, okay. So, jewellery makers. Like we said, we can bring you amazing gemstone deals, but we can also bring you awesome precious metal deals as well. We've got it in the gold. We've also got it in the silver. The graphics are live now for um, the silver version, but uh, look at that. Oh, they, they look, look amazing together, together they? Yeah. yeah. And then add one of your little charms, whatever initial uh, you might have. The graphics are live. There's 200 of these. Should we, do, should we do an unbelievable deal of the day deal? Look how lovely that would be. I mean, yeah. imagine that in... in you know, being photographed against your your robin egg blue background. Imagine that with a bit of few romantic words alongside it. Imagine that with all the huge celebrity endorsement. That's the difference. We don't pay celebrity endorsements. We don't pay for marketing. That's how we work and bring your uh, price points down. It's the same 925 sterling silver as Mark just said. you know they haven't actually most likely haven't bought those pieces and they're probably paid to wear it as well yeah so like, yeah oh that's a, that's a tough job isn't it here have some tiffany jewelry thanks <laughs> we'll even pay you to be photographed yeah. wearing it okay your start price is going to shock you jewelry makers the graphics on your screen are for the sterling silver we've got 200 available it's seven and a half inches but remember you can always being the talented jewelry makers that you are very easy to shorten it um or even just literally move the bolt ringer clasp um, along if you put two together it could be a lovely necklace as well 
we're starting at 49.99 just imagine yourself walking down your high street imagine seeing looking in ernest jones or samuels or whatever jewelers are local to you you're going to find a sterling silver bracelet for 50 pounds of this detail of this grand weight i don't think so and that's nowhere near where we're stopping i love it with the charm i'd definitely yeah. be adding the charm yeah it's lovely aren't they what is that right yeah so mark has just heard the price of the deal today it's awesome isn't it wow. there is 2.6 grams of solid sterling silver this is not a hollow bracelet it's solid which if it was hollow great way of giving you that statement look but it won't last because it would dent and it's irreparable this is a solid sterling silver bracelet 30 second clock and we're going to introduce your deal of the day price tag I don't know about you, but at Christmas for me, I start shopping for Christmas at the beginning of the year. Start August, I want to start wrapping it up. This is one of those Christmas deal prices. Mm. Yeah, sorry, producer Neary has just said, Elle, do you know what I've just realised? I look at this and think, oh, amazing, 200. But actually, 200 is not a lot because most likely people will multi-buy on this. I can see multi-buyers already. Because you think, you'll be thinking, wait a second, I, I probably wouldn't be able to buy one for that price no. elsewhere. How much is it going to be in Pandora? Not, not 29.99. Yeah, and, and, and I guess it depends on the recipient, but 29.99 is a, is a, is a, yeah. is a Christmas price. Would you agree? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I'm just going to go through sort of my circle of friends. My niece would love this. My sister-in-law would love sister-in-laws would love this. My mother-in-laws would love this. Um, you know, my best friends would love mm. this. My husband would love this because there's that investment of sterling silver. We're twenty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Remember the base, the Masoma ones that we were showing you were plated or verme as they call uh, as they said verme but they're base metal and i only discovered that after actually asking the question leslie's got three jane's got two renfusha deborah glamorgan weldon chu uh, elizabeth you've just got three well done catherine diane rachel christine lee susan philippa linda yeah uh, and 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 so i bet i best i you know you sometimes have that little robot that comes up mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. ask me a question or something like that and usually you're trying to close it down aren't you just because like no thanks but i did actually i was like oh, yeah is it plated what or verme what um maybe it wasn't that one but there was one which actually said gold plated yeah what though we yours is solid sterling silver not a base metal mm. um and you're at a much more affordable price tag than theirs were if it Cap was silver they'd shout about it of course they? they would yeah of course they would like this designer has done. Yeah. Large oval link chunky chain 925 sterling silver. You wouldn't miss that out no, no. Um, in your details. The same way Tiffany's and Co do. Obviously, Tiffany's and Co only work with precious metal. Well done to those of you that have already made their confirmations. Massive congratulations oh. to those of you that ha are in the process. However, how about if I told you this little collection here? <laughs> I don't know what the charm's going to just yet. But what if I told you that you could get this collection at an affordable price today? Imagine that. Imagine the two connected together, actually. Mm. Imagine that charm linking was, the two together. I was going to say that earlier. Oh. Yeah, that would keep them together on the wrist as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. How much would that be elsewhere, Mark? Two, three hundred quid. Yeah, I think so too. Least. This. I love those charms. Is coming your way at a lower price tag, jewelry makers. I'm 100% joining you. This is such a perfect Christmas gift. We had some lovely boxes on the other day, Neary, didn't we, on Saturday? This would be lovely in one of those boxes. £24.99. Unbelievable. For a solid 925 sterling silver bracelet, £24.99. Um, 
yeah, elsewhere you're going to be talking, what, here we go, we found one, uh, floating pendant, uh, chain bracelet, what's that, £109, it's base metal, that says mixed metal, there you go, but look at that, absolutely gorgeous on a brass, it's gorgeous, it's statement jewellery, it's all the rage at the moment. Yours is actually solid 925 precious metal and just 24.99. June, Anjum, Catherine, Catherine, Norman, uh, Norma, hello to you. Leslie, well done to you. Renfusha, Jane, uh, Renfusha. I've got over 100 of you uh, with it in your baskets or on the phone lines. I just think it's it's such a simple, elegant design you could wear every day. Yeah, never take it off. Your, never take it off as your everyday piece. I agree. Without a doubt. As you said, for gents as well. Lovely. Neary, before we do, how much is the charm going to? I won't say it out loud. <laughs> well, that's 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 ludicrous. Okay. See this look here. Oh, I don't know what you're going to say. How about if I told you <laughs> that you could wear this look? That's everything. For less than fifty pounds. Where else in the world are you gonna get all that precious metal? You've got to remember there's two point six grams of silver in the each bracelet. Each bracelet. And then you've got the gram weight in the actual charm itself. Can you imagine that look for less than fifty pounds? I'm definitely going to be getting involved on these because how beautiful to give personalised jewellery as well. The charms are coming up. Grab the bracelet whilst you can, jewellery makers. Those of you, um, those of you that have done the maths, you've probably figured it out right now. Those of you that are multi bought already, I reckon you'll probably come back and add some more into your order as well. Um, because think birthdays, think uh, um, Christmas, think about just because gifts gifting luxury jewellery and it not even being £24.99 not today I don't know anywhere that can actually compete with that price tag for precious metal the price of silver has not gone down the price of silver in particular has skyrocketed the only way we're able to bring you prices like this is because obviously we source as a partnership rather than as a channel £19.99 only. We had 200 That is not wow. nearly going to be enough because it's 100 people buying two. Are all the links sealed? They're all they sealed. They're all sealed. All they? soldered. Yeah. yeah. It's solid. It is solid. You've got a nice wow. sizable bolt ring clasp there as well if I turn it around. Hang on. Um, so I literally had no problem whatsoever putting my bracelet on myself. So you've got one of the large statement bolt ring class. Yeah. I just love this look, Mark. It's it absolutely amazing, beautiful. No, I really like that. And again, you, we've got the charms, all letters of the alphabet as well that you can shop ahead on jewellery makers. Make sure you secure your bracelet first though because 200 <coughs> might seem like a massive quantity. It's not going to be enough. Mm. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but it's minimal. Our amazing call centre team will get to you, I promise you of that. Um, hello to you, Rosaline in Belfast. Hello to you, Faye in Lincolnshire. Essex, Maker, Maker, Maria, Marion, Mary. Uh, Tina in Bristol, Linda, Andrew, Pauline, Rachel, Lee, Susan, Philippa. Um, there was 200. That's a difference. See, you know, even some of the biggest designers, even some of the biggest sort of uh, brands names like Misoma, they're not going to sell 200 in a matter of minutes. We're not just different, we're a little bit crazy. We get a great price, you get a great price. There's no rhyme or reason for us to drop this price. But it is going to happen. Okay. Let's do it. To every single one of you that was happy over the moon at $29.99. To every single one of you that was over the moon at $24.99. And to those of us that were overjoyed at $19.99. Today, you get 2.6 grams of precious metal in a statement look, one of the hottest trends of 2024, at £17.99. Seriously, I've been, I did some, I did some, um, yeah, amazing buying power. I did some online shopping the, um, the other day for holiday. And listen, I love costume jewellery. I, I wear, particularly on holiday. 
you know and i went to i always talk about zara jewelry yeah, yeah, i love yeah. zara jewelry and i bought these really big statement colorful earrings they were 30 quid they're not they're base metal and they're basically plastic mm. basically i really like them though because they look like birds of paradise but they're 30 quid this is solid precious metal and we're at 17 pounds and 99 pence only unbelievable unbelievable deal ah oh, this is all neary now flexing his muscles he was like oh we got the best buying power we get a great deal you get a great deal there's no reason to do this neary have you seen the call screens he's he's, he's in your he's in your corner here deal of the day he says and apparently your deal of the day is not 17.99 Hang on now, Neary. What's the gold? The gold one? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it is beautiful. So I'll be able to get this look with significant change yeah. from £50. Pounds. You'll be able to get it home with postage for under fifty pounds and change. Have a coffee on the way. Wow. Unbelievable. That is that not one of the maddest deals on nine two five sterling silver ever? Seriously, we cannot go any lower. That is absolute rock bottom. It's a giveaway, quite frankly. You know, I, I walked past uh, um, Pandora yesterday literally yesterday i had to, i had to take tiggy into town because she's broken her glasses again um i mean she's three it's a learning curve yeah. so i had to take her in to get new glasses fitted again i'm like right there you go yes just bulk out more money yeah, yeah. um and as you walk past pandora i always have a little look and i was like i love their designs at the moment they're beautiful designs but they're expensive they're all three mm. figures do you see as many around and about now? No, I'm not as many. No. It's because they're expensive. Yeah. Pandoras. Pan ladies wearing Pandora bracelets. You don't see as many as you used to. Definitely no. notice. Mm. No. Whereas fourteen ninety nine is much more achievable, isn't it? Cool. It's a much more achievable price tag. And by the way, the Pandora charm bracelets. I'm not even sure they were precious metal. No, I don't think they were. Were they? Not all of them were. No. Um, oh my goodness me. Right, hold up a minute. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, one sec. I'm just going to pop that there. There is literally nothing to see. Because honestly, <coughs> This is one of the best prices I've ever seen on sterling silver. 2.6 grams of precious metal. And can we shop ahead on the other ones? We'd be absolutely crazy not to, wouldn't we? Put it away for Christmas. How about if we said, I have my phone with me in the studio at the moment and that's because my husband's at home. Mm. It's just in case. Mm. But it also means that <laughs> it's within arm reach. I'm not going to miss out on this deal. It's a very nice cover you have on that phone. Thank you. It's very nice. It's a bit tatty now. It's very old. Oh, Thanks. Very nice. We're going lower, Mark. This is absolutely oh, no. ridiculous. This is not deal of the day. This is early bird price. This is uh, not even close out deal. I don't know how else to word that. Sh uh, yeah, it is a basket opener. And it's almost three grams of sterling silver jewellery makers. Yeah, I am distracted. That price, you could buy four and join them together. Yes. Make the most beautiful necklace. Oh, has she? <laughs> How funny. Three making an amazing necklace. Yeah. When you think yeah. about the price, Rachel, it yeah. would actually be um, on That's Tiffany's. Incredible, yes, yes. This is, this is ridiculous. Ooh. That's a bottle of Prosecco, isn't it? Yes. Gosh. Some wine. Some wine. Oh, no, oh, see, literally, with your charms, by the way, you've got a drop-down box for your letters as well. A drop-down box. 
select, right? There's H for my friend Hannah. There's, I'm going to have to go through all yeah, of these. Yeah. How incredible. And that's the look I'm going for. Literally at 12 99 get the two and add one charm. How beautiful. There are multi-buyers left, right and centre. Wow, wow. uh, Durham snapped up four. Catherine's got two. Angela's got four. Tina's got four. Stella's got four, uh, three. Well done. This is when you know that the price is absolutely insane. When people are saying, you know what, like that price I'll have four. I'll have five. I will put these in the present drawer because who's not gonna love them? You think about, here we go, think about your circle. They went, would, you, would your lovely wife love this, Neary? Yeah, yeah, it's right up her street. Yeah? She likes things that look designer without the designer, is she savvy with her money, is she? She switched on with money. There you go, this will be perfect then. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence only for all that precious metal. Uh, Fife has got four. Elaine's got two. Essex has got two. So many multi buyers getting involved. Absolutely unbelievable jewelry makers. We had two hundred. There's a little bit of a queue. Let's do the gold is coming up. I've just shopped ahead on mine as well. So make sure you're secure in yours. Also, you would you like me to hold up to the neckline? Sure, in the silver or the gold? Should I do both? I'll do both. Why not? Why not? It's easy enough. I can do that. Hi, June. Yeah. Promise not to buy today, but could not resist. These are a steal. Love it. Christmas has begun. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. That would make an amazing necklace. Oh, be a gorgeous necklace. Yeah. Wow. Would you mix the colours? Yeah. I love it, June. You're, yeah. You're my kind of girl. Definitely, definitely shopping for Christmas now. Put it in one of your nice boxes that we bring to you. You know the ones we had the other day with abalone. How nice would that be in one of those abalone boxes? Um, the call screen's gone wild way. Um, up and down uh, the UK, all around the world getting involved as well. Out of the hundred of the gold that we have, how many of us? Oh, is there not two hundred? I'm gonna go forty-five. Forty-five. Mm. I'm gonna say seventy. Mm. Oh, you were you were pretty close. Half the stock's Already gone. It's beautiful. Here's the gold. You're a gold person, aren't you? Yeah, I always gravitate towards the gold. And also, how many? 60 of the charms have gone. But that's quite tricky to give a number because it is letter mm. specific, yeah. Certain letters always go quicker than, than others. So, so yeah, definitely encourage shopping ahead. It's a drop down box. If you click buy it now, it's a drop down box for you to get, uh, choose your letter of the alphabet. Here's for the gold. Um, already the phone lines have absolutely lit up. Well done to those of you trusting the process, knowing that we're gonna deliver the best possible deal. You know what, what we're gonna do, make it fair for everybody. We're just gonna do a 30 second clock and go straight down. Um, you know it's gonna sell out. We've got less, half the stock of the yellow gold. I don't know why we're still doing that. Once upon a time we used to, yellow gold was never as popular, mm. but it is now. It is, it's kind of like pretty, an even keel, mm. I would but say. But maybe it costs, costs us more as well, doesn't it? True. Mm. Oh gosh, yes, mm. I remember a conversation. That yeah. Car remember when Caroline was buying oh, yeah. for us, lovely Caroline, mm. um, who still is part of uh, Gemporia. Um, anyway, but she was saying, it's, you, can't, you can't do gold plated and rose gold plated the same price as silver. No. It is precious metal on precious oh, metal. Right. So yes. it should yeah. not be the same price. You know, you go to somewhere like Alex Munro, you pay, a lot more for the gold plated version we've matched the price honestly have a look oh gosh honey did you went 12.99 on silver St seriously wow. so, but two quid difference seriously you go to alex monroe it's like like 20 pounds 30 pounds extra you can get both of these bracelets over five grams of precious metal 
for 30 quid. That's amazing. Wow. Over five grams. 30 quid. Unbelievable. Absol Mix your metals, yeah, the, the charm looks absolutely lovely on the gold. I would actually prefer that. What was that? Michael, say what? You're thinking out loud? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, beautiful. I'd clip the silver charm onto the yellow gold colour bracelet, personally. I'd just, like, just create that lovely contrast. Do shop ahead on your charms. The phone lines have gone crazy. Well done. Tina's got four. Renfusha's got three. Andrew's got four. June's got two. Paula's got two. Sally, Catherine, Mary, Cheryl. Hello to you. Susan, Carol, Susan, Liz. Hello to you. Somerset. Uh, June, Judith, Angela, Lorraine. Uh, Durham. Well done to you. Sally in mm. Sussex. Hello to you. Carol, Lynn, June, Jane, Joanne, Hazel. I can't keep up. Rosaline and Gillian. Um, we had a hundred of these available, but they're absolutely flying out the door jewelry makers um yeah i mean if not for you then make mm. sure you're putting away on the present drawer because they make perfect gifts you could and wrap you could wrap these around your dinner napkins twice and then they slide off the bracelet and you gift it to them that'd be a bit posh that's a very posh <laughs> present yeah i mean mm. it, that beats those little tiddly winks yeah, doesn't it yeah. or a tape or a, or a tape measure mm. I want to get, the, I definitely want to join you on this opportunity. Wow. We do. I was just shopping ahead and we have a lot of new, um, a lot of the letters. Sometimes we don't do them all because there are some letters which aren't very popular and we kind of get stuck with them. However, I think we've got most of the alphabet. I haven't had time to check fully. Wow. But definitely do shop ahead. This is, you've not just had one, you've had two dealer days. This is another deal of the day one that we could have literally done standalone and it'd be absolutely huge it's up next how gorgeous is that i think it's absolutely beautiful i love the script the font as well it's just classic font as well it's beautiful isn't mm, it yep yeah. Can I turn it side profile? Because you'll notice as well. Oh, it's a, um, it's a hidden pushy. It, yeah, it's a, it's a carabiner. Yeah. So can you see there's a very discreet link there? You basically, I'll show you if I can. Hang on. I might get an A and an M for our car keys because we're always taking our wrong keys. Are you? Yeah. Can you see? Oh, no. There's your carabiner oh, yeah. link. You literally Perfect. push it in. And it's a very discreet fastening, very secure fastening. Now, I want to show you, if you say buy it now, if you click buy it now, there's a drop down box. So it's really simple, only because I know there's, there we go. Oh, there we go. So you... Add to basket, drop down box, choose your letter. Yeah? We are not stopping at twenty nine ninety nine. I need a tea. <laughs> tea for Tiggy. I need a W for Willow. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, there's no W. No W. Oh, sorry, Willow. You're missing out on that one. It might have already yeah, sold out. Are these yeah. already flying? Yeah. I need a G for my best friend. Thirty seconds. I need a J. For Julie. Launch clock on your screens, jewelry makers. <laughs> I think these are going to absolutely fly. They're beautiful. They really are, aren't they? 
Apps. And the price we're going to, you'd pay that for the for the for the carabiner, wouldn't you? Yeah, all day long, yeah. all day long. So letters are selling out. I'm literally looking at it right now. Ah, oh, no, H has sold out. No, oh, there we go. You need to check out really quick because one of mine's just sold out right before me, jewelry makers. So you need to be checking out your baskets. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I wonder if we can get a P. Is there a P? Is there a P? Yes. yes. There is a P. P for Poppy. There you go. See, doing we're shopping together. But look, it's lovely. You've got the you've got all the meanings of 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 personalization here as well. Um, wow. And there's solid 925 sterling silver. Ask yourself this question. How much is a charm like this? A letter charm, which I'm going to guess you can get in, in Pandora. 40, 50 quid. Yeah. Like that. I think so. Mm. You know what these are going to, Mark. Mm. Is it anywhere near that? <laughs> no. Nowhere no. near that price tag. No way near. So just to go down the list, I've got three I. Only six O's. Gosh, there's single figures on a lot of the letters now. H has sold out. There's one F. One F. So if you're looking for F, you need to check that out. Oh, goodness me. I've got quite a few. Well, I say quite a few. I've got A is the one I've got the most of. Scroll, you literally just scroll down and it's a carabiner class, you literally link it on. How beautiful is this deal of the day? It all works Incredible. together. Yeah. I like the charms. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Again, again for your car keys. You know, little Willow yeah. getting a tea for Tom for his car keys oh. for a little Christmas present or a birthday present. I'm just going to put this one it? out there. How about if you actually spelt out words? Mm. That's a nice idea. You know, you could yeah. literally put wine glass charms and personalise your wine glasses oh, at Christmas. Lovely. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. You could put. You could yeah. write love, couldn't you? I don't know if we've got all the letters. I those little so. um, bookmarks that Alison Tarry had with the yes. curved tops. You pop one of those on the bottom. That's nice. Yeah. How gorgeous wow. are these? So many multi buyers getting involved. We've been looking at prices for, for, for like charms elsewhere. Yeah, Lily Rue, £45. And I prefer oh, the font yeah. of yours. I do as well. I much yeah. prefer the font. Yeah, £45 for that charm. Do you know Gemporia actually had these? Very similar anyway. I don't know what price they were, but they, I don't think they're anywhere near the price that I've heard in my ear. Um, G is sold out, by the way. G is sold out. H is sold out. F is sold out. Um... Twenty-five pounds there from Stacy Stories. Eight millimeter will be no. The eight millimeter will be the letter. Yeah. I reckon. That looks about fifteen, sixteen mil, doesn't Should it? Something like that. Yeah. So if I hold that alongside it, you get an idea of scale. Oh, more than that. Gosh, it's over two centi oh, two centimeters. Yeah. So the eight mil is the actual letter itself. Then it's yeah, two point one. Wow, that's 2. good. 1. Yeah. So they're not small, are they? So Stacy Stories, £25 for one of the um, charms. How about £19.99? That means that's unbelievable. I've got one I. <laughs> <laughs> Just one letter I uh, remaining now, jewellery makers. Oh. Most of these are on single figure um, quantities. Most of your letters of the alphabet now. Forty-five pounds. Durham's got six. How many of us are doing this? Oh, I've forgotten that person. Oh, hang on, I need to get one for that person. Twelve pounds oh. and ninety-nine pence. Uh, just for kicks. Just for kicks. Can you have a look on Pandora, see how much theirs are? Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a Pandora letters, initial yeah. pendant or charm, whatever it might be. Um, I, I mean, we know it's not going to be £12.99, don't we? Susan says, I five. 
Debbie's got three, London's got four, uh, Rosaline's got four, Kate's got three, Lynn's got four, well done, so many multi buyers. Deborah's got five, Elizabeth's got four, thought so. Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm not very keen on it, but we'll no. show it anyway. Is it sterling or? Well, this is the thing, I never really know with Pandora. Never really know, but you can get theirs. It's more of a slider, which means yeah. that cord, that that bracelet's going to show through, isn't it as well? But at thirty pounds, it is silver. There we go. It is silver, so we can confirm. Sterling silver, letter um, A, charm, thirty, 30 pounds. pounds from them. We're at twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. I still prefer this one. Yeah. I still prefer this one. Um, okay, so update. There's one letter I. I've got three V's. <laughs> I think... You can get this entire look for forty-one pounds. No. Hang on, I thought I checked out. Have I not checked out? Yeah, I have. <laughs> no, I have. I can see I've checked out. So my phone's having a funny five minutes. Um, seriously. Okay, how about if I said jewelry makers? You can get. The charm, the two bracelets. These are the nicest letter charms I've seen. The font is fabulous. Yeah. I agree. It's yeah, a lovely I font, isn't it? I completely agree. Yeah. Is the letter on an. Uh, no. It's all soldered. Mm. It's all soldered, all in one. So, can you see the actual jump ring is part of the font? Can you see that? And then if I turn the carabiner around. Oh, sorry. Can you see that's soldered too? That is beautiful. How about if I told you you can get this entire look, the two bracelets and the charm. One charm, assuming you just get the one. How about if I said under 40 pounds? For all of that amazing sterling silver jewellery makers. I'm drawing, I've just thought of another person. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome is this? How awesome is that? And Michael's like, you can tell, you can tell. <laughs> you are literally sat there buying this. Yeah, Michael, by the way, I do that a lot. A lot. He's, I'm normally a bit more discreet. Yeah, I'm not... Mm. <laughs> literally shopping with you um anjum's got 12 wow. well done to you that's unbelievable 10 pounds and and i, I don't know if you've even mentioned because i've been heavily distracted by shopping um it is 925 precious metal as well there's 170 of you with it in your basket they are selling out letters are selling out um, I'll go down the numbers, okay? So if I say the alphabet, then the quantity that we have remaining, okay? So um, R, 4, L, 7, A, 23, I, 1, O, 4, D, 5, J, 1, P, 7, G, sold out, M, 9, B, 8, V, 2, H, none, E, 16, S, 7, K, 12, N3, T26, F, none, C, six. <laughs> I've just suddenly called Michael's battleships. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So <laughs> they are going to sell out. That's my point. Don't leave it in your baskets and you're definitely going to miss out on letters I have already. J is gone. G is gone. Oh, <laughs> they're all going to sell out. And I think, think, quickly write down the people in your circle that, you know, you want to buy a nice little gift for. A, you're all right right now. 
A, you're all right, so you can get Andrew one. Yeah. Um, and M, Mark, you're M, all right. M, well, that's good. Yeah. A, yeah, for Angela. Yeah, got A. Um, K, is there a K? Is there K? Is, yes, yeah. yes, 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 you're all right R? so far. Is there an R? Yes, yes, yes just about um, R. H? No, H no, is No, H is sold out, sorry. D. Oh, still a D. There's oh, still a yeah. D. So you're all right with a few. Yeah. I have still got one. J, I've got one now. Yeah. G's gone. M's gone. H is gone. F is gone. Yeah, so these will wow. be an on-screen seller, I think, today. Without doubt. Without doubt. At, at 10 pounds only. Unbelievable. Absolutely right, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And again, look how beautiful that design is. Um, ignore the little highlighted reds. They're all pretty much red now, aren't they? Apart from maybe I and T. Sorry, A and T. A and T. That's probably the only ones that aren't aren't limited now. Wow. Unbelievable. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out. 126 of you are still with it in your basket, so I'll leave that with you. Congratulations. Do not go anywhere because we have got one of the most beautiful strands. Mm -hmm. If you love all things jade, we've got one of the most beautiful strands, varieties of jade to bring you. We've got carvings to bring you. We've got um, the color wheel strand to bring you. And we've got the most amazing masterclass, Mark, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Still so oh, much to bring it. you. Um, we'll see you in a couple of minutes, jewelry makers. Make sure you check out just after this. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here. It looks like I'm on safari, doesn't it? I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Wednesday, the 14th of August, where I'm going to be joining lovely Eleanor, Tom and the team. It's a bit of a Mark Smith theme day. In the nine o'clock hour, I've been given the most incredible chip and nugget strands to work with. We've got Botswana, amber, incredible opal strands. So I'm really looking forward to making some pieces with this. And then, as I mentioned, it's a bit of a Mark Smith day. At 12 o'clock, Shell Pearl four millimeter and six millimeter bundles. In the demonstration on the show, I'm going to be showing you how to make this incredible Alhambra inspired necklace. But also we've got these incredible four millimeter gray and green seed beads. We've got the most incredible spiral necklace. And this is going to be the tutorial that you'll pick up when you purchase any of the bundles in that hour. And then this incredible flat spiral bracelet. So that's all coming up this Wednesday, 14th of August. Join myself, Eleanor, from 8 o'clock. Hope you can join us. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, Yvonne here. Just popping in to tell you that I'll be back in the studio uh, on Thursday the 15th of August with Carol, Tom and the team uh, and I'm bringing some beautiful pearls at nine o'clock. Um, I've had the luxury of um, using these. Look at the beautiful case before we even get in there. Look at these metallic multicolored pearls. How delightful are those? absolutely gorgeous so we then in the 12 o'clock hour have um, a shot plate I've had the time of my life with this um, it's got four little uh, symbols on it and they're all very generic so they this one will suit everyone it has um, two different stars on it a heart and a smiley little sun and I've put them all on one necklace there. I have made other pieces of jewellery but I'll show you those on Thursday. Hope you can join us. See you then. Bye. Our UK based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi everyone, I'm back on Friday the 16th of August and I have this amazing strand of faceted jadeite and I'm really excited to share it with you. I also have these amazing sterling silver panther heads. 
I'm really excited to be back and I can't wait to see you then. Bye. <laughs> oh bless you what was it that you're eating the uh, chewiest chewy bar the chewiest ever. protein bar protein ever bar. Oh. oh i'm so sorry i literally thought i was like yeah i could chew it in that time no i can't <laughs> <laughs> do you remember wham bars oh yeah i once for a day was told to put one in my mouth in one go and that took about an hour to chew that I bet one it away did. yeah the whole to thing. my tom um Pulled a tooth out. Literally extracted a tooth with a wham bar. No. That wasn't... The whole tooth The whole out. tooth. Gosh. And there was nothing wrong with it, to his knowledge. He was like, literally, I was bite yanked a tooth Oh, my out. word. Gosh. But they were elite sweets, yeah, weren't amazing. they? Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you still get them or not. Yeah. You can, can you? Yeah, if you like uh, sort of oh. your retro places. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Unbelievable. Sorry about that, jewellery makers. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting a bit <laughs> hungry, so I'll eat, my pro eat a protein bar because that fills you right mm, up. But they yeah. are, I didn't realise that was as chewy as it is. You used to bring in bananas. Oh, you have a banana. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, yeah. I know you too well. There you go. Always have a banana yeah. a day. Right then. This next opportunity, um, I just want to update everyone from the how many hundreds of charms did we have? 370. You're wow. in double figure quantities Amazing. left. And you know, I added, wanted to add a quantity to it. I forgot to click combine order. So I've just missed out on oh, one. Oh no. Yeah. An important one. <sighs> yes, oh no. Mm. <laughs> it was it was well everybody's important aren't they but it mm. was somebody else that oh mm. actually they'd be they'd be a nice present for it's uh, a neighbor right. for a neighbor mm. so i suppose i could go bottle of wine yeah. <laughs> right then anyway but they're getting very 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 limited literally singles left wow. of those charms i've got one m one j hey i just got told there's no j that was the letter i needed does it pop back again Ooh. Keep refreshing. I just got the, I just got the email saying sorry. Look, see, <laughs> literally, that's what I just got. Oh no! Oh. So where is it on the list? Then I can't see it. Oh yeah, there it is. Right, let me try and get that one. I need to get that one, and that'll be sorted then. Um, check out. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah, and I, we, we kind of knew those charms yeah. would go. And I agree, the font mm. on it is actually absolutely beautiful. So let's see that J, J go. J naught. Did you get it? Oh, well done. <laughs> Sorry, right, anyway. Right then. <laughs> So we can bring you the most amazing charms. It's just everything. Mm. We bring you a variety of everything. Let's think about your deal of the day as you've had elastic, then you had that genius finding. We just brought you beautiful sterling silver and lovely charm bracelets. Now we're going to step into something that really is our comfort zone. I think here a Jewelry Maker and ultimately the Gemporia Partnership is fine quality gemstones. Um, now, over the past three, four years, I would say, obviously we've um, definitely learned a lot um, in the world of jade, which is something really that the West, not many of us really did understand. Mm. Um, but over, over the past few years, our knowledge um, has dramatically expanded. And that's because the journey started basically with the pandemic. Um, certain connections of ours weren't able to do the Hong Kong gem fair. 
Um, they didn't cancel it outright. They literally just kept postponing it on a daily basis. So that meant they had these big, huge shipments literally sat at Hong Kong Harbour and it was costing them an absolute yeah. fortune. So it was Bernard initially that re reached out to us because he knows that Gempori will buy big quantity and said, I've, this is my situation. Are you interested in my, in my jade? And he, um, that was the rest is history. So, yeah. but with that, with that conversation, um, obviously our relationships have, have been solidified all the more, I think, as well. Um, and we've obviously now started bringing you things like Kotan Jade. We can bring you different varieties mm. of Nephrite. Um, this strand, honestly, they're all hugely monumental achievements. But if you're talking the world of Jade, here in the West, there really is only one place that, or I would say probably the leader, um, historically as a jade supplier and that would have been Mason and Kay. Now we are great friends yeah. with Mason and Kay. We've got fantastic relations with them. We always chat to them when we go to the gem fairs as well. So Mason and Kay, uh, Mason and Kay, sorry, did this color wheel chart, which some years ago, but I think it was about two years ago. I, I, I remember the conversation, hearing the conversation. Um, the powers that be upstairs were like, wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be cool if we could do a whole strand with all those colors? Um, and yeah, that seed was sown. It took, I think it was 18 months to make it possible. 18 Gosh. months. And we didn't realize at the time that actually a jewel is called Gumps. If you research G-U-M-P, Gumps, which are, they, they've got a jewelry brand in San Francisco. They had done it. We didn't know this, but they had a necklace, which was all the multiple colors oh, of yes. your jade. Yes. Now, ironically, again, we launched ours. We were like mentioning gumps mm. and we actually had a message come across because we've got audience that is in America, Australia, all around the world. And um, a customer messenger said, oh, I used to work for gumps. I used to work for them. And I can tell you that your jade is as good a quality as gumps themselves wow the big difference is the price now if you want to buy a natural multicolored jade necklace wow from gumps you can still do it now but it have the same colors like i'm about to show you it'll cost you a cool 2765 pounds that's on a simple gold trigger class. Can you see? Gosh. And um, when it says link, I don't know if that's rosary linked. Can't quite tell. But you've got black, red, green, yellow, white. Black, red, green, yellow, white. <laughs> How about we give you the option, jewelry makers, to recreate that design? Now this is your quartzite jade. I'll quickly, I it's, it's lovely, this. isn't it? Yeah, love this stone. This is the translucency that you get with quartzite jade. Mm. So you have three different varieties of jade now, jewelry makers. Jade is like their surname. You've got nephrite as the oldest, then you've got jadeite. And since 2011, I believe it was, um, the GIA, um, the East are all writing about quartzite jade, which is sold as jade. It's not us labeling it as that because we've obviously come under sort of a line of fire for calling it jade. It's not us. This is literally from the East themselves and the GIA furthermore. So this is certified, genuine. We are, Only we call it quartzite jade, just to obviously to say the gemological actual composition of this gemstone. Now, if you want to create that Gumps inspired piece of jewelry um, and this whole design didn't come from Gumps, it actually came from the Mason and Kay color wheel. So I, I apologize for digressing there, Neary New. Um, but we'll go back to that in one second. 2,765 pounds, 30 seconds and we're gonna launch the graphics. Neary, how many do we have? 100, wow, that's amazing. That's one of the best quantity auctions I've seen on the color wheel. 
But here it is. So Mason and Kay, the colours of jade. You can see the greens. You can see very rare blues. You can see the whites. You can see the reds. You can see the lavenders. Um, yeah, and they kind of kind of blend into one. The graphics are about to appear. I'm going to make a promise to you all, lovely jewellery makers. One of the most affordable prices. It's ridiculous. Isn't it? It's ridiculous. For yeah. a variety of jade. Let's skip forward. I want to read because this is actually Neary's PowerPoint. So it's give you know, credit where it's due. So Jeff Mason himself says appraising jade, how we go about it. Appraising jade is an art as much um, as it is a science. Many attributes must be considered and combined um, to ascertain the value. First color, color includes hues, tones and intensities. Regardless of the jade color being assessed, um, the correct or most desirable hue and tone with strong intense results are the highest value, um, all else being equal. Well, let's just have a little look at that again. You can see, yeah, tick, 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 hue, tone, intensity, intense greens, pure whites, intense blacks, vibrant reds, Amazing, and they? they are all natural. Second, he says, is translucency. That's one of the attributes that I think Quartzite Jade really uh, has leaps and bounds of. Translucency is a level to which one is able to see through it. Uh, jadeite can be anywhere from quite opaque to semi-transparent. Very simple, the more trans translucent a piece is the higher the value. Um, it exhibits a glow when cut properly. Yes, you can absolutely, absolutely see that. Moving on. Third is texture and evenness. Again, this is something I think the variety of jade really benefits. This includes soundness, lack of fracturing. You shouldn't be able to see fissure lines or fault lines within the actual jade. Surface texture as well as distrib distribution of color and translucency. The best jade pieces have no fracturing at all. However, fracturing is common in this gemstone. Um, okay. Fourth cut, symmetry, proportion, size and shape. As with any gemstone, symmetry and proportion are important, um, even though it is not a faceted stone. Yeah, you don't want to have a misshapen round, do you? You want it to have that wonderful symmetry. Look at the quality of these jades, and they are totally natural. What's exciting is ever since Mr. Mason actually wrote about the colors of jade, and the reality is he mentioned jadeite there. That's, all of the above applies, whether it's nephrite, whether it's jadeite, or whether it's quartzite jade. Colour, translucency, symmetry. Now, this is the first time I've ever actually seen this strand. Mark, is it the first time you've mm. seen this strand? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's just incredible. What I love about this particular strand is it's got that tiny little section of green. Yeah. That we see all the time. But it's the fact we've got all those other colours. And I'm not a pink person, but the, the, the two pink above the section of red there, that, yeah. that's my favourite little section on that strand. So it's beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Would you yeah. do the Gumps design? I would, exactly the same. So I'd, I'd put them into their colour sections, and then I'd take one from one pile, one yeah. from the next, one from the next, and Me then too. just repeat. I'm trying to work out. You know when maths are so simple that you can't figure it out in mm. your head? Mm. But Neary, is that like... I know what this is going to. Yes, so I'm you're right. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. A hundred. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ridiculous. This might well be. Ridiculous. In fact, in fact, I'm I'm confident in saying this. I wish we. I wish you could say that. What you're thinking? Out loud. I think you should. Well, we can't yet. No, Can I, Neary? What are you taking it to? See, it is. No, it's not, yeah. Neary. So that price you could buy of those. <laughs> if I do that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here it is. We're just going to, we've got a hundred of these. Jade collectors out there, hands up. I think we'd be foolish not to at these. Make hay while the sun shines. Make hay while the sun shines. We are currently with Quartzite Jade's infancy. We're fortunate because we have that friendship with Bernard. And he's saying, look, 2011, the, the, the Jade world, the GIA, the East ultimately is saying, it's not just Nephrite and Jadeite anymore. Now you've got this new variety um, of Quartzite Jade that is 
again we don't they don't refer to it as quartzite anything they literally refer to it as jade literally as jade we are in its infancy though and you benefit from the finest translucency the finest color um it is rare and also right now you are guaranteed to get one of the lowest prices of i think i've ever brought to you it's a long old strand as well it isn't is it? Four, yeah. oh yeah 48 yeah, centimeters nearly half a meter. oh i wish you could i wish you could say um, it. You you're at 10 percent right now nearly 30 seconds and then i'm going to announce that did that number okay go on then right i think i think mm. we need to see you on those call screens everybody everybody that considers themselves a jade collector Everybody mm. that thinks I'd be daft not to get involved on jade auctions here at Jewelry Maker because I know there's nowhere outside of these four worlds that can actually match the price point for the quality. Everybody that considers themselves a jade collector or an aspiring jade collection, collector. Oh, I'm not saying you have to have 100 pieces or even 20 pieces or even 10 pieces. If you are an aspiring jade collector, I want to see your name on the call screens because we're at 99.99. And we're still an absolute country mile away. Miles away. I can't quite understand this. I, I generally don't no. think even on no. the launch we did we did quartzite no. jade for the price Never. that you're going to see today. Never. Is this brand new, Neary? Dave. Dave brought this to air for that price. I'm just going to say it. One percent actually lower than one percent but there's not enough people there see that gumps necklace for 2765 pounds less than one percent of the price you can buy all of our stock and still have change still have change <laughs> still have change <laughs> seriously oh my word just because we need, we're giving you time now, jewelry makers. That's the only reason that we are literally working our way down slowly is to give you extra time. You don't need split pay. No, no. You do not need split pay, jewelry makers, because we are dropping that price and we are not stopping there. Genuinely, hand on heart, this is the best price mm, natural quartzite ever. jade deal I have seen and will ever see. Do you agree? Completely, completely and utterly. Yeah, yeah. What was Dave thinking? Mm. Not to question his authority, but what was he thinking? He just got off a flight, do you reckon? Seriously? Is there enough people there? No, we need to see more of you there, jewelry makers. If you're good at maths, you figured this out. You get ch less than one percent of the gumps price. That's what this is going to. That means mm. it's going lower than twenty-seven pounds and sixty-five pence. <laughs> yeah. Course. You know, when maths is so simple, it's almost like, oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. You don't want to say it out loud. That decimal point can get you into a lot of trouble. Yes. Mm. Less than one wow. percent. If, uh, but I've got a hundred. Need to see more of you there. Need to see more of you that are there and then we will drop the price. If you consider yourself a jade collector, there has never been a better opportunity than with this strand, quite frankly. No. Because jade is not an inexpensive gemstone. Jade is one of the world's rarest, without shadow of a doubt. One of the world's most collectible, without shadow of a doubt. We in the West are only recently actually sort of learning about it with the likes of Aspreys. Um, of course, Prior to that, you have to go to places like your Christie's, your Sotheby's, your Bonhams, or Gump's Jewelers, um, where, by the way, I've seen those necklaces for £10,000 on first dibs. Uh, though that, you know, that multicoloured jade necklace for £10,000. I don't know. It's down to sort of the rarity of the gemstone, I guess, you know, whether they're available, whether they're not available. Um, we had a hundred. Half the stock's gone. Okay, minute clock, and then we're going to bring that ridiculous price point in. Do you have uh, a favourite section? Mm, the reds. The reds. Mm. This is stunning. I'm loving. the gents as well. This yeah, strand. and those yeah. dusky colours I like too as well. Yeah. 
Those beautiful dusky greys. We're back to the Botswana again, aren't we? It's got the Botswana agate tones all the way through there. Oh my yeah. goodness me. We had a hundred. It's wow. natural. Oh, and the yellows. I love yeah. the yellows too. Yeah. The yellows is always my favourite in your jades. Absolutely beautiful. Again, be inspired by Gumps, one of the most iconic jade jewellers in the world. Um, and sa save yourself the £2,765. And instead, um, we're going to take it even lower than £49.99. If you are an aspiring jade collector, or even if you're one of the most um, established jade, uh, jade collectors, you won't want to miss out on this deal. All those beautiful colours. And again, reference. I haven't got the time to do it now. Have a look on the GIA. G put GIA Quartzite Jade and it will literally come up. You don't have to be a member of that to research it. Um, <laughs> GIA is the Gemological Institute of America, the largest institution in the world. And even they, that's who I did my training with, even they um, talk about and educate about the fact that this is a variety of jade. £24.99 pence only. I asked the question earlier on, what was Dave thinking? Um, he really might good. have just got off a flight. And they said, oh, uh, he's, well, he right. had 300, which is crazy. People will miss out because it's all, I, I don't, I think you were doubting us. I can't believe the length of the strand. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah, it's nearly it's half really a good meter. Point. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? It's almost 20 yeah. inches. Yeah. <sighs> Should we hold it up to the Ridiculous. neckline? And I would mix it up yeah. like Gumps did. Yeah, I would as well. So it's like black, red, green, yellow, white, black, Red, yeah. green, yellow, white. Yeah, you could do all of that. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. And you're only seeing some of it. You can't see it all. Shall I drop it down a minute? Hang on. No, just the top. Sorry, the top. There. Mm, yeah. I think you could make that Gump's necklace twice. Oh my oh, goodness dear. me. Gosh. It's, yeah, it's probably, it's much longer. Neary's wow. just counting the beads on the Gump's necklace right now and then we'll count ours. They've got 49. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Well, that's 31 times. You've got about 60 on this. So you can make it with earrings and a bracelet, definitely. You can make a full suite for twenty four yeah. ninety nine. Get a couple and you could do a whole marla, couldn't you? Oh. A quartzite marla. An eight mil is perfect size for your marlas. That look amazing. Yeah, you, you, Michael's oh, saying you could go, yes. you could literally just colour section them, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. You could have like the Absolutely. green, uh, yeah. oh, these are green yeah. quartzite jade, red quartzite jade, yeah. white, pure, white quartzite jade, yellows. Hello, Sally. I can't get over <laughs> these prices um i love your gems thanks <laughs> you're very welcome sally i know i can't get over it either that is absolutely unbelievable hello pauline i bought three of these when dave was on they've just arrived ah. beautiful i've ordered another <laughs> i don't blame you pauline we'd be foolish no. not to wouldn't we yeah but because you know what pauline and this i can't read into the future i don't obviously i haven't got a crystal ball or anything like that but here we are sat in with quartzite jade in its infancy imagine now when we sue because we are a li the gem world is quite uh um, stoic mm. so we don't we're resistant to change as well we're adverse to change like no no it's nephrite and it's jadeite and i get it that's what we've known for hundreds of years and i can imagine as well that when jadeite came along 800 years ago and it was like no no it's just nephrite but now yeah, we know yeah, yeah. that it's those two fast forward a decade say when everybody knows and is completely comfortable with the fact that quartzite jade is a jade do you think we're going to be seeing mm, it at 24.99 no, no that's amazing we're not we're really really not and, and the fact that we've and, and Dave, I think, needs his bumps looking at right now because twenty four ninety nine is not a usual price by even his standards. No, no. 
Unbelievable. Um, Elizabeth, Andrew, Jane, Jean, wow. Denise, Elaine, <laughs> Susan, Marie, Gary, Essex, Angela, Mary, Janine, Marion. Tracy's got four. Margaret, well, there's a lot of multi buyers, by the way. Nicola, Carol, Suffolk, Lynn, Deborah, Mary, and Jerry, Nikki, Allison, Jennifer, Gloucester, Suzanne. I can't keep up with you. Um, in fact, should we show the call screen? Because there are tons and tons of you there. Margot, you can do it. Justin in West Yorkshire, you will be answered, my lovely. Jennifer, um, hiya, June. That's it. Order two. Fabulous, she says. <laughs> I love it, I'll June. be ordering two as well. I can just see that Marla. I just think it looked beautiful. Ooh. So let's have a little look. Are they, ro they are rosary linked. Certainly look it anyway. I think... <laughs> If I was you, if I was rosary linking this, I would use antique bronze. Mm. That's pretty much what they've got. Have they? It's like a rose gold colour. Yeah, that's rosary linked. Yeah, really they've simple. rosary linked yeah. it on a, on with gold with a gold. Yeah, wire. two hours that would take you to do neatly. A couple of hours. I mean, we don't. Yeah. I mean, you've demoed this before. That rosary linked with a gold clasp. A gold clasp you could probably purchase for something like that, 30 quid, yeah, maybe, yeah. most. You've just made that break, that necklace. I don't know how much gold wire would be, I suppose, but let's just count the, the clasp and the strand. Yeah. You could make it for 50 pounds. Does it say what size their beads are on there? Uh, yeah. Let's have a little look. I couldn't see. Seven, seven mil so, so yours are bigger, bigger. <laughs> yours are actually bigger you could oh. you could commission your own version yeah i don't know how much the gold wire is but you could make your own version if we but that, that wouldn't be gold wire though would it i wouldn't have thought i don't know that's probably just the class not the wire you think I it's just imagine. the class yeah. i don't know i'm not sure i'm not entirely mm. sure but you could make a version for a fraction of the cost though, yeah. couldn't you? And it's yeah. still that rare, beautiful gem. Um, Angela's got four. Well done, that's it. Ordered two. Um, well these done. are on the verge of selling out though, jewelry makers, so please do not leave it. If you see your name on the call screens right now, this side, congratulations. As you can see, you are on your fourth row of names. You disappear appear off the bottom of the call screens as well. Spectacular. What's that? Quite weighty, yeah. These are the FIFO reviews from this very strand. Um, if you see your name on this side of the call screen, jewellery makers, you need to be checking out your baskets because we have literally a handful of these left now. Make of you want those six. Um, Tina, Maker, Maker, West Yorkshire, Victoria, Surrey, Merseyside, North Hampshire, Lisa, Caroline, uh, County Down, Joanne, Janice, uh, you disappear, Michelle, um, uh, Kathy in Derbyshire as well. If I've shouted out your name, check out as soon as you possibly can because I've got 12 left. Gail's just got two, Renfusha's just got two, West Sussex has just got two, Andrew's just got four, Justin's got two, Margot's got two. You get the idea. Maker in Durham, I'll have six at that price. Wow. Amazing. I'm knotting oh. mine in a deep peach oh, silk. Perfect. Ooh. You could always take out the green section and, and make earrings or something, couldn't you? And just have those yeah. sort of tumble tones. I like tones. the greens, though. Yeah. I think That's it brightens amazing. it. So I've always said we don't make enough of our FIFO reviews. No. Nope. Because you hear so much about review sites and yep. um, what, what's the trust, trust pilot, pilot and things like that. Yep. And I've always said that we should we should relaunch FIFO on the show at some point and then once a month choose somebody at random yep. to win a money prize. to their price or money to their accounts. I think I think they're really important. When I you're always look at reviews. Like this. I do as well really do yeah. always always yeah. more so now than ever um ever since i've had the absolute drama with our mm, bifold doors yeah, yeah um yeah. but yeah always look at fifa reviews absolutely um and it's you know they're they're honest 
they're honest reviews, aren't they? Mm. They're not from yeah. us. They're literally from customers who are looking at, looking at the product as they, you know, yeah. um, as they write. So amazing. Well done, everybody. Wow. Again, I've got two left from the oh, hundred no. that we had straight down. I don't want to leave two, no. especially when I've got so many of you with it in your basket. T Tina, Yorkshire, Victoria, Surrey, Merseyside, Northampton, Lisa, Durham. Hello to you, Pauline. I'm going to knit. Oh. Uh, knitting red for a make with one of the dragon heads as a guru and a red tassel. Perfect. Ooh. Oh yeah, we had those on Sunday. We had dragon heads. Yes. Little gemstone dragon heads, and that we, we, we were talking about having them as a guru with flames coming out of the mouth with a tassel. Oh, That'd yes. be amazing. Yeah. So the reds are going to be the dragon's Beautiful. fire. Yeah. That's incredible. I love it. We've st have we still got two. One. Oh no. Right. Oh, dip. Well done, everyone. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, okay, that is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And again, well I do done. generally think that's probably one of the best prices yeah. we'll ever see on a variety of jade. Without a doubt. Totally natural. Now, I do have the jadeite collar wheel strand. If you, and it's literally, remember, I've always said it this way you've got jade, nephrite, jadeite, quartzite. Okay? All gemologically different. All gemologically, chemically different, <laughs> but come under that umbrella. Now, we've had, if you want the, the jadeite version, we've got that. But coming up in about half hour's time, it is very much a Mark Smith show. With the most beautiful sterling silver toggle I <gasps> have ever seen. It is incredible. That your jewelry is incredible, Mark. Bless Do you know what you. you know that VT? Mm. That Alhambra one really caught my attention. Mm. That's so beautiful. It's just lovely. Look and then and then the flat bracelet. Yeah. Oh, and that twist. It's stunning. Mm, I've, what I've is it about shell pearls? That you I've love? always loved. Ever since I joined JM, I've loved shell pearl, and I've I've made it no secret that um, I prefer shell pearls cultured. If I yes. had to, if, hands behind my back, if I had to choose one to work with forever, it would be shell pearl because they, we can get them in so many different colours. They take the dyeing process really well. Mm. Every single bead on the strand is going to be exactly the same size. You yeah. get really, really good drill holes. They're really strong and they're still natural. Mm. You know, they're all the unwanted bits reconstituted so we can use them in our jewellery. I just absolutely love them. And there was a point where I used to say, and you can't facet pearls, but yes, we now know true. you can. You can, yeah. But, <laughs> but it's, it, no, it took 20 years. Yeah, but absolutely. No, I've I've always been a massive champion for shell pearl. And we never have them very often anymore. No, we? no, no, we don't. And, and you're no. so right. You're guaranteed that matching, absolutely. which culture pearls don't always give Perfectly you. Perfectly around. Every single Perfect. one. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, and yeah. I have to say, if you want the faceting look, not even if mm. culture, a faceted culture pearl looks quite like yeah. this. Yeah. Um, if you... They also are great for just day-to-day -day life. Absolutely. Because you, and you don't have to be precious with no. the perfume and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Shell. No. I love that necklace. Amazing. Oh, now, ah. Neri's had a little idea. Something that maybe could be, it would be a nice little welcome addition to your masterclass. Yeah, that's a good idea. But also beautiful with the colour wheel as well. And that would be... Definitely. Some garnet. Yeah. When was the last time you've seen garnet? Mm. You're gonna to need to be quick with these because they're absolutely stunning. These Two mil, beautiful. they almost, that sounds tiny, doesn't it? But they're really easy to bead with. Perfectly symmetrical. We're gonna do something absolutely outrageous. We've done it already today, multiple times. Why not do it again? It's a star buy. Could I do micro kiss cross with these? Yep. Would you like a pair of micro kiss cross if I bring, I yes. bring those across? We are going to do, oh, Mark, they are, you've, I tell you what, some absolutely stunning jewellery today. If you've just put the phone down for the quartzite jade, pick it back up. Because we are starting for natural garnet. Look at that, like little pomegranate berries if that's what you call them pips you could make these earrings 
yeah. with garnet. You could make these gorgeous earrings with garnet. We Very don't beautiful. see garnet that often. No, no. Thank you for the trust because the first person who's made the confirmation has bought eight. You will not be alone multi-buying. Tell me this quantity then, Nirino. Ah, oh, 250, but it's still probably not going to be enough, he says. How about if we tell you, just as just starters, you've still got to, as a genuine gemstone, you've still got to find it, mm. mine it, cut it, polish it, drill it. Strand it. Strand it. Transport it. it. Quality assure it, <laughs> yeah. transport it. One thing we always do forget, Mark, because this also adds to the cost, broadcast it. Mm. Do you remember yeah. Jura Makers when there was a certain price point that we were never allowed to go below on the live shows? Yeah. We weren't allowed to go any lower than 6 99 Apart from DVDs, that was the only product, yeah. wasn't it? That was the only That's right. item. That was the only item, yeah. We break that rule repeatedly now because this is going under that price point. We have 250 available. Look how beautiful. Look at the quality. This, by the way, is not worth any profit for us. It's about basically saying well done to our customers. Um, you could use them as an alternative to a knot. Absolutely. That's a good idea. Yeah. Just one of these in between that colour wheel we've just had. Yeah. But I think the garnet would work really well with that. Those, yeah. those those white pearls that we had this yeah. morning at eight o'clock. Oh, yeah. Just put one garnet in between. Can I be can I be yeah, can I be controversial? I prefer smooth rounds. In in this size I prefer them smooth. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Four ninety nine. A fiver. A fiver. What? It's not where we're stopping. We've got 250 no. mark. We are literally saying, well done to our lovely customers. Thank you for tuning in. Um, literally use them as an alternative to a knot. Use them in your kiss cross. Use them in your memory looming. Memory wire. They'd be amazing on memory wire. Oh, yeah. I would stock up your stashes. Wow. Do you want to just, this is just a reminder me. I've got your ruby. Oh, have you? And I forgot to bring them. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> you have to remind me which yeah. what, what, which ones you wanted. Oh, yes. Because you could do... Ca you could do yeah, yeah, yeah. The car... What's it called? Capriccio yeah. bracelet. Yeah, yeah. In this, couldn't you? Yeah. £3.49 oh, pence wow. only. Three forty nine. That's ridiculous. So in these earrings, Mark, which part would be the garnet? All of it. I'd do, all the, this I'd, bit. Do, I'd, I'd do all of it in yeah I'm, they're 11 o's but i'd use the garnet to do the whole thing so yeah. all of this that yeah. frames the the yeah, shell you, pearl you, you could do, do in garnet with easily yeah, yeah and and what you'd swap the i'd do all again i'd do all of the netting with that so all of the black the black mayuki in the yeah, micro yeah. kiss cross yeah you do in garnet yeah because it's only about a third of a millimeter bigger something like oh. that so yeah absolutely Hi, yeah. Elaine. I agree, L. I prefer rounds when they are two mil. I do. Why is that then? I don't know. I just think they show the beauty of the gemstone more. Right. Sometimes the sparkle takes away the, yeah. the gemstone quality, doesn't it? I yeah, do that's prefer what you mean. two mils. Yeah. I do prefer them to be smooth. Yeah. In in, in every gemstone, mm. every gem. Um. Well done. We had over two hundred of these. This is literally. Uh, Thank you very much, wonderful jewellery makers. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, we're not making profit. This is what we always say. Oh, it's a PR deal, yeah, it's a PR deal. We're just, we're just doing it. <laughs> That's how we justify it to the powers that be upstairs. It's just PR deal. Mm. Sort of On my last show with Carol, I showed the viewers we had some selenite. Yeah. And I showed them how to make the peyote barrels. Yes. And then that you zip up to put in between your, your gemstones and this would be absolutely perfect ah. for that. And treat it, treat it, treat, do it in your, in your looming. You yeah. You do it in your looming or your peyote. Just treat it as a, as a gemstone. On that, do you know what? Simple. Ollie spoke to me earlier on this morning and he was saying, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, but he was watching, he was watching this morning and he said he was, he saw one of the guests was wearing multicolored selenite. Really? Yeah. So they oh. must be a jewelry maker customer. Ah, uh, must be. Gotta be, because I don't think they've mined it anywhere else. Not many people else. do it, no. No. 
Well, that's a How pretty funny. big assumption, but wow. you know what I mean. I was like, yeah, I got a jewelry maker customer then. Hey. But one of the guests, you never know, or bought it from a jewelry maker customer right. at the very least. Um, hi, Michael. Hi. Oh, I love those. Oh. Can you go to my caged pendant? Thank you. <laughs> um, Neary, the item that um, lovely Michael Wolf has just put before us, um, Neary says, I've not seen before. They are so boodles. Oh, yes. Oh, which very, very These are the little boodles. prong inside. This has got the little prong inside. Mm. So, um, make sure you check it out, everybody. £3.49. £3. Yeah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Well done. Okay, so this is the one that Neary says, I just want to play these. I haven't seen them yet. They're absolutely They're gorgeous. Lovely. They are stunning. I bought mm. some of these. Um, I'm going to show you them all lined up because it's actually one of those opportunities. I, it's it's tricky to choose a favourite. But you know what, Neary? Neary, you don't know the half of it yet. Are you excited? Mm. Because, firstly, these took inspiration from a designer. A designer is called the Manja Jewelry. Um, basically, it's a caged necklace. Now, that is literally kind of like a vintage bird cave, cage, isn't it? Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not that keen. <laughs> I'm not that keen, but, you know, it's all personal. £280 for that. It's like a double cage. So that's where the inspiration came from. But can I also just say, this also reminds me very, yeah. very, very much of Boodles. I think these mm -hmm. are more Boodles than they are that previous designer. Now, if you want to buy a, po a Boodles ring, um, it's £3,725. More specifically, if you want to buy, or that's a, that's a Boodles inspired ring. It more specifically, if you want to buy, there we go, the Rain Dance ring, which I love. I absolutely love that. That's goals for me. But I don't know if I could part with £11,700 for it. Oof. Emma Thompson's <laughs> a massive fan of the Rain Dance collection. Um, anyway, so it's a little bit like that. But let's look at different cage designs out there. And we will literally just flick through these. So £194 to £470. It's a pretty broad spectrum at that price. Yes. Um, £89. Meh. £129. John Lewis, 30 quid. Oh. I don't like that much, though. Um, Angara, like that one. £449, though. N not a fan, personally. Mm. £45. But that one there, let's go back to it. Can you see that it's actually a locket? It's actually a locket. It actually opens. The bail, which this is where my fingernails don't help me out here is actually the, the opening. See if I can do this. Can you tell? Has anyone got another pair of tweezers? Or, or proper fingernails? <laughs> so I have one over here, I'll have a flow. It opens like yeah. a book. Yeah. There you go. Literally opens like a book. And then there's a little magical element inside. I love these. Michael's on it. Okay. Now, we've got it in all three colours. These were a previous deal of the day that I brought to you a few weeks ago. Um, <laughs> Mark. He's bringing it around to you, Mark. So, effectively, it closes. And where you would feed the chain through obviously means that it's not going to open, it's going to be nice and secure. Um, inside, inside, can you see, can you see there's a little peg? So you could put a half drilled gemstone in there or a completely filled dr uh, drill gemstone or you can just miss it out altogether. That's what we were talking about. We, I think I must have been on it with you because yeah, we said we were going to cut the prong out and then every month we'd put in a gemstone or, a, or a family member's birthstone or something like that inside. And we also said that it reminded me of, of a pumpkin carriage from Cinderella. From Cinderella, yeah, yeah it does. How clever is that? That's beautiful. 
you've got different gemstones all the way around now we've actually started with the 925 sterling silver but as you can see you've got it in the rose and you've got it in the yellow gold it's gorgeous and they're different colors look all the yeah. way around so you've got like your blue topaz you've got your colorless topaz you've got your citrine turn it around again you've got your lovely garnets they're absolutely gorgeous aren't they yeah there's a peg in the middle but yeah i, agree. I remember mark mm. we both said just take the peg out and have it yeah, loose yeah, yeah absolutely it'd be quite nice having it rattling around yeah gorgeous yeah, yeah. four grams of solid sterling silver plus the wow. engineering of this too because you've got to remember the bale or the opening it's yeah. it's it's kind of hidden into the design and actually putting the chain through is the locking mechanism. Does that make sense? It'll never open, will it? Once nope. the chain's running through it. There's the peg in the centre. Can you see it? Can you see the peg? That you can very easily put a gemstone on. If you don't want to put a gemstone on. I'd say, yeah, six or eight mil, maybe. Eight mil, I reckon. Eight mil. Mm. But it wouldn't matter if they're a bit smaller. Obviously not micro ones, because they'll find their way out. Now, I'm just going to close that back up because I've got an idea, Mark. Mm. What do you think? Love do you like idea. this idea? Yeah. What about that? Lovely. Yeah. not your price believe it or not there's over four grams of sterling silver the craftsmanship the engineering um yeah you can find it elsewhere for 45 pounds um where i don't i'm just got a little rose quartz nugget in there effectively yeah, yeah. Yeah. for us you're basically getting beautifully calibrated faceted gemstones um Ooh. and it's what 19 pounds and 99 pence hi michelle these are beautiful i've used the peg to place a blue acquire pearl from the advent calendar what a great idea oh, they're amazing. stunning aren't they they are very they're more boodles than any yeah, of the other designs I that i think i agree it's the and, rub over settings isn't it yeah rub over beautiful. settings and i think yeah. also those bars yes that you can see stunning they're absolutely stunning the only challenge i find is which one if you've got to make a choice mm. between the actual colours, which one? Because I love them all. Aren't they gorgeous? I, again, at 20 quid, I mean, what a lovely Christmas gift that would be for someone special. You know, um, you can go elsewhere and you could find sort of fairly... Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's nice, but I'm not wow mm. whereas these i think are absolutely beautiful tessa well done sally maker jillian john john in tyne and Ware, john and susan in essex uh maker pat and derbyshire new customers getting involved as well um should we do the gold now in the gold you know i'd put i'd put um a black jet Ooh. and i'd get a pair for earrings because you because they're quite heavy aren't they at the moment yeah so if you put a gemstone in that would, but if something like jet is lightweight lightweight you wouldn't know and, just, and then it would just everything else around it would just stand out wouldn't they just glow i always put the rose gold graphics on okay no props no props love it yeah uh, that was a, that's a great mm, idea especially with the gold yeah ah oh. i love our rose gold color i think it's so nice yeah, because sometimes it can be too coppery, can't mm, it? Yeah. Whereas we get literally get it that perfect pink. It's like a blush. Yeah, it? perfect, perfect pink. With yeah. plating, that can be quite difficult to actually do. Oh. The gemstones that you have within, um, you have, oh, bear with me, Anne in London, L. how do the cage pendants look against mm. the ear? Would you like, oh, good idea, Anne. Let's have a little look. So in gemstones, you've got amethyst, peridot, Garnet, topaz, and citrine. Wow. All birthstones. Oh, yeah. Oh, they look lovely mm. in the ear. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Lovely in the ear. Just literally yeah. on shepherd hook. Or put it on... Well, you don't have to have it open and closing. It could be just like a permanent mm, thing. Absolutely. 24.99 for the rose gold um you could always put a secret message no. oh i like that 
I like that. What about shrinking down your marriage mm. certificate as well? Oh yeah. Shrink it down, Shrink actually, it down. sort of t tiny That's little print, scroll it up. That'd be quite nice. And then maybe you could put the, the birthstone of the month you were married. Mm. You could oh. do that, couldn't you? Lovely ideas, all sentimental, beautiful jewellery. Um, thank you, Margot. Again, so you have amethyst, peridot, garnet, citrine, blue topaz, all in one amazing piece. Um, and obviously, if you add gemstones to the centre, um, I think I think it is yeah. my favourite. The gold against the gemstones, they really stand out, don't they? Yeah, the blue topaz <laughs> against it. Beautiful. Here's the amethyst. And this is the one that I put the jet in. Mm. So, look at that garnet, peridot citrine yeah i'm loving the gold that's wow. let's let's bring the rain dance piece back up because that's the one that it screams the most to me no next one yeah see what i mean they could be from the same designer couldn't they which if this were in boodles there's no way on earth it would be anything less than uh no. thousands <laughs> I love boodles, though I really do admire boodles. But again, it you you have to have a, a fairly significant bank balance to love boodles. Um, well done, everybody. Do stay where you are. Now I've got one more finale auction to squeeze um, squeeze in, and there's only twenty three available, so it is quite limited. Just before we dive into Mark's amazing masterclass jewelry makers, um, so yeah, I'm going to tell you a story actually. Um, I don't know if I've told you this, actually. So it's a bit of a gamble. And I'm not a gambling person. I'm a properly safe person. <laughs> However, I saw something on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And um, it was uh, on Marketplace. Right. And, you know, just literally scrolling aimlessly, not particularly looking for anything. And I was like, what's that? And it's 14 karat gold. A necklace. I should have brought it in actually to show you all. Fourteen karat gold, a necklace, and it's got a lavender heart. Anyway, so I messaged the seller, and I was like, and he's got it down as a jadeite fourteen karat gold pendant. And I'll tell you, I paid, I paid uh, two hundred and fifty pound for it. I was like, okay, I was, and matching earrings. So I messaged. I was like, can you tell me if this is type A? He's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know. Oh, no. I said, okay, fair enough. But I thought, you know what? It's gold anyway. I can see the hallmark. I'll pay £250 for the gold. So I've bought it. And I'm about to send it off. Because if that is, even if it's not, to be honest, even if it is type B or type C, it's still got a value because it's gold and it's jadeite. Mm. We know it's jadeite. If it's type A grade, it's the most insane lavender jade I've ever seen. And I don't know yet. I'll keep you posted on it. Okay. But the reason why, probably one of the safest people that you could meet took that punt is because lavender jadeite is the rarest colour. The rarest colour. I'll send you a photo later. Yeah. So if it is type A grade, and I don't know. Do you know what? I messaged, you know I'm next door neighbours with Marie. Remember Marie, gemologist mm. Marie? I took it round to Marie. I was like, what do you think, Marie? She was like, well, I can't see any signs of treatment. I was like, okay. She goes, it's definitely Jade. But we haven't got the technology here in the West. We was need there to any history from him where he got it? It's an antiques gem. And, and I was oh, okay. like, that's a great price, £250. It's a great price for the gold. It was earrings and a necklace. So I'm not going to lose anyway. No, 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 absolutely. Now, the reason why I took wow. that punt is because I was like, okay, lavender jade is rarer than any other color. Let me explain why. Um, it's down to the fact that it needs, it requires an element called vanadium. So let's read this article together and you can see, don't expect the most ultraviolet purple, it's a hue. Lavender jade is a very rare color in jade, like jade, due to the fact that it needs trace elements of vanadium and manganese to produce the violent purple lavender color um, in the crystal structure of the jadeite that makes it lavender in color. So now you might be thinking, okay, vanadium, well, vanadium, you get that in tanzanite. Yes, you do, but actually vanadium really forms in Burma. 
rare, it's, it's a rare element in Burma. Flicking forward, uh, vanadium is considered extremely rare in areas of Burma where jadeite is found um, and for it to naturally exist in sufficient quantities to produce lavender colours is one of the reasons this colour is just so rare to find in any real saturation. Is yours that colour? Yes. Really? It's that, uh, that's why I'm, I know. Oh. How exciting. But I'm also cautious because I'll have to post it to China. Right. And that makes me nervous. Right, yeah. Lavender jadeite jade has become one of the most expensive colours in the jade market today and as a result it has continued to demand extremely high prices which have continued to rise every year. Uh-huh. Um, oh. So what's your heart of heart telling you then if it's, if it's it top It almost grade? seems like it's too good to be true. But I haven't lost anything because no. the gold weights are with that. Yeah. Do you know you have you are you don't need to make that gamble because yours and believe me I'm getting lavender jade from jewelry maker as well is gemologically certified. Yeah, so this yeah. is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to post it to be gem lab certified by the same place that ours is anyway. Right. To find out whether it is or isn't. I know it's jade, but mm. is it natural or is it dyed? Either way, it's still got a price point to it. Now. I want to show you a strand that we saw not so long ago at, uh, was it Tucson? I think this was Tucson. Wow. And it was a lavender jade with just a couple of the greens, wholesale 45,000 US dollars. Don't get me wrong, the greens are absolutely amazing. That's more of a pink color to be truthful. But again, look at it against the white piece of paper. Can you actually see it laid down as well? There's another strand laid oh, down. Yes. Um, 45,000 US dollars wholesale. So what's that going to be? 38 pounds. Is this one it here? Is it number five? Okay. We are going to do, oh my goodness me, that's amazing colour. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing, yeah. isn't it? In these beautiful rondelles. A full 38 oh. centimetre strand. Final close out deal price points. Good luck everybody. If you, again, if you are a jade collector and you are looking to purchase, certainly the rarest, this is Gem Lab certified. That's the thing, I'm making a punt with that pendant stroke uh, earrings. It's a punt. Um, it's a punt I'm willing to take because it's one of the world's rarest gemstones without shadow of a doubt. And I won't lose anything because of the gram weight of the gold um, alone. Yours is Gem Lab certified natural type A lavender jadeite. Just to get the wheels in motion 299. You've got to remember, this is rarer than your imperial greens. I've got 23 chances. 30 second clock, we're going to go straight down to, it need, leads Whoa. beautifully into the yeah, next yeah. hour as well. I'm thinking that the, the earrings near me, Yeah. if you t t hook one of those off and place it at the bottom as a pendant, I think it would look amazing. <laughs> oh, here you go. If I can. Mm. Ready? Oops, sorry Mark. Yeah, imagine, I'm not showing this very well because I'm all fingers and thumbs. Yeah, mm. beautiful. Lovely. And that shows you the strength of lavender color as well, yeah. jewelry makers. We yeah. This is not a color of this gemstone that we bring to air at a double figure price point. Lavender jadeite due to its actual rarity, its formation rarity. There is a reason why, you know, when you talk to Roland Schlussel of Pillar and Stone, you know, he says lavenders and reds, they're the rarest colors that he foresees them actually overtaking the price. Yeah, here we go. 80,000 US dollars for that strand. Wholesale. And you might be thinking, gosh, that's ridiculous, Al. Yeah, it is. It, it, it is ridiculous. But that's the reality, though. It is the reality. You could go to First Dibs. Let's show this one. First Dibs, natural, lavender jadeite jade, beaded necklace, £34,550. Ooh. Five figures. 
Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And that's, by the way, what I would do with my pendant, by the way. Probably just sell it on first dibs. Uh, Rupal, Sally, Claire, Angela, Denise, Michelle, Elizabeth, Maker, Angela, Angela, and Sheila. It is one of the lowest prices, surely, we've ever done for natural Burmese lavender uh, jade eye. I would the just find those little garnets we've just had, just one in between. Oh, that's the a spaces. lovely idea. Just, I think that looks stunning. Yeah, that would be beautiful together. Let's do it. 25 oh. people on the phone lines for the last seven. I love that. Yeah, lovely Again, with the garnet. It's like Kunzite from over here. It's that pink. It's a really, yeah, it is quite Kunzite-esque, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I've got seven left jewellery makers and I've got Angela, Christine, Maker, Elizabeth, Michelle, Sheila, Gloucestershire, Moira, Norma, Debbie and London. Who's going to get it? Now down to five. Well done to you. Debbie, Margaret, Elizabeth, Anna, Julie, Christine, Denise, Rupal, Sally, Claire and Angela. <laughs> oh yeah, look at all the teas. Yeah. Oh, People oh. on the phone lines, Geraldine in Cheshire, our new customer. I can't congratulate every single one of you because so sadly we are over allocated. I can oh, just keep no. everything crossed. And by the way, could we do a Lavender Jade Out showcase? No. No. We've got maybe oh. one or two opportunities within our entire, maybe a couple of cabochons. I think that's all we've got really um, within our vault. Oh. Our sister channel, oh. Gemporia, oh. don't have Lavender Jade Out opportunities. Um, it is the rarest colour. Well done. I think it's pretty much sold out, jewellery makers. Congratulations. Look at that split pay. Nineteen ninety nine. Um, anyway, still got more to bring wow. you, lovely jewellery makers. The most amazing... Where's time gone today? It's gone so fast. Um, the most amazing masterclass. I'm very excited um, about your jewellery, Mark. And to be honest, I'd love to see both of those demonstrated because they're absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. The necklaces I'm talking about, but I love the bracelets too. Now, uh, Mark said... Talking about down to toes is near me. No. Um, talking about today's show definitely, definitely got a Mark Smith's feel mm. to it because it is the return of shell I know, they're amazing. And I put I put these kits together, so I've chosen the colours and the seed beads and everything. And so no, I'm really tell. I'm really proud of these kits, they're beautiful. You can really tell they work so beautifully. Do not go anywhere, jewelry makers. Join Mark and I after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, Yvonne here. Just popping in to tell you that I'll be back in the studio uh, on Thursday the 15th of August with Carol, Tom and the team uh, and I'm bringing some beautiful pearls at nine o'clock. Um, I've had the luxury of um, using these. Look at the beautiful case before we even get in there. Look at these. Metallic multicolored pearls. How delightful are those? absolutely gorgeous so we then in the 12 o'clock hour have um, a shot plate I've had the time of my life with this um, it's got four little uh, symbols on it and they're all very generic so they this one will suit everyone it has um, two different stars on it a heart and a smiley little sun and I've put them all on one necklace there I have made other pieces of jewelry but I'll show you those on Thursday hope you can join us see you then bye hi everyone I'm back on Friday the 16th of August and I have this amazing strand of faceted jadeite and I'm really excited to share it with you. I also have these amazing sterling silver panther heads. I'm really excited to be back and I can't wait to see you then. Bye! Our UK based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week.
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. It looks like I'm on safari, doesn't it? I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Wednesday, the 14th of August, where I'm going to be joining lovely Eleanor, Tom and the team. It's a bit of a Mark Smith theme day. In the nine o'clock hour, I've been given the most incredible chip and nugget strands to work with. We've got Botswana, Amber, incredible opal strands. So I'm really looking forward to making some pieces with this. And then, as I mentioned, it's a bit of a Mark Smith day. At 12 o'clock, Shell Pearl, four millimeter and six millimeter bundles. In the demonstration on the show, I'm going to be showing you how to make this incredible Alhambra inspired necklace. But also, we've got these incredible four millimeter gray and green seed beads. We've got the most incredible spiral necklace, and this is going to be the tutorial that you'll pick up when you purchase any of the bundles in that hour. And then this incredible flat spiral bracelet. So that's all coming up this Wednesday, 14th of August. Join myself, Eleanor, from eight o'clock. Hope you can join us. Did you see Michael running around in there? I would like to know how many steps he's done this morning. He's been going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. You do a seven, seven mile miles. walk? Every day, wow. how? Usually you uh, get up and do it, in fact, what walk where? He just goes for a walk at five in the morning. Best time of the day in the morning. That I do the love morning. the mornings. Mm, best time of the day. Let's I'm very see. good for you to do it that way round, mm. or so they say. Yeah, it just, it just sets you up for the day, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm really breaking everything <laughs> under here. Yeah, it I does can't set believe you up it's 12 o'clock, you know. It's mad, isn't it? It's can't mad. believe yeah. it. Can I just, before we, before we begin today, yeah. I would just like to put a, I don't know if she'll be watching, she might be watching, um, a massive, massive shout out to the incredible guest designer that is Deb Kershaw. Yeah. I've been a massive fan of Deb's work ever since she joined and then left and then she's, she came back and, mm. and, uh, and she's just an absolute star. And she brought to air a few times um, the Capriccio. Capriccio, yeah. yes. And I, I make netted cuffs. I've done quite a few netted cuffs on the show, but I've never attempted one of Deb's Capriccio bracelets mm. until today. So the bracelet that you've just This here one, which is, is my gorgeous. first ever capriccio bracelet and i started to make it and i really messed it up so i went onto youtube and i put in deb kershaw advent calendar and deb's hour-long tutorial yeah comes up top of the list the first thing on the on the list here and i sat there watched the whole tutorial from start to finish and this was the outcome end so, result so deb thank you so much i am already on my second at home and i think lots of the ladies in our family are going to be getting them for christmas presents this year because oh. they are the most Beautiful. They're gorgeous. Beautiful. Absolutely. So massive thanks, Deb. This is my first ever attempt and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. You know that advent calendar bracelet? Yes. I've got that. Oh, uh, have you? Yeah. Oh, Bless it's, it's stunning. I love that. It's and gorgeous. Andrew likes the way it because Andrew, I always test my pieces with Andrew wrist size and that sort of thing. And he's commented on the way, how fluid it is. And because the netted cuff that I do is, if you, I think it's my tension. It feels quite rigid sometimes, and the, yeah. and the sides curl ever so slightly, but this, I'm absolutely thrilled. It's a so fabric, isn't it? You love it. So thank you, Deb. Absolutely oh, massive thank you. I love the colourways that you've chosen there, Mark, as well. Now, what are these beautiful, perfect, pearlescent yeah. rounds that I see before <laughs> me? Something that I don't think we've had for a very, no, very long no, time. No, absolutely not. Shell pearls. Mark, so you have put, look, uh, before we do anything, Mark, please yeah. can we take the time to show every single one of your pieces, because that's gorgeous. That was the last piece I made. So I, I know I wanted to make the spiral, incorporating yeah. the two sizes, and that's the tutorial that you get incorporated. So when you buy any of the three kits today, you get the tutorial to make this. To make this. 
which yeah. consequently is also those earrings that you yeah, demoed absolutely. earlier on. Yeah, absolutely. And this Perfect. one is showing you incorporating different sizes and different number of beads and how to start and finish and, uh, and that side of things. That's the first thing I'm, I, I wanted to do. Then I made the earrings to match here using the, and as I said, you got all the seed beads as well in the bundles. And then- Do you know what I they're like? They're like the opera. Yes. The opera mm. motif. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah, nice. Right. And then, we just talked about the uh, the bracelet that um, so I took the time out. I don't take time out very often, and I sat and watched the whole hour. And that was the next thing I made purely because we had four millimeter pearls in the kit. Would you really ever see? Yeah, so three or four millimeter is perfect size for this style of bracelet. So that was the next thing I made, and then I made this funky bracelet. Yeah, that's here. cool. And again, that's because we've got four millimeter shell pearls, and then you have you can't not have kiss cross. But these the the kiss cross earrings are different because normally oh, I do where? three oh, yeah, I yeah. do three gemstones wide, and with these I did four. So you get sort of beaded bead cubes of your kiss cross rather than your netted rope. And they're, they're gorgeous. Just, and that was just using the you know bits and pieces I had left off from the bundles, and uh, and then I made the um, the, the lariat necklace. the necklace at the end yeah which is what I'm going to demo. You're going to be showing this one? Yeah. Stunning. And the yeah. colours are absolutely gorgeous They're on lovely. this as well. Yeah, really pleased. Um, How many do we have of these projects? I think it's 100 of each. Really? Am I right? Yes, it's 100 of uh, each. Yeah. Now, firstly, let's explain what shell pearl is because we mustn't assume everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Now, firstly, shell pearl is effectively reconstituted. So if you imagine when your pearls are harvested, say they're being drilled and they get broken, they don't discard it, no, no. they get put to one side. Now, same with shell. If they're working with shell and it gets mm -hmm. fractured or broken or anything like that, they don't discard it, they keep it all together. And these the, the inside of the shells and the mollusks as well, so the mother yeah. of pearl in effect, so yes. all the bits that they can't turn into jewellery. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. now, if you've ever wondered how you get pearlescent lipstick or eyeshadow oh, yes. Yes. makeup paint on your cars, um, it's from the you know this same mm. material, yeah. Yeah. but something even more preferable than all of those is an actual shell pearl bead. So they reconstitute it, kind of like finely compress mm. it into whatever shape. You are guaranteed either spherical or perfect faceting. They are much more durable than a than a usual pearl because they always say a cultured pearl should be the last thing on, first thing off. Mm. Yes. So don't spray it with perfume, don't spray it with hairspray or anything like that. Culture pills don't like it. Mm. Whereas a shell pearl is far more robust, yeah, aren't they? Absolutely. No. And I think for that reason is why so many of us love a shell pearl. Now, but Mark, we haven't seen him in ages, have we? No, no, no. It's the first time I've had shell pearl kits this year, if not longer. Mm. It really, and these were all back, these were all put together, the kits were put together back in March. So you can see how long it's taken us to get them. <laughs> really? Yeah, March, these were put all put together. Five six, months. Five months, yeah. yeah. How amazing is that? Yeah. Now, okay, Mark, well, these are your babies, mm -hmm. your projects. Here's the instructions, which is a weighty one, Mark. 24 steps, I think. Wow. Yeah. I thought the name was a bit cheesy, but... <laughs> bubble blushes. Mm. Oh, I quite like that. <laughs> I like that, bubble blushes, why not? Yeah. Um, and here's the finished result. I they do look like little bubbles. So much. Yeah, I love this. I and love I think, the colourways. This is the first time that I've incorporated two different sizes of a gemstone or a shell pearl in the spiral. So we, we do we do three arcs. So you all know about arcs in your core now. So we do three arcs with a four mil, and then one with a six, three with a four, one yeah. with a six, and you just get it looks like a bubble style. It does. It looks yeah. so different to yeah. the ones we've seen previously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I love it. I think I think it adds a, a sense of mm. fun. And you see the incredible clasp at the back. Yeah, that's amazing. Now yeah. we need to show that because actually it's solid sterling it silver, is. isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I've not seen this class before. I think this is a brand new style. Gorgeous. Wow. It's heavy as well. It's yeah. a nice heavy yeah. weight. Okay, Mark, wh where do you want us to start with this? Because obviously we've got your demonstrations. Um, oh, the six mil. Yeah, so we've got, we've got three bundles. One with two strands of six mil faceted, yeah, and then the other two are four mil smooth. Okay. Into so I definitely recommend grabbing each of the grab like, one of each. Well, they work together, don't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I have mixed and matched the different colours and sizes and things. So. Okay, so here it is. So there's that class, brand new class mm. that we just showed you. Beautiful hammered texture, front and reverse as well. Can you see it there? Sorry, not very well. Sorry, Michael. 
Um, there you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. You can see it beautifully in Michael's recording. So you get that. That's a big investment in your sterling yes. silver. Then you get the most amazing Mayuki. Two sizes, Mark. 15s and 11s. Uh, 15s um, as rare as hen's teeth. They are, along with the 6 O's. Yeah. Okay. We don't have 50 O's very often. And let's say these have been put together with the, you know, to colour coordinate against the, the tones. Oh. They're lovely, aren't they? I've just noticed they're two different mm -hmm. colours. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise they were, I thought they were the yeah. same. But can you see? Slightly different yeah. colour. Now I've mentioned it, this is mm. the paler one. And that's the darker one, those two in the middle. Ah, oh, I they're love lovely, it. Aren't they? They're really nice. Very, very, very subtle difference. So beautiful. Okay, we have a hundred of each, and this obviously comes alongside Mark's amazing instrument. I love the colour of these. They're lovely, aren't they? That blush yeah. pink, so feminine. Um, the return, the long, long awaited return of faceted gel pearls. We haven't seen them in ages. You will need to be quick, jewelry makers. So you get the sterling silver class, which you can you just about see there? The sterling silver class. You get the two tubes of your uh, Mayukis as well. These kits have been put together by um, wonderful Mark. And of course, you get his demonstrations. Um, and then you get the two strands, the full 38 centimeter strands um, of both your pink and your lilac. You can just about see the difference there, can't you? Lovely. I like the faceting on these as well. It's a soft facet rather than your, you know, your, your sharp spinel faceting. Yeah. Know? Which wouldn't work really on yeah the almost shelf curved or, yeah no, they're beautiful there is a softness to these jewelry makers Tom's are you ready tapping away in there isn't he now i can't oh. remember the last time we saw shell pearls we need to see you on the phone as we've got a hundred <sighs> i get really nervous when we put, well i guess designers get quite nervous when they put the kits together themselves I don't think you need mm. to be. I mean, they're absolutely mm. beautiful. Look at your jewellery. You get the instructions to make this amazing piece. That necklace, that necklace, that spiral necklace, I would sell for more money than all three bundles. Yeah. Easily. I don't think that's unreasonable. No. Mark, we're starting at forty-nine ninety-nine. I mean, that necklace there, seriously. How long did that take to make? Hour and a half. It's stunning. Mm. Hour and a half. <laughs> it's really no, no. How much would how much would you sell that for? Hmm? How much would you sell that one for? Sixty pounds. Yeah, so you're in profit straight away. Mm. It's not bad, is it? How about how about the Capriccio bracelet? Oh well, um, that did take me quite a long time. I'll probably, I don't know, seventy pounds. Yeah, seventy. Surely more. Look on the look at the back of it. I'm so impressed with the back. Just <laughs> you can see. The Just it's absolutely yeah. amazing. It's not bad for a first attempt. Thirty mm. seconds. We are going lower, lovely jewelry makers. We've got a hundred exactly. Um, Jacqueline says hi, Mark and Al. Um, I have these absolutely stunning. Yeah, they're beautiful. Well done, Jacqueline. Well done. They are beautiful. There's something, that colour, mm. it's just a softness, almost like a chiffon beauty. Um, and then with that wonderful soft faceting, we're going lower, jewellery makers. We've waited a very long time for your beautiful shell pearl. Hasn't been on our screens for, God, I, I genuinely can't remember. No, no I can't. I've had genuinely the odd strand in a remember. kit, but I've not had a, a, an exclusive kit. Two strands. So that's like fifteen pound per. S no, wait, 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 wait. So your seed beads are fifteen quid. Then you got your class, which I reckon is at least a tenner, maybe uh, even fifteen. Probably more. Yeah, I'd yeah, say because so, that's quite a substantial So you buy your seed beads in your class and get your shell pearl free. Unbelievable. I think that class could be mm. over twenty pounds personally because there's a big amount huge. of precious metal in there. Yeah. Unbelievable, it's brand new sterling silver class, beautifully textured, the two strands, um, then your 11 O's and also your 15 O's, plus Mark's instructions. Don't forget on our very own sister channel, if you wanna get some instructions from one of their designers, it costs you a tenner. Mm. Um, we've gone to an absolutely amazing price. 
All day we've had this pattern forming, haven't we? What? Oh, okay, I see your point. That's what you're getting at. <laughs> I thought this is what you meant. I thought you meant 49.99 was a great price and then we drop it again. But oh no, he means 29.99 is a great price point and he drops it again. What about if I'm brand new to jewelry making, Mark? What if I, about if I've never actually done any kind of form of sea beading? Can I do this? What does it say? <laughs> A beginner can make this. Easily. And it hasn't got to break oh, the bank either. No. <gasps> no way. Have I got enough to make that? Yes. So you, you, can, you can make that completely with the six mil. Yeah. Or to get the, the, the style of this, you'd have to get one of the, the smaller, yeah. one of the smaller bunch, but you could replicate. You'd have enough to do that whole necklace with your six mil. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. further. Yeah, yeah. Because you had yeah, enough yeah, to do these yeah, yeah. and the earrings as and well. And I had some left. Yeah, and to these? Do the demo. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. Uh, Debbie mm. says it's so nice to know. Oh, it's Deb. Uh, <laughs> oh, is it our Deb? Yeah, it's so yeah. nice to know that you, Mark, um, are also still learning like all of us. Keep sharing the knowledge mm. and beautiful projects. Mm. And that's not Deb's, uh, our Deb's Yorkshire. Deb. Yeah. Thank you, Deb. But, yeah, Honestly, do you know what? I love that technique. It's beautiful. It was just so nice. Just to stop work and just sit back and what, watch Deb for an hour. It was a great teacher lovely. as well. Yeah, You're both lovely. great teachers. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks, Loving Deb. that. Um, yeah, every day we should always be looking to learn something new. Anjum's got two. Sylvia, Anna, Fatima, Irene, Patricia, Deborah, uh, Gail, Stella, Elaine, Denise, June, Gloucester, Lely. Hello to you. That's a nice name, isn't it? Lely and Dorset. Yeah. Angela and East Sussex, well done. Mariam, you've got yours. I had a hundred of these. That's a crazy low price. No. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just going to put the shell pearl down for one second. For just for one second. You want be, uh, you want everyone to be able to get the, all three? Well, I'm game, yeah. Ah, I see what he's doing. Okay, I would definitely recommend getting them. Wow. Mark. Hmm. Oh, no. Ready? There's a toggle. I wanted to show you that because I almost feel like it's being overlooked. Let's see if I can hold a both piece. Look how beautiful that is. And you tell me. That that toggle on its own couldn't be twenty pounds. Yeah. Why is there a purple clock? Neary says oh. you put together the beautiful kit. Mm. Write the amazing instructions. Provide the most beautiful uh, inspiration. And Neary can bring the best price point. Hello to you, Deborah. Saying hi, Mark, and I'm loving your jewelry today, Mark. And that's from Debbie and Rachel. Oh, bless you. Thank ah, you. amazing, beautiful jewellery, hasn't it? Amazing jewellery. £19.99, <laughs> pence. Lisa says every day is a school day. Certainly is. And we should always strive to keep learning, right? 20 quid. £20, Mark. That's sterling silver. Did you say these tubes are what, £8? Eight pounds? £8 pound each. So £8.16. Okay, well that means you're getting the sterling <laughs> silver toggle and you're getting two strands of beautiful shell pearl for three quid. Yeah. Where's that's the crazy. sense? Unbelievable. But do sh can we shop ahead on the other projects? Neary. Yes, you can. They're on pre-order right now. Linda, hello to you, five. Joyce, Samantha, Helen, Hilda, Victoria, Margaret, Marion, Donna, Essex, well done to you, so, uh, Soraya, hello to you, Sylvia, Teresa's multiple, Anna, well done, Fatima, Barbara, Carol, Linda, Maureen, Monica, Julie and Sheila and Anna and Beverly, hello to you, Renfusha and Patricia and Susan and Elizabeth, I can't keep up. We had a hundred. That's not that many, actually, is it? That's not that many. When you think how busy we are, Mark, you've got, you know, an amazing following, of course, for obvious reasons, when we're looking at your beautiful jewellery like this. Um, and, and something you always say is, is, is you encourage people, even if, they do, if they're not an established jewellery maker, to give it a go. Absolutely. And uh, we, we talked about um, the tutorials the other day on the show, Carol and I. Yeah. And this is my 57th is it tutorial. Really? And every single one of them has been aimed at complete and utter beginners. 
every single one. But and yeah, I look at the jewelry. Like, I stand by like that. I've always, I've always, ever since I joined Jewelry Maker, because um, my mum used to make jewelry as well. So every single item I made it was always depending on whether I thought my mum could make it or not. And if my mum could make it, then I can, I can put it down as, as a beginner. And it's worked. So. Love that. Yeah. Absolutely love that. And I mean, the fact that also, it's not going to break the bank. £20, no. you get the instructions, you get all the components. This is 90 If that was an early bird, would that be, would that... Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. See what I mean? Mm. Even if I said fourteen ninety nine for a, a sterling silver clasp, and then you get everything else for a fiver. Yeah. It's an unbelievable mm. deal, it really is. Um, clock to close, jewellery makers. I'll keep you updated on the quantity, but there are loads of you in the process. Um, we're getting a wriggle on, obviously, because I've still got three projects to bring you as well. So I still do think that these will all sell out. So do shop ahead on your four mils, because obviously if you want to do the exact design um, that Mark's actually showed, it does include the smaller sizes as well. So, and you can choose your colorway. Um, you get more sterling silver class as well. Unbelievable savings. How many times have we said the projects, yes, you get the inspiration, of course, and all that knowledge and guidance, but you also get an unbelievable saving, don't mm -hmm. you? Absolutely. No, I've always loved our kits. You're better off buying the kits than you are actually the individual yeah. components. And I mean, if you want to use them separately for other projects, then uh, nothing's then stopping that. you. No. Nothing's no. stopping you. Okay, let's do the next one, Mark. Which colourway do you want to go with? Oh, let's go for the green. The gr Oh, yes. I love this. Do you know I almost said green? Where's the green? <laughs> it's right there, Al. I love grey and green. It's one of my new favourite combinations. And we have to, and I can't, and I don't think I've ever had, I don't know how I've got them, so I've got them at home, but I don't think I've ever had a project with black 15 O's. No. Ever. So I must have, because I've got them in my stash at home. But you don't remember. But I, but I can't remember ever having them. I may have had them in a bundle, maybe. But. Um, oh, Mark. So equally, mm. you could do the Capriccio bracelet? Yeah. Absolutely. So I've, so I've used the, the black and grey and then the, the yellow from the final kit coming up. Okay. But you've got enough You've got enough with those two strands to make two of those bracelets. So you could do a black version and a grey version incorporating the 15 and the 11s. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've gorgeous. got enough to make two of those in each bundle. Uh, Donna's yeah. saying, hi or Mark, we are not worthy. I would love five minutes inside your brain. You're a genius. Ooh, that would be a risk, being inside my brain. <laughs> It's always busy, my brain. It's, it's, it's silly. No, you are a busy person. Wow. You don't well, often chill, kids. do you? Imagine what it'd be like if I had kids. <laughs> yeah, but, well, Honestly. you'd probably breeze it. That's the thing, because mm. you're always busy. Yeah. Bless you, Donna. Thank you. I know. He is amazing, Donna, That's isn't he? Um, the phone lines have gone crazy. Mm. You get, again, that same brand new, beautiful hammered effect sterling silver toggle class. You get the 15 O's and the 11 O's and you get the two strands um, of your shell pearl rounds. Um, Elaine, um, I can never resist Mark's designs and projects. Lovely jewellery. I've got Mark's DVDs as well. As a beginner, Mark, uh, it gives me confidence as Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. That means a lot. That means Aww. a lot. I'm lovely. Because when we, when we started doing sea beads, I, I'd never done sea beads before. And I was, I adamant, I was adamant I was never going to touch a sea bead in my life. I remember the go. first time you actually started doing it because you were always mm. macrame. It was never yeah. sea beading. No, I hated the idea. I hated the idea. Are you ready? What's he going? Twenty nine ninety nine. I love that green. As That's well. an amazing price for the for the shell pearl, for the sterling silver, for the two tubes and the instructions. <laughs> that green is gorgeous, it isn't is, it? Yeah. Why is there a clock on screen? Because you've literally just said in my ear, L, we shouldn't be touching that price. What did Tom say a couple of moments ago? I didn't hear what he said. Oh, yeah, you could use it with the garnet. Good, yeah. That look amazing with the grey. Look at that. It looks so elegant, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. With that grey, yeah. I mean, look at that. Such a classy look. Do you, Mark, do you mm. remember those... Um, micro kiss cross earrings you made me oh yes with the which zircon I, which i still yeah. wear it was around about valentine's day because mm. i wore it out on valentine's mm. day mm. i've worn loads of times since i'm sure they've got four millimeter shell pearl but i'm going back years now aren't yeah, i yeah, yeah. No, years right. yeah yeah 
I think literally, uh, Tiggy wasn't born when you no, made those right, for me. That's right. No. It's going to be about three, four years ago. Yeah. Unbelievable. Here we are at 1999. Neary says, I want you to be able to shoot, get all the kits, basically. That's why you're getting these amazing savings. Uh, Barry in Essex says, Mark, while watching the show today, oh, yeah. I've been making your Alka, I can never say that, Barry. Alka Kadabra <laughs> necklace. Oh, amazing. That was with the J dipes. I remember. The black J dipe with the chain. Loving oh. that. Uh, 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 uh. Gosh. Alha, Alha, Kadabra. I was going down that, I was going down that route. Was it? Was that song playing? Oh, these are four mil. Cool. Four mil. What are you doing? He's on his feet. I like it. When Neary gets excited, he starts pacing, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He? Yeah. I like it. How many left of the pink? How many left of the pink? Naughty mm. deals, he says. How many? How many of the pink we got? Okay, they're very, very limited now. Okay, what? No, no, yeah, limited now in those. Extremely limited. Seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Wait, so I can get the first kit and this kit with change from forty pounds. I can make oh. all of this jewellery. Yeah. And I had loads left as well. And have loads <laughs> left. What? Yeah. And you've got all that sterling silver as well yeah. within the class. And I'd save those for your Christmas jewellery. Me your too. Christmas make. So you've got you've got masses there. Your little Christmas masses. trees. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness me, Mark. And when do you see black shell pearl? I know. Again, I, d I don't think I've had it before. No, I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember. Okay, clock to close because we've also got another project to bring you and we've got your amazing demonstrations. I will keep you posted on quantities, but they are all flying out the door. Um, again, so you get the sterling silver beautiful toggle clasp, which is brand new. It's a lovely hammered effect all the way around, so it's not just the detailing on the front. Um, you get the two strands of four millimeter shell pearls in the black and the silver. Love those. Um, then you get the two tubes and your 11 O's and your 15 O's. And don't forget, you get Mark's amazing instructions so that oh the green would be lovely it in that would, design it would just have a real play well that the yeah the gray with the blue, yeah perfect ah uh, wendy says mark you are simply the best and you bring us so much joy into our lives ah how kind they are the race lovely lovely lovely, lovely jewelry maker customers and mm. um, well done i agree that's I agree. Right. Neary's right. just said he thinks this next kit is going to be one of the most popular because people are going to want to make that. Okay. 100%. And you get gold 15 hours in this. Look so at that. I know. That is beautiful. I've never had that colour before. It's like a buttermilk colour, isn't it? Pearlescent I'm buttermilk. Sure what, what's it called? Crystal ivory gold. It's stunning. Yeah. Can, you, can you zoom in right close to that? Because it's like a pearlescent -y. Now, and then you are, look, look how gorgeous that is. I've not seen that colour before. Then you get your 15 O's, which are your galvanised dark gold. Then you get this amazing toggle in sterling silver. Not your traditional toggles. Then, I agree with Neary, I think this is going to be the most pro popular. A, because you can make your bubble blushes spiral yeah, necklace, bubble blushes, yeah. but also because you can make the Capriccio bracelet too. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. Neary says this is going to sell out. That colour. The gold as well, those gold eleven, those gold fifteens, honestly, because that's, that's what I've, have I, what's on the back of there? So I've used the elevens. There we go. So I've used the elevens and the and the black. Lovely. Mark, that is yeah. absolutely stunning. I'm thrilled with it. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. So you should be. Such a classy mm. piece of jewellery. Yeah, Seven seconds. We bring this prize to where, but there are tons of you getting involved. Absolutely tons of you getting involved. Again, to use it alongside your instructions for the bubble blushes, which you can make with the first project as well. So this in the first project. So yes, hang on, yeah. remind me what the first project went to? 
Nineteen ninety nine. Mm. So for forty pounds, I can get the two projects. Yeah. I can make all this jewellery. Yep. And a capriccio. Yeah. How amazing is that? Mm. Yeah. For less than forty pounds. Yeah, it's going to sell out. You've got to check out your baskets. There's a whole heap of multi buyers getting involved as well. Cheryl, Denise has got two. Debbie, Jane, Samantha, Teresa, uh, Irene, John and Susan, hello to you, Durham, Donna, Jean, Angela, Fatima, Angela and sorry, has got three, Joyce. Okay, it's gonna sell out. I'll keep you posted, everybody. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. If you want it, be quick. The first kit as well, getting quite limited as also with the six mil. So do get hold of those. Um, the project with the black and the silver shell pearl, It'd be quite interesting actually to make this necklace, the spiral, because I've used the pink from the six mil and then the purple from the kit you've just shown. But yeah. Imagine swapping that with the black. Yeah. Or with the yellow, it'd look completely different, wouldn't it? Then, yeah. Then then change the seed bead colours and. So what? Put the yellow of the shell yeah, there. Yeah. That yeah. That would be lovely. But then incorporate the black fifteens and just yeah. have a have a real play. Well, if you think yeah. about it, less than sixty pounds, you can get everything, and that will make yes, a lot of jewellery, won't masses. it? Absolutely masses, masses and masses of jewellery. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll keep you posted. Wow. So I'll update you on the quantities. Mark, what are you going to show us? So I'm going to show you the um, Alhambra Love it. little motifs, which are really cool because you don't need very much. And as I said, you can make a motif in five minutes. So Gold, just like Mark. <laughs> ah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And again, we're making a motif. You don't need masses of thread, just, just 18 inches, a couple of feet size 10 needle you don't need to go down into your size 12 and all you need to do is pick up four of your six mil you can do this with your because we've got 15 oc beads mm. you can use your four mil to do micro alhambra okay. little, little tiny ones but um, i think the six mil is perfect so you're threading on four of your six mil that's all you need for each motif i think i made 10 or 12 for the necklace and you're going to tie, you're going to tie a single knot, pull nice and tight, followed by a double knot. Okay, so that's all you need to do to secure it. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to sew away from the knot. So just go sew through one of your shell pearl. And then what we're going to do, you've got your four spaces in between your shell pearl, which we're going to fill with our 11 O's. So we're going to sew into the next shell. Going to jump round, sew into the next. All the way around. And then our fourth. Okay, so you've got one 11 O in between each of your seed beads okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to it's similar to very similar to the kiss cross we're going to surround the outside of the shell pearl with a little arc of beads so we're going to incorporate the gold 15s now so we're going to pick up we're going to pick to pass up no no over. i've got i've got a little motif here so we're going to pick up four of our 15s so one two three four then an 11 and then one two three, four. So again, we're going to sew around into the next 11 O. So those who do kiss cross, this is very similar to how you, how you start your kiss cross. And you can see that that perfectly fills the surround of your first shell pearl. So then we're going to do this again. We're going to repeat that. So four, one, and four. It's so nice to have 15 O's again. So four, one, four, go around the next shell pearl into the next 11-0. Oh. You get your second little arc around the outside. And then we'll do our third. One, two, three, four, then an 11. One, two, three, four. Around the outside into the next 11. And then our last. So one, two, three, four, then one 11. And uh, one, two, three, four. So into the next 11. So that's our 
So that's our outside of our surround. Now you can stop there if you want to, but I wanted to get more of a, of a wider band around the outside. So what we're going to do now to do our second row is we're only going to be using 15s now. Okay, so we're going to pick up one, two, three, four. And all we're going to do is we're going to skip the 15 O's, but we're going to sew into that 11 O that's sitting, sitting proud at the top. So when we pull now, you can see that we have the two rows of 15s next to each other. And then we're going to pick up four 15s, two, three, four. And then we're just going to miss the 15s, but we're going to sew into the next 11 O in the inside of the row. So you can see now that we've got the two edges. And what this does, that we, because we're combining them in that one 11 O, they sit perfectly symmetrically halfway either side of your shell pearl. So you get that really nice frame around the outside. So then we're going to pick up again four 15s. And we're going to sew up into the middle. So we're not going to sew into the 15s, we're just going to jump into that 11 O that's proud at the top. And then our next 15 sit next, nice and close. One, two, three, four. Jump into the next 11. Pull nice and tight. And again, you can see now we've got our second frame nice and tight around the outside. So one, two, three, um, four. So customers just messaged in, just tuned in, which project for the bracelet it's actually a mixture isn't it Mark? yes yeah yeah so for this one yes I've used I've used the two four mil kits but you do have enough in a kit to make yeah so you can bracelets. either go yeah. either either project yeah. way yeah. Um, whether you want to go the gold and the lavender or whether you want to go the black and the silver but I can tell you that the gold and rose that graphics are on your screens right now there's literally how would you say six left probably less than that now um, five left now. So I hope that answers your question. So it's either of the four mil projects. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to do the last arc. Pull that nice and tight. So we're nearly at the edge. So all the way around, you've got those two little frames around the shell. So this is the last part of the main arc. Okay, so we've got our four 15s and we're going to sew into that first 11 O. Okay, so that's our framing done yeah, around the outside. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our little picots either end to form into the necklace. So I'm exiting the middle of the three 11s and I'm going to, again, just jump the gap into that 11 on the corner point and then I'm going to pick up three of our 11 O's. And we're going to do a pico, a bit of right angled weave. So I'm exiting, you can see the, the direction the thread's going. I'm going to go behind and through that same 11 O. So then when you pull, you get your group of four, right, let's get that group of four, a little diamond of your 11 O's. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump the gap into that 11 O that's embedded in the center. And we're going to sew through And then we're going to jump the gap into the next 11. And what we want to do is we want to get round to the other end of that diamond pattern. So we're going to sew into the next middle 11 O. And the needle will pop out the other side of that so it won't get in the way or cause any tangles. And then we're going to sew into that next 11. And then we're going to do our second pico. So we're going to pick up one two, three. We're going to go around the back into that 11. So you get your second little diamond. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew through the middle 11 and we're going to tie off. So I'm going to take my needle underneath the threads, underneath that middle 11 -0. So I'm coming from the outside underneath the thread and I'm going to pull the thread till I get a little loop about the size of a grape. And I'm going to take my thread down through that loop once, down through that loop twice, and then pull nice and tight. And that knot now disappears into your beading. I'm going to sew away from the knot, pull nice and tight, and now it's safe to cut your threads. 
So take off the tail first and then take off your long working thread. So we've got our first little motif. So what I did is I made lots of these. I think, I think it's 10 or 12 I've, I've made. So here's another one that, that um, I bought earlier and I'm quickly going to show how we join them together. So I'm going to take an 11O, a shell pearl and an 11O. I'm going to slide that down and then I'm going to pick up a certain number. So the shell pearl will sit in the middle and then you'll have a, an amount of seed beads either side. So for, for the design I did 20 but I'll, I'll just do 10 for now. Pull that down a little bit. So we've got our central section. I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But as I said, on my necklace I made 20 and then that will give you the length then to do it over the head. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle through the outermost 11 o on that little pico. Take the needle down and all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew back down through the 15s that I've just sewn on. So I'm so down through those 15s all the way down and then I'm going to take my needle through that middle section so through the 11 through the shell pearl through the 11 pulling that nice and tight so you can now see that we've got that end attached and then we're going to take our needle and we're going to pick up the 15 O's that will join the other side. So let me just move that out of the way. So we're going to pick up our 10. Nine, 10. And then we're going to sew down into that outer knot, the outer seed bead there. Pull that through. And I'm going to take my needle and do exactly the same as I did with the previous. I'm going to go back up through those 15 O's like so and I'm going to exit through those seed beads there pulling that nice and tight and then I'm going to take the two ends I'm going to take those two ends that I've got I'm going to tie a single knot nice and tight and when you pull tight that brings the seed beads either side of that pico seed bead nice and straight and then we're going to tie another I'm going to tie a double knot, pull it nice and tight and again I don't like cutting from a knot so I'm just going to take my needle and I'm going to sew through the 11 o, which will then go through the shell pearl and it's going to exit somewhere in amongst those 15 o's. Pull that through and then we can go in and we can trim our threads nice and tight. There we go. Can I have the necklace over off the bus? Sure. So that is now nice and attached. So yeah, there we go. You're on your way to making the bracelet. Yeah, absolutely. Matching bracelet. Yeah. So it's oh, exactly so the same. It. So all I've done is I've done 20 15 O's either side of the shell pearl, where I've only done 10 in here. And I've got two, four, six, eight. Yeah, it was 10 of them all together. And that will make your complete over the head necklace. So make lots of your motifs first mm -hmm. and then decide on the, the spacing in between all of your joins to make your necklace. Look at that. They're great oh, fun. That's absolutely, absolutely stunning. Lovely. And that would make a nice earring as well. So yeah. if you wanted to make an earring, just repeat this section here, but don't do the pico at the bottom. So you've got that nice, neat, flattened edge. If you, you went to, to for the the black and silver coloured. Oh yes, yeah. By the way. Yeah. As well. Yeah. I've, we've just got some sections of chain tomorrow that you could do instead of that if you wanted. Perfect. If you Which wanted. is what the Al Alhacadabra necklace that had chain in yeah. between. So these yeah. are your really bird tomorrow jewelry makers. So if you wanted to, you could just uh, do sections of yes, the chain. Definitely. Are oh, they cool? Amazing, aren't they? Oh, Coming they're, up they're tomorrow. Just lengths. Just lengths. Oh. They're like bracelet lengths, like eight eight inches. That's clever. So We've if never we done choose that before, to, have we? yeah, if you choose to cut her up into like sort of uh, an earring or wow. waterfall, so beautiful, Mark. Your your kits have all flown, so I think you've Amazing. got literally maybe 
single figure quantities on each and every single one of them just so you know lovely jewelry makers so do make sure wow. you're checking out your baskets but i definitely definitely if you want to make the necklace get one of each of the sizes yeah um with each of the four mil kits you, the, each of the, the the two strands you can make two of the uh capriccio bracelets plus yep. all the other little bits and pieces as well so love it amazing absolutely love it i'm glad you like them so as you know i, I do love shell pearls Oh, I certainly do. Mm. Now, um, what do you want me to do next, Neary New? Yeah, show the early bird for tomorrow. The different designs as well. Um, Shall we do a quick refresh oh. of your deal oh, of the yes. day, which was just utter madness, wasn't it? <laughs> Absolute <laughs> madness. You know, you've got 2.6 yeah. grams of solid sterling silver in a bracelet. Solid statement bracelet. <laughs> Sorry, Neary just said, um, um, I hate it when after a couple of hours you kind of then go, oh, I'm just going to go and Oh, it's Wednesday today. Meeting. They're all in upstairs, aren't they? Are they? Today. Yeah. You've got to go and have a meeting now about it. Will they really bring it up? <laughs> have I got that A on back to front? Yes. Uh, hang on. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Easily with an, rectified. With an a, with an a, but there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Apparently now it's back. We'd have oh. to go that way for the time being then. But you would obviously put it the right way. Mm. There you go. I don't know. I think the thick bit of the A should be at the front, shouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. With that yeah. font. Yeah. That's lovely. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right now, yeah. isn't it? That's yeah. better. Yeah. Um, okay. So, I mean, we were talking about the fact that you try and find um, a whisper under three grams of sterling silver in a bracelet anywhere else for even the price that's on your screens right now we're talking about the fact that if you go to places like Masoma, tiffany's and co you go to i don't know we named loads of different designers didn't we we weren't 50 quid we are recapping just because purely we're at the end of the show and if you weren't able to tune in at 10 o'clock it's a deal not to miss um i don't know how the alphabet charms are looking now they're probably on the verge of selling out if they haven't done already we'll have a little look see in a second um 15 seconds we are going to recap your deal of the day price point and i know it's only august but put it away put it in your present drawer perfect gift for everybody 23 wow. away from selling these out jewelry makers i mean i can't sorry i know it has only been a couple of hours but did we seriously oh. take it to 12.99 that is crazy isn't it that's got to be one of the lowest prices we've done. What were, what were we thinking? Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. They've got to sell out at that price tag, and then hopefully, you know what, Neary, you can just go in and say, "Look, it's sold out. It's done." Twelve ninety nine unbelievable samantha's having two nicolette's got three moira janet marge sharon well done to you hiya julian caldwell oh says always oh. mark's always gold oh. um i am back with you tomorrow yes i'm gate crashing the shift side today i'm the imposter um do you know what's coming up um i'm gonna be joined by lovely yvonne at eight o'clock you've got your 925 sterling silver bracelet chains that i've just shown you in the different designs nine o'clock is your metallic multi curl pearl special which we've seen mark they are beautiful aren't they they're amazing mm -hmm. then at 10 o'clock you've got your black series jade which are absolutely incredible extremely exclusive and we have a brand new strand of lavender jade to bring you at 10 o'clock tomorrow um 11 o'clock we've got your amber clovers very nice oh, amazing um and then 12 o'clock is your symbol shop plate very last opportunities of that as well um beautiful what's this mark oh i did say about what ollie said to me today didn't i mm. about selenite being on one of the mm. guests on this morning mm. so what's this? um so i'm back a week friday which is the with with tom which is the 23rd and we've got a special opulent special weekend and in the nine o'clock hour i've got amber cabochons Ooh. and some sea beading 
And then at 12 o'clock, this, is, this is one of the pieces that I've made. We've got first time selenite rice beads. So this is just, this is, I've, I've um, brought this in today because it's go, we've, we've hired a model to have it photographed professionally. Have you? In preparation for the show. Is it our lovely? Yes. Katie? Yes. Yeah. She is gorgeous. So this is, this is, again, this is a take on the Alhambra, but a bit of a, um, a G up. Yeah. I'm really Loving that this. for your so Uplands weekend. Yeah, five colours. Stunning, stunning, mm. stunning. So looking forward to that. Unfortunately, I won't mm. be able to tune into that, Mark. No, will be on your holly bobs. Yes. Are we literally in flight? Not getting food poisoning, we hope. No, I hope not. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. Can't, it's literally, Cape Verde is a pretty mm. big place. Yeah, you'll be fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, amazing. Now, yeah, so make sure you're checking out. If you want to get the charm, oh. by the way, they went, it went to, what was it? Was it 9.99? For a gram of sterling silver you've got there. Um, but oh. some letters are, well, some are sold out. I've only got one N, I've got one F, I've got one I, two R's, <laughs> we're running out of time. I know, it's a funny conversation, isn't it? <laughs> only two C's. Um, <laughs> make sure you check it out. Mark, so you're back on the 23rd? Yes, 23rd, and then the 27th, the 27th. which is with Ross, but not you, because you'll not be away. Not me? Yeah. I'll be doing no, this. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, it's lovely working with and you, as always, Thank you. Mark. No, it's good. Oh, thank you, and thanks you. everyone for your support and always so much, always. so thank much you. love for Mark and amazing pieces of jewellery as always. Um, I'm back with you bright and early in the morning where I'm joined by Yvonne, oh. the most insane pearls, honestly, the most beautiful, beautiful pearls. Yeah, you've got a bit of a an elephant ahead of you, I'm afraid, but I hope you don't <laughs> mind about that. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Bye -bye.